jewellery makers, how are we all? Oh, it's Argentium Day! We've been very excited about today's show. Elizabeth is here. Bless her heart once she finally got in. Because I understand. So she walked through the door and she said, I've been buzzing outside for I don't know how long. But at no point did it buzz, did it? At no point, Elizabeth. And we would never ignore you, my lovely. Um, but she's here, jewellery makers. And you've got brand new Argentium kits. So it's happening, all kicking off at 9 o'clock this morning. Now, for those of you that are thinking, and what's Argentium? I, I don't know. Um, Elizabeth, well, I, I mean, I joined her on her first show here at Jewellery Maker. And I can tell you, you are going to get hooked. This is probably one of the most exciting mediums that Jewelry Maker has launched ever. Um, it's actually working with one of the purest forms of silver. Um, it's not soldering, although you are heating the silver and you create these. Well, I'll let her do all the explaining because she's obviously the, uh, uh, the professional, the expert. Um, but she'll be in the studios just before nine o'clock as well to join me on the Wall of Fame. Um, yeah, it's going to be mega. It's a brand new kit and all of the tools that you need to get going with Argentia your deal of the day I have to show you wow 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 is beautiful tanzanite oh my goodness me now you might be thinking I was doing some research um, I was doing some research last night about you know, tanzanite is a gemstone that we all I think most of us know and know the sheer value of this gemstone um, but yeah literally for, for, for a couple of hours last night I was reading up about tanzanite and I still really want to get hold of the tanzanite book that's lots of money um, but do you know one of the things I noticed is, is like I, I was trying to find out trying to establish the estimated time remaining of mining and there's some locate some some places were saying 30 years some places were saying uh, 20 years some places were saying 15 years, and others were saying as little as 10. Um, yeah, I guess we don't really know, I suppose, but um, the price per carat is going up and up and up and up and up by the day, to be truthful. This is going to be affordable, Jewelry Makers. It's coming up at 11 o'clock as your deal of the day. Um, we've got loads to bring you. It's going to be an absolutely jam-packed show. We've got a little druzy showcase that we can actually, uh, um, with all of that gorgeous sparkle, perfect for summertime, don't you think? We've got the biggest DVD bundle that I've ever, ever seen. It's absolutely ridiculous, isn't it? Um, <laughs> so right now, Michael is laying them out across the entire desk. Hi, I just want to have one really nice cascading shot. Okay. I record it and then we can, uh, we can use it later. I don't think that desk is going to be big enough, Michael. I don't, I don't think you're going to get them all on the desk. Don't you worry about that. All right, then. Well, we'll see, won't we? We shall see. Well, I think it's a, a perfect time to say hello to our lovely crew. Michael Wolf, everybody! Hi. 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 Can I just say, Michael, yeah. tuned in on Sunday. Oh, yes. You're awesome. Oh, you. You're awesome, isn't he? It's so lovely to see Michael presenting. So, yeah, we absolutely loved it. Um, and that was a really long day for you, because you did, like, pretty much every single job that there is to do in Jewelry Maker, really, that day. Actually, yes. yes. It's, 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 uh, it's good to be busy, though. Yeah, absolutely. In the gallery, we've got gorgeous Ollie. Ah, uh, get out the way, Tom. Get out of the way. Let's talk about Ollie. <laughs> and now, what you don't know is actually he's a complete romantic at heart. He's just back <laughs> from whining and dining his beautiful girlfriend in Cumbria. Oh, uh, we've got the pardon near Wales, yes. The lovely Tom. There you are, Tom. Did you have a nice weekend? Bless you. Did you do lots of walking, I see? Lots of walking, lots of eating lots of cheese. Well, that sounds like a perfect weekend to me. Don't forget as well, the person that literally keeps us all together, the lovely Tom Neary. Is he there? Is he there? Is he there? Yes, he is. Um, yes, we're going to have a lot of fun during makers. Let's have an interactive show. So lots of messages in. If you have any questions that you want to put to Elizabeth, then of course, we really do encourage those. Um, anybody can do Argentium. You do not need to be a fully fledged jewellery maker to do this. If you, if you have the right tools and we have the kits today, anybody can actually start on this medium. I think we need to get the show underway, don't you? 
I'm going to get cracking with my very favourite gemstone of all time, of all time. It is the beautiful Zavarite Garnet, so discovered the same year as Tanzanite actually. So would you use this alongside the Tanzanite Deal of the Day? I think it would be a beautiful combination, very fresh and summery. Totally natural, Zavarite is from the Garnet family and actually certainly one of the big four um, in terms of the rarity. Um, I only have one. Okay, so it's a true breakfast club hour. You have to dial in nice and quickly to guarantee your success, jewellery makers. 80 carats of Zavarite Garnet, this wonderful in insatiable green, isn't it? Wow. A gemstone that ordinarily, ordinarily is high prices per carat because it has the most delicious natural glow, high refraction, it's highly collectible and it's used by the biggest designers in the world. I've got one. Oh, I've got to move quickly because people there um, love this strand. This caught my attention. These are... Amazonite, you normally get in rondelles, don't we? Or occasionally rounds as well. These are big statement nuggets. So not like teeny weeny nuggets. These are big statement, you know, catwalk nuggets. I think I'd have to knot that and wear it like so. Should be, really? Should be twenty one ninety five. Okay, all right, then if you say so. I don't believe you. Should be much more than that, don't you think? Fourteen pounds and ninety-five pence. Oh my goodness me! Um, that with Mayuki in between, if you want it, or you could use the beads that are already there. To be truthful, doesn't that look lovely? Knot it in a really very funky, cool Marla style necklace. There's nothing saying within your sort of Marla designs that it has to be a round bead. Nothing actually says um, that's what has to be. Um, already selling out. We're gonna we're gonna give you a little bit of a teaser for your deal of the day. These are faceted rondelles. Your deal of the day are <coughs> non-faceted rondelles, but glowing in that vanadium rich blue colour. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you. I don't think it just means that, Tom. Tom's just said I'm, I'm glowing. I don't think it just means that one is in expecting, and no, I'm not before any, any rumours start. <laughs> One of these available, glowing in that wonderful blue. Good morning, Annette. Uh, morning, lovely Ellen team. Looking forward to a brilliant show with Elizabeth from Argentium. Jane is so good at the moment. Keep it up, you're fab. Mwah. Isn't it? Isn't it great at the moment? I'm, I'm loving it. We've all been saying that, how, how, how exciting it is here at Jewelry Maker. Just so many things on the horizon, uh, uh, Annette. Um, and the fact, yeah, it's all coming together absolutely. And the fact that we actually have you know, we're working with silver now. We're actually, as in sil a form of silver smithing, if you like. Twenty four ninety five um, for this beautiful natural, ta uh, natural, genuine tanzanite opportunity. I mean, this is the kind of high end gemstone that I would definitely be using with things like argentia, one of the purest forms of your silver. But look at that price tag. We know this gemstone is 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 dwindling by the day, and we know that the price tag is soaring by the day. Also, the deeper the blues, the more valuable the more desirable. Um, at $24.95, that's not going to hang around. Oh, it had to be Spinel. I love this. Amazing. So Spinel is not just black. Spinel comes in a rainbow of colours. <clears throat> um, reds, cobalt blues, mauves, pinks, even colourless. Um, and when it is all the other colours with the exception of black, you get a beautiful clarity to them as well. Um, it's much higher in its refraction than you would find maybe in a ruby or even in a sapphire, so you often get a lot more brilliance from this gemstone. I've got one available, so we have to work together, jewelry makers, if you want to see all of your 8am hour goodies. I should be bringing this to you at 49.95. One is just not a viable quantity to have within our vault in that one specific location so we offer it to you at breakfast club prices win-win situation we get to bring you more amazing goodies you get the best possible deal 24.95 for a highly highly sought after color gemstone and one which is again steeped in history of course for those of you that are uh, very passionately british it is this uh, it is a spinel um, that features as that focal uh, beautiful faceted red gemstone within the imperial crown ju jewels um, but it comes in multitude of your colors down to the final one of these the final one who's going to get it i think literally just pop that onto some of your Flex right. I think that the you know, flex right will actually have that internal brilliance as well, sort of bounce that light around. Pop that onto some more sterling silver or your argentium. Amazing. Let's go back to the Amazonite. The Amazonite with a difference. Oh, look at this cut. Very dynamic. 
So, double drilled, firstly, and they're described as, they're quite tricky to hold, described as pencils, and you'll see why. For those of you that really love your, embrace your crystal healing, I'm going to hold it out like this, um, your crystal healing designs, then this will be great for you because um, that prismatic point or cut at the, uh, at the end um, of any gemstone is believed to channel its energy towards the wearer's heart. So um, if you're wearing it around the neckline, I mean, that's a multitude of pendants straight away, isn't it? A multitude of them. Double drilled as well. So you could take, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe a double row of pearls. If, speaking of pearls, we've got an amazing show coming up on Saturday, Jewelry Makers, so make sure you tune in um, on Saturday. That's, a, I think, going to be a, a, it's going to be a historical show. Um, 65 carats that you're getting here of double drilled Amazonite, that really beautiful tropical blue. 0800 all the W's at jewelrymaker.com but make sure you check out, check out. You could almost, if you don't, you know, use the drill hole but if you wanted to, I'm sure you could put the Argentium over the top of the gemstone um, itself to, uh, and create almost like a little bead cap. 1995 only, I only have the one left, just one of them left. Once they're gone, they're gone. That looks lovely just as it is. It doesn't have to be over complicated, does it? Oh, we are all so satisfied. 65 carats here. Lisa, you're there. You can do this. Check out those bar. Oh, well done. Well done, Lisa. Well done. Um, oh, Lisa, this would look lovely with your Amazonite. Oh, this is beautiful. Turquoise. Oh, we can't play it. See, he's just teasing us now. Pre-night, that beautiful, often referred to as uh, as grape jade, um, <clears throat> has this really lovely natural zesty lime green with fascinating inclusions. Now you can get it with complete transparency, much like your jade, um, but most of us actually really embrace those. It's almost like rutilations, isn't it? If you love your black rutile quartz and your golden rutile quartz, you'll love pre night too. It should be at £21.95. Should be. They're big statement, facet they're called faceted slabs um, with a large drill hole there, so roomy enough to even house some of your wire work. However, um, you know, you could put it on silk, you could put it on nylon cord, you could put it on your wire work, you could treat them as cabochons. It's a Steve Super save a deal the final two of these available I mean I mean what is that what is that for, for the 720 carats of pre night it's a fab feb Steve super save a deal <coughs> gone well done well done, well done. The other day, Michael, I, was, I said that. I did the Fab Feb Steve Super Saver day, and somebody said, you sound more and more like Michael Wolf every time you say it. Really? <laughs> so well, that's, voice I said, that's what I'm going for. I want to sound like Michael Wolf. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, this is so pretty. Be prepared to be completely wowed. I've never seen this strand before. Oh, it's beautiful. I can almost just imagine like floating chiffon, the colours, the palettes. It's like a, 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 a glorious English summer wedding. Do you see it? Do you see where I'm coming from? With displays of morganite, you've got goshenite, which is your pure beryl. I've got golden beryl just down here. Um, this is one of my favourite cuts. They're faceted coins, but you know, in a six millimetre size, so we have them in formal as well, they always fly out the door. Two of these available at 21.95. It's one of the prettiest strands, I think, of, of beryl that we actually have on our screens. And the one thing that's, that's bothering me right now is the colour isn't actually coming through on your TV screens as well as I'd like it to. Um, trust me, when you get it home, when it lands on your doorstep, and don't forget you have that full 30-day money-back guarantee, you will absolutely embrace the colour. Yeah, I mean, look at that. See what I mean? It's glowing in that, in pastel tones. It, I, I, it's just got this romance, I think, a strand like this. Aquamarines, Golden barrels. What? I thought twenty one ninety five was the actual breakfast club price tag. I've got what? Well, Jackie, you're going to love this, honey. You really are. It'd be so pretty with something like pearls. South, sea, maybe some South Sea pearls. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe alongside some lovely citrine that we've got coming up later on as well as a big star buy. I mean, look at that. 
beautiful absolutely beautiful I've got to move on um, is it time for our alarm clock deal okay uh, if, if any of you sing if any of you sing the song what is it Doctor Who we're gonna fall out <laughs> wouldn't really I'll just mute them it's up next So I have to admit that was actually quite enjoyable because Ollie was doing a little remix version. Have to admit, have to admit. Every morning they sing the, uh, they sing. Every morning you do, you sing the Doctor Who. Right, I launched this, um, and it's the last remaining few we had. I think at the beginning, at the beginning we had about 500. Is that right? Um, you're about to look at a totally natural gemstone. There is zero enhancement to this gem, and it's called Hessenite. Hessenite is a, a beautiful variety of the garnet family um, that has this, often referred to as the cinnamon stone, has this wonderful spiciness, this beautiful warmth, um, much like sort of like cognac diamonds, etc., but more brilliance. Um, now, quality, quality Hessenite garnet can display an amazing effect that we call treacling, where if you can imagine pouring water into a glass of whiskey, and you know how it all swirls around, a quality Hessenite can do exactly that as well. Um, but there's price variations. Hessenite, you know, obviously of lesser quality, you can get for more affordable prices, like sort of £10, and they go upwards of thousands of pounds also. This is a beautiful calibrated size. Today is the day as well where you have Argentium. So can you imagine actually working a Hessenite into Argentium silver? How beautiful that would be. These absolutely flew out the door, and I can remember clearly what we launched it at. Clearly, it should have been £29.95, but we took it under £10, jewelry makers we've got the final 31 of these available once they're gone they're gone um, to a quality Hessenite garnet this is sort of the, the qualifications for that high quality wow 7.95 that's just ridiculous for this grade we'll have a deep beautiful orange whilst displaying flashes of yellow by internal brilliance that's the sentence that defines a quality Hessenite garnet and this does all of those things it's got that bright energetic orange displaying beautiful golden yellows through the gemstones natural brilliance um, yeah I got hold of a couple of these I haven't done anything with them as of yet but something as a, as, as a collect I'm a, I'm a bit of a collector of, of cut gemstones as well um, and the kind of thing that I would literally just kind of sit on um, as an heirloom it's the kind of it's the kind of gemstone that I would like to um, you know like to offer down to my children you know after uh, after I'm gone as this is you you know, in their eyes, this is treasure, the ultimate in treasure, um, and certainly rarity. Hello to you, Suffolk. Hello to you, Lisa. Did I? Did I say that? Yeah. Did I say that? Sorry, child. Yeah, yeah I didn't mean you to. You said child rent. Child rent. No, I meant to say child. Singular. 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 There is no, no bun in one's oven. <laughs> no, stop that now. Uh, Suri, well done. Melissa, well done. Suffolk, Lisa, Linda, uh, Tony, Gillette, uh, Jeanette, uh, Lorraine. Uh, sorry, you're there as well. The final 31 of these. Can you believe it's what, 7 95 for that beautiful, natural, rare gemstone? Oh, amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, Okie doke. Oh, I launched these too. Oh, say so now I. No, I don't remember the price. Go on. <gasps> these are all exactly the same size 10 by 8 so now I'm visualising Hessenite Lemon Quartz Lemon Quartz in the trilogy Oh, but be prepared to be wowed Lemon Quartz and Citrine are actually dependent on who labels them as such it's the, the, they're the gem, same gemstone a citrine will be slightly more orange slightly more uh, sort of buttercup yellow a lemon quartz is far I don't know more like a, um, a, a lemon sorbet or something like that 11 and a half carats that you're getting in five 10 by 8 exquisitely have you seen these before Ollie aren't they beautiful 
Yeah, I launched these. It's when we were in Studio to Two, and they were so popular. I mean, I mean, literally the beauty, the beauty of this gemstone. That I mean, any gemstone. It sh that should be what makes our decision. But they're, they are. They're, they're almost like zarite. They're almost like um, seraphonite. I can see a similarity to as well. Um, but real, of course, canary diamond. Flawless clarity, and you get five of them. How many do we have left? Five. That's how popular these have been. That, I mean, that, that's just ridiculous. I know, Ollie, I know. What, he says? What? I know. That's crazy. That's £2 per 10 by 8 genuine gemstone. I mean, that in a diamond. I've just been looking on, um, I, I, on Instagram. I follow um, a certain company that colours, that sells lots of beautiful diamonds and lots of beautiful gemstones and coloured gemstones as well in terms of the actual, de their designs. And those with a halo of diamonds all the way around. Oh, can you imagine? Can you imagine? Um, sold out. Well done. Beautiful blue zircon coming your way. Oh, wow. I think this is Salon um, Zircon. It's just we, we tend to remember the strands and the locations of your Zircon because there are so few of them within our vault. Um, now, we offer, obviously offer the best possible quality that we can get hold of. Um, and in Zircon's case, not to be confused with Zirconia, Zirconia is a synthetic gemstone. Zircon, um, oh, I beg your pardon, Cambodia. Well, that's a different kettle of fish because Cambodia is that pinnacle location. They call it Ratnakiri. One of these are available in the world. Um, it's still very very primitively mined heard the ooh in the background did you that's probably ollie was that ollie you're hearing ollie's oohs and ahs in the background well this is it you know our reactions are very much the same as your reactions at home hello gabrielle morning alan team are you allowed to tell uh, us who the pearl related special guest is i think i've guessed i don't think i am i don't think i am allowed to tell you but they are coming in on Thursday to film a VT. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, Saturday nine o'clock. That's when they arrived in the. They're arriving in the studio. But you'll probably know before that then if they're filming a VT on Thursday. Okay, okay. No, it's a secret then. It is a secret. You'll find out Saturday morning. Sorry, I can't, Gabrielle. <gasps> and it's not me. No, no, it's definitely. It's not me. Um, it's very exciting though, Gabrielle. Very, very, very exciting, yeah, to be, let's just say you've got some very special, special guests, um, you know, planned for the foreseeable with here with Jewelry Maker. Elizabeth, as well, being one of those. Uh, 24.95 for Cambodian Zircon. I've got to move on because it's over allocated. Well done. Oh, natural peridot, so completely untouched, unfaceted. A gemstone that ordinarily, anything over half a carat is very exciting. And the definition of quality colour is actually like a really, you know, you know in the, when, you, when you cut your grass and it's got that really lovely fresh green underneath, the, the green shoots. Um, that's what colour you're looking for with peridot. It is what we call idiochromatic gemstone. Um, <coughs> it's completely natural, there is no enhancement to this gem whatsoever. Um, and actually one of the world's ultimate extreme gemstones. This is one of two that actually forms not in the Earth's crust but in the Earth's mantle, so the hot lava bit. 245 carats of natural peridot, some of the biggest peridot that we actually have within our entire vault. The f I've got one available, one available, I know it's not showing on your graphics, one. <clears throat> I would literally do nothing to that. I think there'd be maybe a couple of gold-plated spacer beads dotted in between and away you go. Moving on. Ocean Jasper. Now, I heard on the grapevine, Ocean Jasper is running out. Um, Alex, our mineral man, told me last time we were on air together that Ocean Jasper is running out. It's not going to be. It's not going to be available for much longer. Um, what a shame that will be. And it literally, you, you can see where it gets its name, its title from, because it is, uh, I mean, if you can imagine the coral, um, the, you know, the, 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 the marine life itself within, um, <coughs> within the ocean, a strand like this actually demonstrates all of those beautiful colours. So you often get really lovely flowering patterns. Um, <coughs> 
obviously a multitude of your colours and it's it's all natural. This is not enhanced in any way, shape or form. 160 carats of ocean jasper, pop that onto a stretchy bracelet and away you go. And away you go. You're good to go. Um, macrame would be amazing as well. Look, I've got Laramar light blues. I've got appetite light colours as well, which I have an amazing strand of coming up as well within this hour. Um, Botswana light colours, but um, sorry, within this show, I beg your pardon. Um, but you could do something so simple with this without you know, without overcomplicating it and have a really wearable design. We're gonna go straight down to your breakfast club price tag. Seven ninety-five for a classic eight mil round strand, a gemstone that is rumoured um, <clears throat> is rumoured to be running out quite quickly, and that's coming from um, certainly one of the most I, th I think exciting uh, sort of gem travellers um, that we know of here at Jewelry Maker as well. Um, hopefully, we shall see him soon. But I, on that basis, I would be all over this. You know, the kind of piece of it's the kind of strand that has just got versatility. Four mil, you can use around the neckline, you can use in the ear, you can use around the wrist, you can use in macrame, you can use in your channel setting, you can use in your stretchy bracelets, um, it's gone, it's gone, well done, there's multitudes of ways of using that gemstone. Moving on to, oh, oh we're going up here now, bear with, oh, ooh, agate coins with a double pavilion. Have you ever seen a double pavilion? <clears throat> so basically, if you were to look at a round brilliant cut, the upper part, you know, the part which, you know, sort of bird's eye point of view is the table the cr and the crown. The underside or the belly of the gemstone is what we call a pavilion, which tapers down to the point called a coulee. These have got a double pavilion and a double coulee. Isn't it an exciting shape? I, I think these are crying out to be your marker beads and your mala necklaces or maybe standalone pendants as they are. Um, you could literally just restrand it because 2020 is all about big looks, especially this colour, it being the Pantone colour um, of the year. I've never seen this strand before. I think it's very exciting. It's almost quite sci-fi in its appearance. Do you see that? A little bit Doctor Who, I think more Star Wars. It is a galaxy, yeah. You don't see Doctor Who rocking around in galaxies, do you? <clears throat> he doesn't. He rides in the telephone box. Yeah, it's not not in the same. It's not in the same league as Luke as Luke Skywalker. It's not in the same league. I'm sorry to all you Doctor Who fans out there. It's just, I say it in jest. I say it in jest. I just like to tease Tom. Uh, 1995 for 900 it is though isn't it I mean you can almost see sort of galaxy like patterns within every single one of these beautiful oh look at that you can almost imagine yourself well, that's a bit stargate actually that one definitely going along the sci-fi route with this, with this though so much potential use them as statement individual stones if you wanted to this one's pretty um you know as individual pendants 1995 only larger drill holes that you were crying out for jewelry makers so um yeah last year the beginning of last year in particular you were saying and um, please can we have larger drill holes in the gemstones um can i just explain why it, it, it's quite difficult for us to source gems with larger drill holes can i just explain that um so so basically, if put yourself in our shoes or our buying team shoes. If you were to go to a supplier and say, okay, I want those, but we want you to cut, I don't know, 10, 20% of the gemstones carrot weight out. Now most suppliers will go, no, I'm not gonna do that. Why, what, why, why would you want to? For us, it makes sense, but for, for gem traders, it's quite difficult to sort of explain. Um, so yeah, and, and of course it means we're, that, you know, they're effectively getting less, mon uh, less money from us, potentially, potentially. Um, so it's something that it's always a big discussion. Moving on to micro faceted white opal this would be gorgeous with i'm going to give you actually i'm going to show you two strands three strands alongside your deal of the day alongside the tanzanite definitely alongside your pink tourmaline and maybe also alongside your appetite oh, see what a stunning quadruple 
<laughs> amazing appetite. Yeah, that's coming up. Um, Tanzanite, that's 10 o'clock, the appetite. Tanzanite is at 11 o'clock as your deal of the day. Your pink spinel, uh, sorry, pink uh, um, tourmaline, thank you, is coming up in the 12 o'clock hour. Okay, um, that's coming your way. Seven carats of white opal. I mean, you would almost be, uh, you'd understand if you were thinking that this was zircon or if you were thinking, I, I know it doesn't have the brilliance that zircon does, but it's got a really high amount of, uh, of surface luster, so it positively sparkles. Um, and it's all externally, it's not internally within gemstone. $34.95 only for seven carats of micro-faceted beauty. <clears throat> Use this uh, white opal from Australia as well, certainly with your Argentium, which we are half hour away from jewelry makers. How exciting, brand new Argentium kits to bring you. Um, Elizabeth is going to be giving you very exciting demonstrations as well. Just you wait until you see the jewelry, it is, it is breathtaking. $12.95 for you today. Um, as, you know, your microfaceted gemstones, I always say with the smaller sizes, much like with your seed beading, don't be frightened of them. They're actually really easy to work work with you know seed embroidery perfect channel setting perfect you can use them as little accents if you wanted to you know how you know like a halo of white opal surrounding maybe your uh, your lemon quartz or your hessonite that you had a few moments ago that would be stunning as well um, exquisited ex exquisited exquisitely faceted that's what I was trying to go for but I just I just combined the two words together didn't I moving on Oh, oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, he's been very nice to me this morning. Oh, femininity. Personified. Look at that. You have vanadium, sorry, vanadium, sorry, manganese rich morganite. Uh, this is a, a rare, beautiful variety of the beryl family. <coughs> um, of the beryl family that is coloured by manganese. The more of that manganese that is present, the more delightful these these feminine pinks are. You can get salmon pinks, but you can also get quite an, uh, a quite a peachy colour. That's all in the eye of the beholder, whichever colour you actually prefer. Th there's no heat treatment to this whatsoever, which is very unusual with morganite. If you notice straight away, I've kind of calmed and slowed down. The beauty of this strand, it's quite something. Again, I'm thinking ahead of Saturday's show would be amazing. Um, or, yes, yes, Ollie, with the tanzanite that's coming up today at 11 o'clock. Look at those together. Oh my goodness me. Alternate the two. Literally, Tanzanite Morganite, Tanzanite Morganite, Tanzanite Morganite. And away you go. 29 95 only for 62 carats of completely and utterly natural Morganite. There's zero enhancement to this entire strand. And I'm going to go as far as saying, jewelry makers, I think this is one of my favourite Morganite strands that we currently have within our vault. Um, because you have that level of clarity. You have also that wonderful intensity of colour. It's, I mean, we're not talking about sort of colours like as, 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 as bold and rich and vibrant as maybe your, your Peridot that you saw a mo moment ago. It is all about the pastels though, but you want it to be an obvious pastel pink. $29.95 only. You have to check them out if you want to guarantee your success. I think I'm tempted by that one. I think I might have to get my, my first purchase of the day, which I'm sure there will be many. Um, okay. Oh, Moldavite. <clears throat> one locational gemstone. I have three in the world as a direct result of a meteor impact that happened millions of years ago, this wonderful treasure of the earth um, was produced. I should be bringing it to you at 99.95. Moldavi is this natural dark olive green. Really? And it's a fab feb Steve super saver deal as well. I'm, I'm, I'm holding my breath. Right. Sadari, well done. It's gone. Well done. 
You just got, was it, was that th three for the price of one? Is that what you just, that's amazing, Sadari. A one okay. and by the way, it, that potentially has even less time remaining of mining than your tanzanite does, potentially. I mean, how amazing. Well done. Um, sorry? Uh, hang on. Okay. It's quite a reach. Here we go, quality Ethiopian opal here. Look at this, play of colour in its droves. Um, <clears throat> for, again, millions of years, silica trapped between cracks and crevices within a host rock um, produced this amazing offer offering that William Shakespeare discussed as being the queen of gemstones. Now, when you see flashes of, um, of greens, reds, blues, yellows. It's very bright in the studio. Oh, here we go. I didn't think I had a blackboard, but I do. Um, <coughs> ah, there we go. This is what you will actually receive when you get home. It's exa Here in the studio, we have over 100 lights, um, and that is how uh, sometimes Opal does it. It gets, a, it gets a bit shy, doesn't like to show off its play of colour. I only have four of these available, but the more play of colour that you actually see, the more um, highly regarded. So 100 and what? What was that? 130? 99.95, yeah, seems absolutely feasible because of the quality of this Ethiopian opal. You've taken £100 off that price tag. Okay, it's the final three. Oh, and by the way, jewellery makers, you have, um, you have the, the, the pleasure of Steve's company on Friday morning at 10 o'clock. 10 till 12. Oh, lovely. So tune in on Friday morning. Steve Bennett will be here in the studios, which, you know, a wealth of knowledge, of course, and... Um, he's what? I was going. Oh, I, I, I generally thought you meant that. Then that Michael's going to dress up and wear a tux, but he's not. He's not in the wearing a tux. Yeah, because that would just be silly. That would be silly. Um, but yeah, I mean, and also crazy deals as well. So make sure you tune in then. Hello, Melanie. Hello to you, Helen. Hello to you, Tracy. Check out those baskets, everybody. Down to the final one. A hundred pounds back into your pocket. Amazing. Moving on. Or oh, lapis lazuli in faceted drops. <coughs> this is definitely what I would call a faceted drop because <clears throat> for me, a briolet is a 360. One's the ones that you've got facets in a more circular, more sort of a, I don't know, um, well, drop, actual droplet shape. A faceted drop is, is flatter, if you get where I'm coming from. Um, with all the history that lapis lazuli has, you're looking for that very electric blue. And you're looking for those glistening du uh, dustings of, <coughs> of pyrite across the surface. Each of these are top drilled. Um, lapis, again, real prominence. I, I mean, it's always been relevant. It's never, we've never fallen out of love with lapis lazuli. I think for thousands upon thousands of years, you know, uh, of course, Cleopatra favoured this gemstone as well. Um, but we've never, ever fallen out of love with it, which it does happen, you know, because um, trends change. Lapis lazuli has been consistent for thousands of years. I mean, not many gemstones could actually say that, possibly because it's one of the most delectable blues that's out there. I should be bringing this to you at 34 pounds pounds and 95 pence but we're gonna go down we're gonna go lower I'm gonna team it with your citrine that's coming up a little bit later on oh that's nice isn't it that's a gorgeous gorgeous combination citrine is coming up a little bit later on 16 pounds and 24 pence funny digits I hear you say yeah, that's because every single penny and pound we have taken out of that price tag. Um, it's natural. Sometimes lapis lazuli will be dyed. You know, we shouldn't be put off by that fact. Um, but this didn't need any enhancement. It was literally Mother Nature's doing. Complete purity and absolute rarity. Big clearance price tag for you, though, jewellery makers. Um, imagine like a big, I don't know, cluster waterfall st uh, style pair of earrings or maybe um, tons of these all around the decolletage. I mean, you can go really all out out with lapis lazuli it is one of those gemstones that loves um, a, a big carrot weight look already lots of you there hiya Tony hello to uh, hello to Eva nice to have your company hello Margaret hello West Midlands it's busy already this morning and I know lots of you are so excited about the Argentium which is happening in 20 minutes time um, but 
first I want to show you this. This is called solar quartz. And the reason why it's called solar quartz is it's believed to look like our very solar system. Um, often faceted. If you can imagine with like, you know, your, uh, with your rhodochrosite, I, I was discussing it the other day. <clears throat> it's a gemstone that often forms in stalactites and stalagmites. So, tights, mites. Um, that's how I used to remember it in school. Stalactites, oh. stalagmites. Tights, mites. Anyway, it stuck with me, it stuck with me. Um, <clears throat> anyway, um, this is almost cut in the same way. You get one really lovely slithers um, across the actual formation. So if you are fascinated by space, if you are fascinated by textures, um, and a little teaser towards um, your druzy showcase that we have as well, then definitely, definitely your coated uh, solar quartz is for you. It is big statement looks. They're fascinating. They're definitely a conversation starter. But yeah, from a bird's eye point of view, each of these looks like our very solar system with a circumference of, of, of glistening sparkle all the way around, um, embracing all of those lovely lovely terrains. Um, it's a fab feb Steve super saver deal. I've got good at saying that fast now. 21.95. Come on, so you can say it the fastest. Are you ready? Michael, go. Fab feb super saver Steve. I need to read it. Super saver Steve. <laughs> ready? Go. Me? Yeah, Michael, go. Fab feb Steve super saver you. Fab Fab Steve Super Save Daniel. It hey, don't, don't join. <laughs> it's Fab Fab Steve Super Save a big old deal. Yes, indeed. Straight down to nine pounds only. A little teaser towards your druzy showcase jewelry makers, and perfect for those warm summer barbecues and beer gardens and weddings. You could take one of those amazing solar quartzes off the strand, flip it sort of so it's a so, so solar system upwards for want of a better description, prong set it in a cocktail ring and nestle a Swarovski or a diamond or something like that within the centre. Can you imagine how beautiful that would be with a little bit of your wire work? It's a massive, massive Steve Super Saver deal. Indeed. Um, so take quartz, which we know has got quite a rough crystal, so it will actually hold on to lots of beautiful saturations and colours so perfectly and then add that little sprinkle of fairy dust to the external of the gemstone. Well done Moray. Hello Jackie, hello to you County Down, hello to you Susan. Lovely being with you, I hope you are all well. You can strand it like this or like I said you can actually use them as individual, look, 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 as individual stones. It's another Fab Feb Steve Super Saver deal. What are you doing today? Six. 30. So Tom would just might like to make clear that we are making zip on this auction, apart from, apart from very good friends. If anything, it's actually costing us this auction. But we do that from time to time. The reality is, you know, sometimes it, it might be this auction that we welcome some new customers to the JM family that we most, uh, that, that we very importantly um, actually thank our existing customers for their amazing loyalty as well. Um, this might be the first introduction of solar courts that you've ever seen. So it's a win-win situation all round. Linda, Helen, Lorraine, hello to you in Glamorgan, County Down, you're there as well. Make sure you check out. Those of you that are on the phone lines, um, stay where you are. Our amazing contact centre will be with you imminent, imminent, imminently. Sorry, put my teeth in. Put my teeth in. Imminently. Imminently. Um, but yeah, a double Fab Feb Steve Super Saver deal. Amazing. Right then. Uh, oh, I like it. I'm saying a tease of your appetites are by at 10 o'clock. These are huge. Huge appetites. This intensity, you can see the name so perfectly. It has got this neon uh, prominence to it, a glowing saturation, which can sometimes be heat treated, but in this case, 
no treatment whatsoever. Um, yeah, we know that actually appetite falls in some of the smaller sizes of all gemstones. So to be able to get one at 22 by 8 millimeters in its size, and again, I'm thinking, you know, that's like an, this is like a jewelry maker's version of an emerald cut. Do you see where I'm coming from? Like an emerald cut uh, sort of gemstone that you could literally just put that Tiffany's four prong mount on. You could cradle with your argentium silver. Um, you could use your gallery wire with, you could use normal wire with you could literally just restrand it's going to look statement but appetite has a high phosphorus content and in, in Greek language that actually translates to bringer of light it'll glow um, quite quite unlike any other gemstone I do love appetite and lots of history attached to this gem um, they believe that appetite is was formed as a result of the dinosaurs because it is so rich in phosphorus you find phosphorus within a bone content um, so they often found appetite alongside dinosaur bones as well so they believe that dinosaurs existence actually produced this gemstone 1995 straight away we've got collectors getting involved good morning I hope you're all well it's a stunning teal blue green a little bit if you love if you love your paraba if you enjoy uh, your indicolite or your London blue topaz then Eon Appetite is along it's got that similar quite similar saturation and tone hello Edinburgh I hope you're well as well is it, is it, is it brightening up today it certainly looks like it, it looks like a, a an all-round nicer day. It's snowing up north though, isn't it? It's snowing. Oh, okay, I'll keep quiet then. Because I'm so done with winter. I want summer. Spring and summer. In where? In Orlando, it's 30 degrees. I'm not in Orlando. Oh, you're going there. That's why he's telling us that. That's why he's telling that. It's going to be a lot hotter than 30 degrees when you go there though. Um, okie dokie. Uh, it's the furthest one, Michael. Can you pass me 33? Yeah. Thank you. <coughs> oh. Oh, it's like the beryl strand that we had earlier on. <clears throat> this is Rainbow Moonstone. Oh, so this must be a collection that we've actually put together. Bridal commissions, this is going to be amazing. Absolutely amazing for your bridal tiaras or your hair vines. Um, brooches. Of course, with moonstone, you get what we call adolescence. Um, but rainbow moonstone actually has um, a full spectrum of colour. Hello, Angela. Excited for Elizabeth and Argentium. Have took the day off to watch and buy. Amazing. She, she's here. She is here. I don't know if you're mic'd up and everything yet, are you? I think so. Yeah, she, but we'll say hello to, uh, well, we're going to the Wall of Fame and we can say hello to um, Elizabeth officially then. Angela, isn't it exciting? Um, this is beautiful, amazing collection that we've actually launched of different cuts then. Um, first time I've actually seen and two of the collection are actually here this morning. Twenty nine ninety five. Again, I'm thinking alongside your deal of the day. What do we think? What do we think? Oh, that's a bit lush, isn't it? It is, but it's, it's, it's an exquisite beauty. You've got almost like a glacial um, beauty coming from your rainbow moonstone. I'm running out of time within this hour, jewelry makers. Make sure you check out those baskets. I'm going to make my way over to the lovely Elizabeth. She is here. I'm going to give her the warmest of cuddles um, while we show off your wall of fame. Oh, it's wonderful to have you, Elizabeth. And I apologise for keeping you... Well, it wasn't me personally, but you were locked out for quite a while, weren't you? I was. I was beginning to think I wasn't going to come in today. Oh, no, we'd have chased you. We'd have actually chased you down and brought you right back. Um, so, OK, well, I'm going to give Elizabeth an official sort of welcome, if you like, at the beginning of the next hour, because it's Argentium Day, and I know so many of you are very, very excited. Uh, is this your first Wall of Fame? Uh, no, I think I did the first one with you. We did, briefly, didn't we? Yes. We did, we did, we did. Well, there's yours. Do you want to take it away? Okay. And I'm hoping there's some notes on the back. Yes, there is. So, <laughs> number. Number 829 um, is from. Gillian. Uh, Gillian. And that's 
absolutely beautiful. Could we read the note at the back? Yes. Hi, hi all you jewellery makers and designers out there. This week's entry for the Wall of Fame is a full set of jewellery consisting of cream textured shell pearls and brown shell pearls rosary linked for extra interest and movement. I can read, really. <laughs> for all you pay pachyderm lovers out there, I also added an elephant pendant as a focal port, all from jewellery maker, of course. I made this set for my sister-in-law and made another one just for me, as we both love elephants too. Good luck, all you woofers. What's a woofer? A woofer. Woofer. <laughs> What's a woofer? A wall of fame. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Gillian, that's beautiful. This is amazing wire work. 830 is coming from Malcolm Parker. Hello, Malcolm. Hi there, all you wonderful JM crew. This week's entry to the wall of fame is a striped agate donut pendant that I wire wrapped using your gorgeous gold and silver wire. I've been sitting on these donuts, not literally, <laughs> for a while and decided to do uh, uh, to, to, to work with them because because they seemed simple and gorgeous um, and hung them from a cord. I had a light bulb mo moment and now I have lots of wire wrapped donuts. Who knows? May Many more may appear in the future. Good luck to everybody and keep up the good work. And that's Malcolm Parker. Malcolm, that's amazing. Love it, love it. You're number 830. Okay, the next one is 827 and that's from Natalie Coldman. Hi everyone, here is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. This is a sterling silver with some turquoise, opal, amethyst, aquamarine, Swarovski and a bit of sapphire too. Mm. Everything is out, of course, from Jewellery Maker. And I just thought I'd send my little display with all my jewellery making books in the background too. Ha ha. Really hoping for my first win so I can buy more bargains. Good luck everyone. Love, Natalie. Ah, oh, Natalie, that's beautiful. Quite a library building there. Absolutely brilliant. 828 is from Lynn Timmings. Hi, Lynn. Morning, lovelies. I love these beautiful little garnet barrels. <laughs> Um, when they popped through my letterbox, but I stared at them for a while before I decided they needed uh, needed some pearls with them. I like the effect uh, um, with just the straight stringing, but thought uh, they might look better with a central focal point. So my little flower was born. It's an easy necklace to wear. Hope you like it. Love to all. And that's Lynn Timmings. Lynn, that's beautiful. I love that. And I agree. Like I said, you've got that, that focal point. Eight to eight. Okay, my next one is 825, and that's from Julie Dudley of the Isle of Wight. Hello again, everyone. My entry for the Wall of Fame this week is a couple of pairs of hoop earrings. I have made using sterling silver and rose gold coloured wire and purple and orange dyed quartz. I realised I spend most of my time making pendants, with earrings usually being an afterthought. So as hoops are everywhere at the moment, I thought I decided to make a range of different sizes, colours and orientations. Everything is from Jewellery Maker as usual. Good luck to everyone entering this week. Love and best wishes from Julie in the Isle of Wight. Amazing, and they Julie. Are beautiful. They are. 826. I love this and it's so on trend at the moment. I think they call them dream catchers. It's from Lely. Hello to you, Lely. Morning, everybody. I hope you're all well. Um, here is this week's entry to the Wall of Fame. I've been having a lot of trouble with nightmares um, and they've been constant over three weeks now. Made this a few days ago and although I'm still having nightmares, I'm not waking up in a panic. Sterling silver wire and charms of microfaceted Sleeping Beauty tur turquoise, all from Jewelry Maker and an amethyst from my stash. Good luck to everybody in that. That's Lely. Well, Lely, I really hope they go away because there's nothing worse, is it? Um, bless your heart. Yeah, so dream catchers, isn't it? That's what they believe. Yeah. It catches all the... Uh, all of, the bad things all the that nasty might be coming things. in. Yes. Um, bless you. Well, I hope you sleep well. Um, 826. Keep those entries coming in, jewelry makers, and good luck to you all. The draw happens tomorrow. Good luck. Happens tomorrow. Yeah, fingers crossed. Right, we've got time for a few more. So, what okay. number? Oh, here. The garnet. This is a parcel of garnet. So I can squeeze this in. I, I, I'm amazed that I'm bringing this to air, to be truthful. I'm, I mean, it flew out the door on, the first, um, on its first airing. I've got the final few. These are beyond gem quality. They are incredible. Genuine, the natural. Looks beautiful. Garnets, yeah. Can I use these with Argentium? Yes. You can use any stone you like with Argentium. 
Okay, now Elizabeth, um, I'm feeling I'm feeling a purchase, a couple of purchases <laughs> coming on. I missed out. I've it's missed very out. Tempting, isn't Every it? single time our gentium's been brought to air, but I'm so desperate to have a go. Thirty-four ninety-five for seven carrots. I mean, I've got a mixture here of ovals. I've seen an octagon cut. You've got a marquise in the centre there as well. Look at that brilliance. A quality red garnet will almost have the the full bodiedness of a, a you know of a delicious glass of red wine, but with internal brilliance mm. within as well they are stunning yeah I mean be gem quality this is the kind of thing that you would actually see set in uh, cradled within uh, within your golds or even your platinums and maybe with accented SI graded diamonds uh, for 14.95 only jewelry makers we've did I mention that we've got brand new Argentium kits coming up today brand new oh wait a minute I've just noticed something and all the time that I've brought these to air I've never noticed this yeah, you've spotted it too, Michael. Yeah. The Mozambique mine is currently out of bounds. The government has actually closed the Mozambique mine because it's um, unfortunately uh, there's a rebel group situated within that so location. So these have got scarcity value. <clears throat> so um, because of the dangers of that as well, they've literally just closed the mine and said, yeah, out of bounds until further notice. So that makes a big difference actually, because also the quality at the Tucson Fair, they were saying the quality of, uh, of Mozambique garnet um, is some of the best that they've seen in the, in, mm -hmm. in the industry ever. So um, I've only just clocked that. Wow. So hopefully, um, hopefully you got hold of yours. If not, now here is your chance, jewelry makers. Seven carats across multitudes of uh, gems. This, I mean, they are averaging a carat each, but you'll probably find some are larger than others. Um, you might get five, you might get four, but they would all be of that amazing, consistent quality. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Make sure you check out those baskets. Coming up, jewelry makers, we have got brand new Argentium, Argentium with the lovely Elizabeth. And it's so lovely to see you again. And you. I, I, I will admit, I was proper sulky when I saw that you were in the other day, just, <laughs> and, and I wasn't with you. You. I was oh, because I, I got so hooked with this medium. So you're going to have another go today? Definitely. Okay. Oh please. Yes. Can I? Yeah, you can. Because um, I still really want to have uh, want to get hold of the kits, but every time that we bring it to air, it always sells out. I don't think today is going to be any different. Brand new kits, which I can see for seven this morning. Any questions welcomed? We'll officially welcome uh, Elizabeth. Then we're back after this. <laughs> Tune into Jewelry Maker every morning at 8 a.m. for our breakfast club. We'll be bringing you low, low prices, last chance to buy, and end of line stock. Make sure you're watching because once the deals are gone, they're gone. Check out your Wall of Fame entries in this hour and be in with a chance to win £100 credit to your account. The Breakfast Club on Jewelry Maker. Hi Jewelry Makers, this Saturday's Late Show has something very, very special for you in the 8 o'clock hour. Well, we've got some pearls, but not just any pearls. Tahitian pearls, South Sea pearls, gold and white. But there's only very small quantities. Some only have three in stock of each one. So you need to be quick if you want to grab yourself something special here on Jewelry Maker, Saturday night, the 8 o'clock hour. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easier to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Makers. On the 27th of February, we're moving back to Freeview SD Channel 73 from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m., which means that more of you get to see our wonderful designs and incredible deals. Then from 1 p.m. to 10 p.m., we'll be back on Freeview HD Channel 74 as usual. If you watch us on Virgin, Sky or Freesat, then there's no change. You can carry on watching us as normal. 
So tune in on Freeview SD channel 73 from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. and Freeview HD channel 74 from 1 p.m. to 10 p.m. from the 27th of February. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easier to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Welcome back, jewelry makers. Lovely Elizabeth from Argentium. Good morning. It was a bit of a busy turnaround then. It so was well, do was well done, <laughs> you. Um, now, how exciting! Um, those of you, which I know there will be, that may be thinking, I don't, haven't got a clue what Argentium is. Um, per firstly, but, but before we actually get into the actual kits and of course the demonstrations, and, and we are live, so feel free to message us into the studio. We, you know, we welcome any of those um, questions that you might have. Perhaps you could just introduce yourself and tell us okay. what is Argentium? Okay, Argentium is a sterling silver, but it's a different type of sterling silver. It's superior to standard sterling in as much as it's made from 935 parts in a thousand pure silver and it's alloyed slightly differently. So, so 925 is, is 925 sterling. parts out of a thousand. Correct. That's what that number stands for. So this is 935, but mm -hmm. so unfortunately, it's purer. it is. Unfortunately, because of British hallmarking legislation, we still have to hallmark it okay. 925. But the difference in the alloy is that there is a material called germanium within the alloy composition, so the silver composition, and that allows us to fuse. It makes the silver more tarnish resistant. There's no fire stain in it when you work. So particularly if you're working on bigger pieces than this, where you might have a large expanse, or something like this one, actually. OK, we can um, show you that. Where fire stain could be a problem. Something like the, the heart ring. Yes. Um, you don't see fire stain because the germanium stops it happening in the metal. It also has one other big advantage, which on the items like this with the very long drop wire earrings, yeah. um, you can heat harden it. And that means that in your domestic oven at home, when you've finished all your assembly work, you pop it in the oven um, on a baking tray for 200, uh, 250 degrees for a couple of hours, let the oven cool down, and you will find that there's a huge amount of spring. So it stops the earring wires bending in quite the same Which way you get happen, the thin oven. It does happen, doesn't it? Yes. It does happen. In terms of... Um, um, Components. One of the things that struck me the first time that I ever saw Argentium was just how little you actually need. You're not needing whole kilns and things like that, You are don't you? need masses of material. And because you're not soldering, the other big advantage is that there's no clean-up um, that you would normally have with solder when you get it. I'm not the greatest in the world at soldering. Um, if you've done much soldering, you'll know that sometimes it doesn't flow beautifully mm -hmm. um, and that it can be a nuisance to clean up afterwards. This you don't have because you're using Argentium flux and just the material. You're not applying a different material. So every single thing that you need to start Argentium, it's, it, it, you're working with one of the purest forms of silver in the market 
and it's not scary you know we're not talking about we're not talking about you know, you're gonna need your whole a whole workshop here no you can do it in the comfort of your own kitchen even. you can well I quite often I've got a workshop but if it's a little cold at this time of year yeah so I bring this um, heat mat into my kitchen and I work on my kitchen table yeah so you that's the amount of space, really, that you need. That you need. That you're actually going to need. Now, for those of you that saw the original, uh, the, well, you've had two shows actually with yes. Argentium. Every single time that Elizabeth has been here, they have all been complete sellouts. Um, and today is not going to be any different at all. We have all the tools plus more actually we've got mm. and demonstrations um demonstrations to bring you as well any questions like i said they're very much welcomed so what would you say before we show the first kit obviously your argentium flux you know the pickle and, and the silver itself um apart from that what kind of tools and materials okay. will i Essent need essential one will be a torch yes because you won't be doing anything without the torch um i use this tiny hammer insignificant though it looks it's a brilliant Love hammer that. yeah um it's really small you've got one down yes. there and it's amazing what you can do with one small hammer okay. so the hammer i would probably want a pair of flush cutters which i think you've got flush well, cutters and pliers yeah we have those in our yes, standard toolkit you've tool got them in your standard toolkit round pliers for making the loops on earrings mm -hmm. um and probably a pair of tweezers, and that will get you safety specs as well. Yes, safety um, specs, which I have here, which I shall be and wearing we will as well be wearing them a little bit later Absolutely. on. Absolutely. Also, um, as you progress, the steel blocks always really very useful. Okay. And the rubber, um, the rubber blocks, the, the rubber blocks. Everything that we do for Argentium um, is done on a charcoal block because actually the charcoal gives off carbon dioxide and helps create a good atmosphere for the fusing to take, pla amazing. take place. Amazing. Um, Absolutely amazing. Something we didn't mention a little, or I didn't mention a little bit earlier with Argentium as well, is that it's um, hypoallergenic and antibacterial. So it's particularly good for earring pins or ear wires. And if you've had trouble with silver in the past, it's worth trying Argentium mm -hmm. because we've had a lot of success with people who can't wear sterling silver but can wear this. And that is because, I'm going to give you a little bit of chemistry now. Please. The germanium in the um, alloy, what the way it works is it actually produces an oxide. Now you would think oxide wouldn't be a good thing, but in this case you want the oxide. Okay. When you've finished working the piece, you've polished it, one of the things that is really important to do afterwards is to make sure the surface of the metal is free from any polishing compound. Right. So that can be done with just a mild detergent when you've finished all your polishing. If you've got an ultrasonic and you can get the, the mini ones. We actually had them a few days ago, actually. All yeah. the better, because that will remove all the grease the from the surface. The ultrasonic, if any of you got so that. So once the surface of the metal is clean, it will oxidise, but it won't oxidise the way that you understand silver does which mm. is it turns black germanium is white so it comes yeah. up to the surface of the the metal so it looks brighter and it produces a protective layer i haven't cleaned this since i was last on the show really um, um do you know it was funny actually the how many how many months ago was it, it was it, november we? was it, it was november? November's day <laughs> oh yes i remember oh yeah i do remember um and I, I, you, you gave me that to wear on oh. air and then it disappeared off for photographing and then some, I think Chloe messaged me and she said, Elle, can you give Elizabeth her necklace back? And I was like, I haven't got it. <laughs> but I love the way that you thought that, that everyone was thinking that Elle's got it, Elle's got it. It is beautiful. So this is all Argentium. This is all Argentium and this as I say, has not been cleaned since November. And these shapes, I tell you what, Elizabeth, are all the rage at the moment, these quite organic-like well, shapes. these were, and the ring were the items we made. Yes. We didn't make this one, but we made the ring, yes. and we made a couple of items like this on the first kits. So, well, we have multiple kits to bring you this morning, demonstrations. It is probably going to be um, an extended hour, I would imagine, I'd imagine. Um, but like I said, let's have it make a very interactive. Where would you like me to start then, Tom? I'm going to show you on, 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 a, um, on a slide the first, the actual first kit. Um, okay, so there we go. And it actually has the ring shank too. So oh, this one's limited. Um, and we do tend to buy the quantity that's available, yes. the full quantity. So um, yeah, how many how many's limited then? Okay, there's 49 of these available, but don't worry, we have got lots of other treats to bring you. If you miss out on this one, just stay with us. So this kit, if I try and tilt it forward without 
without actually spilling. I should have put those pills back in there. There we go. So if I actually drop, uh, tilt that forward, you get two lots of your Argentian butterfly backs, three of these lovely flat discs. Yes. Um, you've got these lovely kind of petal or heart shapes here, a piece of your Argentian wire, two earring posts, a ring shank, and also three of your lovely and pearls. Shall I show you which items it makes? Yes, that, please. So it makes these earrings. Okay. Um, that ring. That ring. And these earrings. Oh, so they're the, I see now. So I can see what you did with the, the, that shape. Yes. That shape is those petals. It is. Already half the stock's gone. Well, the, good, the good news is, coming up, we do have a variant on that with different yes. stones in. So yes, if you do. don't get the pearls, there's still the opportunity. So that's a lot of Argentium silver here. It is. And in, uh, the potential of what you can make. I mean, look how beautiful that ring is. Um, is, is endless really it's got you've got you've got enough if you just wanted to do is that like a four petal yeah so this is a four petal. petal yeah gosh and anybody can do that even with no silversmithing i know we're not silversmithing <laughs> jewelry making skills really of all the kits we've got here today yeah this is the slightly more complicated one okay but i would within a couple of hours say that anybody could be making these yes in a couple of hours yeah mastering a technique like this within a couple of hours gosh they're beautiful aren't they and that's the one of the purest forms of silver Absolutely. in the market and it, if you have any problems at all with silver this is a good place to to have another yeah, go with it have a go because i must admit um every so often i mean I, I i do wear silver earrings i wear costume jewelry as well but after a while it can actually sort of start agitating yes. can't it especially in the ear itself it's it bowled me over the first time round. Um, it's actually quite affordable, isn't it, Argentium? Because that's actually quite a big gram weight. I've got five left within the vault. Look at all of those lovely customers. And if you miss out on your forget me not uh, kit, then don't worry. We have got other variations. But would the wise pounce on them because every Argentium kit that I've, I've even tried to get hold of it myself and not been able to. Hiya Sue, good morning Elizabeth, Elle, a mighty morning crew. I'm so looking forward to the new Argentium. Me too! Morning Sue. <laughs> Me too. Oh, it's literally been, I've been, yes, yes. Woke up this morning, yes. Elizabeth's here. Well, I'm glad it, you're excited about coming in. And very, doing this. very, very excited. I think that kit's sold out. Now, um, I'm going to bring you the same kit, but this one is with Swarovski. So you can it use is. Swarovski. Would you set? Do you do the silver work and then attach the Swarovski? You do or? Absolutely. Finish absolutely everything. Okay. Um, so get it finished, polished, ready to go. And um, I. I haven't got one here, but the Swarovski stones were put in when I did them with um, just an araldite. It, okay. It's the best option because it's got a bit of play in it so that if you're, particularly on the ring, if you're banging it on the surface anywhere, okay. um, it doesn't have that issue that Loctite, oh, the, one of the super glues can have, that it's not great for shock. So go, okay. go for a two-part epoxy resin. Okay, perfect. Now I've 60 of this kit. Again, it's exactly the same components as the previous kit, but without the pearls. This time you've actually got your lovely emerald green, um, emerald green Swarovski. Um, I, I mean, I'm really, I'm because because of the brightness that you get with your argentium. I just think the combination of Swarovski and, and argentium it is, is just a beautiful, beautiful combination. One. Yes. Yeah, because they are both so and so the, vibrant. The thing that you will notice with argentium silver is that when you put it next to standard sterling, it is a whiter tone of silver. Your necklace, I can see that straight mm. away by your necklace. Half the stock's gone already on this kit, um, I'm not surprised. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you can do versions of, because initially, what, what about these little discs? What do we use the right, round the li discs The little for? discs go on the back of the ring to be able to fuse the uh, ring shank here we on go. more easily. So I can show that. So that's what your little discs are for on the underside. Showing my dreadful polishing there. Uh, are you, are you serious? Because that looks perfect to me. That looks absolutely perfect. Gosh, that's amazing. And it's the same on the stud earrings. It's so that you've got somewhere that you can put the pins. Okay. That's a sort of flat, 
flatter surface. Look at that. I mean, you can make that, jewelry makers. If you get hold of this kit, you can make these amazing. And I tell you what, the, you, the it's ground way. Voice, yeah, it, it is. It's not, it's not flimsy at all. We're going to go down because, again, it's looking like it will be a sellout very quickly. I had 60 opportunities, 29.95. All you need for Argentium, I reckon, if, I, if I'm lucky this time, <laughs> Fingers crossed to get hold of the actual kit. And I sat down in my kitchen, had a go of this. I reckon it'd be my husband wanting to have a go. It's a bit addictive, actually. Anybody yeah. who sees, and particularly when we did the the one that you actually I didn't do with you. Yeah. When we did the granulation, everybody got addicted to, yeah. to granulating because it's just such fun. Yeah. And it is something that children can get involved in. Uh, I've noticed on Facebook. There's been a number of your jewellery making customers have um, done things with their granddaughters mm -hmm. to make for their mothers. Of it's course, a great supervised. Thing. supervised. Of course, yes. supervised. Yes. But um, sort of, they've been nine, ten years old, and they've loved it. Yeah. Well, that's it. I mean, the, I mean, I mean, a piece of jewellery like this. Can you even buy argentium jewellery? Um, you can buy argentium jewellery. We we actually only another and we own another company that sells argentium jewellery. Okay. And there are a lot of other people that are manufacturing in it now, but they're tending not to state that it is. They're using it for its benefits, but they're not sort of broadcasting no. it. Well, that seems much more so in the states. In yeah. the states, there there are lots of um, galleries and craft uh, okay. people that are using it, but it's been we we launched in the states, and really this is. Now we're bringing it to market in the UK. So it's massive in the States, yeah, isn't it, it is Argentium? Um, look at that. I mean, that is so shop art, isn't it? I love the texture. And that's where this little hammer comes that in. That dinky <laughs> little hammer. Amazing. So basically, this is your step towards becoming a silversmith, basically, yes. isn't it? And in actual fact, some of the techniques that we've used, particularly on something like this ring, that's made in the flat initially. Yeah. Um, but the texturing, although it looks stunning, it's also a great way, if you're not 100% confident initially with um, fine polishing, mm. the hammering technique's a great way of it, covering that well, up. It, well, that's it. I mean, um, it, look, very high-end Italian jewellers do that, don't they? They dapple and they yes. texture the actual precious metal to give you that wonderful surface luster. Um, again, on the verge of selling out, so well done. Still a few of those available. Let's bring you the kit, same kit, same kit components, other than the fact that you have the silver Swarovski, or I should say, is it silver? No, that's hot. That's that's diamond, isn't it? Is it just, or is it black? Could be black diamond. I think it is the black diamond colour, but there we are. It doesn't matter either, either or. So you get a packet of those, which are kind of round, brilliant cut shape. So in terms of the earrings, you could literally nestle it down into those petals. I'm going to tilt it forward so you can see um, exactly how many components. So um, and I'll count how much you get of everything. So uh, your argentium finer silver forget me not pearl kit. You get the two lots of your. You get two of your earring posts. Um, the two of your butterfly backs as well. Three of the actual round discs, you get one ring shank. What do we use this wire for? Right, the wire is used for making the um, oh, okay. earring loops and the centre of the earrings down here, just some little granulation. Okay, so that's all done out of the yes. actual wire itself. Plus then these lovely, almost heart-shaped um, components, and you've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Is that right, 18? Or is that it sounds about right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> 18 of your little hearts, um, which obviously make the actual petals for your forget-me-nots. These kits are so popular and they're already rocketing out of the door. We've got chains to bring you as well in your Argentium Silver. Um, so if you're sort of inspired by Elizabeth's necklace and kits, demonstrations, any questions, of course, message us in. If you've never, ever, ever, or if you thought, oh, this is beyond my capability, I've only just started making jewellery, believe me, you can do it. I am probably one of the most basic jewellery makers that is here at uh, you know in this establishment it's true it is I can do a bit of macrame and I can do stretchy braces and a little bit of beading and that's about it really um, why I work I'm utterly useless at but this I'm sure I would uh, you know well, I'd just, be okay just to sort of let you in on the secret I hadn't made any jewellery for 20 blah, too many years to think about until about 18 months ago and even then really I haven't done much it's only in the last sort of six to eight months I've started making again. So I've forgotten more than I've ever known. Six uh, to yes, eight months? Absolutely. Really? But um, 
the first pieces that we did last time were so simple that they got made in an afternoon. Wow, wow. Um, there we go. See, so anybody can do it. Sorry, I missed that then, Tom. I saw the woohoo. I saw that bit. I saw woohoo. <laughs> Hiya, Michelle. Morning, Elizabeth, Ellen, crew. Woohoo, our gentium feeling. Uh, a hit on my purse string. Ha ha. Yes, but think about the joy that you're going to be of making. The fun you're going to have with it. Yes, yes. And personalised, one of a kind jewellery. Yeah. That's what it is. So if, if I don't want to make floral motifs, have I got different ways that I can use the, each of these petals? You could certainly, I mean, the, 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 the stud earring, no, sorry, the drop earrings are less florally. Yeah. You could certainly, if you've got other argentium, you could apply them to deco so for decoration. Sort of you can, if you've got other argentium, you can apply them to can that. They migrate together. If you didn't want to make everything really fancy, you could simply fuse one of the little hearts onto the ring shank yeah. and have a very simple ring. Yeah, lovely. So there's lots of things. You don't have to make... Connect them together. Exactly, yes. I'm just picturing you could have like a heart per member of your family, couldn't you? Mm. Something like that. The kids are flying out the door. Okay, let's bring you the next one. So this is the Siam Red. Again, same components. But in the cyan red, so you have your two earring posts, your butterfly backs, the little discs that go on the actual reverse um, of your earrings or your ring, um, your your hearts. I keep calling them hearts. If I don't know if that's the right way to describe them. Uh -oh. Let me put that back up there. Um, and also you have your Swarovski, which is the Siam red colour. So beautiful. It's really difficult to hold them steady and be able to show them at the same time. Um, it, potential of these. I mean, out of one kit you've made, what did you say? Three, the, three items, two pairs of earrings and the ring. So the, uh, the kits have been priced, what, less than £30? So three kits, you've made three very luxurious, some of the purest sterling silver pieces of jewellery so that's less than 10 pounds per piece of jewellery and perfect for gifting at that yeah well mother's day is yes. around the corner and we've got surprises to bring you as well jewellery makers so if you're missing out on some of these kits some of them are getting very very limited now don't worry however do do try and grab hold of them asap because i'll tell you what I've, i'm yet to be able to get hold of argentium every time it's been brought to air and i tuned in as well on that day i tuned in missed out as well uh 29.95 i mean you would certainly pay more than 29.95 for these amazing floral earrings the forget me not earrings you would 100 pay more than 29.95 for that absolutely stunning uh forget me not ring and the same goes on um, sort of across across each of these what lovely designs. But it's even more than that. It's made with your fair hands, which mm. I think is something that you can't put a value on that really, no, can you? No. I mean my mum are like not on the nowhere near in the same league as Argentium. I made my mum um, and it was it was a FEMO but better versions now is um, with us here at Jewelry Maker. But I remember making my mum a little piggy brooch because she loved pigs mm -hmm. out of clay basically, um, and she kept it for, you know, for she's still got it now. But that's the thing when so, the thing with jewelry anyway is it's got a sentimental attachment yes. most of the time. If you make something for somebody, it's got that much more. Oh, even more attachment and we pay a premium for it don't we yes okay moving on oh the final kit of this hour is that right no 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 no, no tom says no, no 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 i'm getting ahead of myself apparently oh yes there might be some extra treats so this is in that lovely topaz but for me it's like a it's like a, sh a, a canary diamond colored swarovski so you get the pack of your swarovski and of course the most important component which is your argentium um, you can see that's a big gram weight mm. i mean i don't know if we've actually totaled it all but i'd imagine that is quite a significant it gram is. weight and al although that makes three pieces of jewelry each one of those has got weight that mm -hmm. it feels like it's substantial oh definitely like you said just picking up that one forget me not ring you that weighs way more than any sterling silver mm. piece of jewelry or most i should say pieces of jewelry the average the average silver ring in the market weighs one and a half grams oh it's definitely more than that yeah considerably more i'll give it away actually in a, in a few moments time um so this is your topaz color so you get that lovely dazzling yellow um but most importantly all of your uh, all of your argentium it is hypoallergenic jewelry makers so for those of you that maybe that suffer with skin allergies or become um, maybe have are irritated by certain precious metals yes. then give argentium a go absolutely we 
We've had a really, really good All success All right, race. Joanne. <laughs> All right. We're getting there. We're not, by the way, it's, a, it's, a, it's, an, it's, not, it's like an endless hour. So we'll take as long as we take. Is that right? Don't worry. Don't you worry. I'm not going to be cutting Elizabeth short. We will be doing the kit. And then, because I don't want to interrupt Elizabeth through her demonstration. Hi, Claire. Love these new designs and beautiful Argentium. So inspiring. Well done, Elizabeth. Best wishes from Claire. Thank you, Claire. Oh, I yeah. wonder if that's Claire, who is a very big Argentium fan. I hope so. Possibly. <laughs> Possibly. I'm sure you're inspiring a lot of people today. Mm -hmm. A lot of people. And I think the one thing that I feel like I want to, you know, convey is that I want people to have a go and not be frightened, at, you know. The thing is, I think I explained probably when we did the show together, but I know I did the last time, is that Argentium is one of those mediums that if something goes a little bit awry when you're making it, it's not the end of the world. That was exactly how, well, I've got my chain twisted here, but that was exactly how these were made. I melted a jump ring. Um, I, oh. I just got a little bit carried away and it just pulled in. And it, rather than put it in my scrap box, I thought, well, actually, that's really nice. Oh, yeah. But no one, until I admitted it on live TV, would have known that this was made from mistakes. <laughs> Yeah, well, well the uh, first one happy, was. happy accidents, we <laughs> exactly. call them here at Jewelry Maker. Um, okay, what was that, sorry? Hammered heart ring. So that's this one, isn't it? It's got to be. It is that one, and that's the ring. But we have a big announcement. Of this kit, we have 219. Really? With one of our newest and most exciting mediums, this is a... Fab Feb Steve Super Saver deal. Easy for you to say. <laughs> uh, exactly, exactly, exactly. 200 of these are available, jewellery makers. For those of you that are desperate to make Elizabeth's heart ring, then now this is the kit for you to be getting involved with. So you get, firstly, that's a huge amount of your Argentium silver just that's here. That's for the ring shank, yes. Yeah. And that's to allow for the fact that people's fingers come in different, different sizes. Different sizes. So almost certainly you'll have a little bit of that left over that you can play with. Okay. What about the actual wire the here? The wire is for making, again... The, oh, the of course, because it's the, the earrings as well. So yes. you, can, you can make this suite from this kit. Yes. So both pieces of jewellery, of course. Silly me. And then you have those lovely hearts too. So this is, I mean, I don't know if you... I hope you like this... this uh, um, how do, what do you say when you're actually comparing two designs? Take it as a compliment. Tiffany's. I think these are like Tiffany hearts. Mm. Yeah, they yeah. are actually. It's a Tiffany heart-like uh, like design, but even more special because these are not mass-produced. They're not, this and is, you're making them yourself. Yeah, exactly. So these have gone absolutely crazy. It, would you agree that this is possibly the best or one of the best kits to start with. It is a great starter kit because there's fusing to be done on it. There's hammering, which gives <gasps> you a nice surface finish, but it's quite simple. 1995. Absolutely, it's a great deal. It's an amazing deal. So, I mean, there's no excuses really. I mean, this is, this is finer silver at the most affordable prices. We've got all the tools and you know, you don't need, you don't need a fully fledged silversmith workshop. You don't need to have degrees in, in jewelry or anything like that. And the, the great thing with this is, if I just take one of the earrings off, if you yeah. don't mind, is that we show you how to make the um, earring fittings on this. So you yes. see, this, this process you'll be this process you'll be able to use on any earrings that you make. So you can take the wire and you can create your own fittings to any length you want. And it's the flux that bonds it, it together, is the, isn't it's it? It's the flux that. In fact, what the flux does, it allows it to literally fuse. So if you cut through um, here on my ring shank, mm. if you cut through. <gasps> Normally, you would see a line of solder there. Yeah. With this, what you won't see is anything like that. When it fuses, it literally, all the molecules bond together and it becomes one piece. So there's no sanding, buffing, sanding, buffing, or not, to, to, yeah, not to, to the to same degree. Bit, but because no. when you solder, you often get like a, like a lump, don't and you? Quite often you'll see with sol silver solder, what makes it flow has got a very slight yellow tinge to it. So if I got my um, Argentium ring here and I'd soldered the ring shank onto this, 
over time, as everything slightly discolours, you would see mm. a line of yellow solder. It would be very faint, but mm. it would be there. With this, you'll never see it because this is all one piece of metal now. Wow. It, I mean, just, it is absolutely amazing. We had 200 of this kit. How many do we have left? 30 of the kits left. 30, so you have to be quick. Laura, Kirsten, Hema, Antoinette, Joe, Hillier, Judith, Allison, Vanya, Gloucestershire, Danny, Linda, Marie, Staffordshire. New customers, wonderful. That's what we want to see. Um, some really savvy shopping on here because we don't have, uh, uh, sadly, we don't have Elizabeth here every single week. We would if we could. But I'm sure you've probably got other jobs to do as well. Um, so those of you that are stocking up and multi-buying on this, I think it's very savvy. Wendy, Mera, Laura, Karen's got three. Uh, well done to you, Lorraine, Susan, Anne-Marie, Kay's multi-bought, Patricia, Christine, uh, Lynn. I've got to move on, um, but stay where you are. There's still quantity there for the time Can being. Can I just one, point one thing out about this kit? You've got three hearts in here, and when you get them, you'll see that there's two different thicknesses. So you've got one very thick oh, okay. one, which is the one to use on the ring. Okay. And two slightly thinner one, lighter weight ones, which are the ones for the earrings. Oh, okay. So yeah. it's just to point out if you get them and you think, oh, they're not all the same, that's why. So, so the thicker one is ring. for the actual yes. ring. Now you've mentioned it, you can quite obviously yeah. see it. So um, amazing. Sorry, would you like me to show you? Here we go, here we go. So there's the two narrower. If you look from the side profile. And there is the ring one because it's slightly thicker. Yeah, because you don't want it to buckle, do you? No. No. Um, amazing. Okay, that kit, leave it with you. Oh, the last kit. 249 available. Okay, which one? Because I've got two here. Should be the bracelet, I think. Is it with the hearts? Yes. <coughs> and chain. Oh. <gasps> So that's it. Oh, Elizabeth. That's so beautiful. So it comes with the Argentium silver. So, you, you know, you don't put some components that, which are um, Argentium uh, and some which are 925. It's all 930 it all Argentium. Nine, yes. I'm just popping this on here for you so you can see. Wow. So this is all about the bracelet. This is the piece that you can actually create, and I'll show you all the way around jewellery makers. So look at the amount of argentium silver, even down to the clasp itself. Making the clasp, yes. So that it's all out of this one kit. Start dialing through now um, for this for the, one of the purest forms of silver that we can actually offer you. Full stop. It's going where? Eleven ninety-five. How many do we have? Uh, Two hundred and forty-nine. Okay, I was going to say we need quantity if it's going at that price tag. So those of you that I got the first, that. oh really? <laughs> now, if you're surprised, yes. that speaks volumes. Eleven ninety-five, isn't it? Is that like almost? Uh, that is amazing. A cost price. It's getting there. Yeah, it's not far off it's cost price. It's not very price. far off cost. Um, yeah, I had to do a double take actually. <laughs> Hope we got that right now. Hope we got it right. Um, well, you know what? If, if we're wrong, we've welcomed lots of people to Argentium. And people are able to make sort of rings, earrings, and also the bracelets. Because that is a lot of sterling silver. Mm. Four and a half grams yes. of sterling silver. Well, not, sorry. No, sorry. not sterling. Argentium silver. Argentium silver. Purer, 935, um, at less than 12 pounds. Goodness me. It's a good job we've got quantity of these. That, okay, this is wonderful. We've got people getting quantities like twos, threes, sixes. Amazing. You could sit. I don't know, we've got, what, it's been half term, hasn't it? Mother's Day is around the corner. Imagine being able to make your own Mother's Day gift. Absolutely. You know, and what a nice theme, hearts and flowers for Mother's Day. Y yes. Ah, oh, lovely. Mm. Forget me nots yes. as well. Really sweet little yeah, flowers, nice aren't they? Nice message, isn't it? It is. Um, so, what we're going to do, we're going to... All the demo time that Elizabeth wants, she's got today. And then what we'll do is we'll bring you all the tools that Elizabeth is going to be using. Um, and additional uh, kits and goodies that we actually have, we're going to do after that, okay? Okay. So... So basically, if you want the hammer, if you want the charcoal block, if you want the ham, if you want the rubber block, if you want the chasing hammer, if you want the mask, if you want the safety goggles, all of that is coming your way um, as soon as Elizabeth has finished, but she's not being rushed. So, Elizabeth, my darling, 
over to over you. Over to me. Right. Okay. Whilst, I, whilst I put my safety goggles and on. And you don't have any preference for which way we start? No? Okay. Entirely up to you. Um, I think one of the things, because quite a lot of the kits have got these in that we will start with, is how to make the little flowers. Okay. Um, Russell, 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 sorry. Russell, Russell, I'm sorry, I'm doing it too. Um, and just for a second, I'm just going to clean my torch off. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Why did it make... There we are. So we've got the safety goggles, by the way, as well. Yeah, do uh, it's it's always worthwhile wearing the correct safety materials. Yes, of course, and I will like put this. mine on in a minute. Okay. Um, now, I'm just going to make one flower. Are we in the right place, Ollie? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, now, I apologise in advance that I would normally be sat down and doing this at eye level, so I'm sort of doing it yeah. not quite at the the height I would normally be doing it. So. The bigger flowers take five of the little petals and the trick with them is to line them, in fact I'm now doing this wrong, um, what I should have done at the beginning of this, do you have your emery paper handy? Let's have a look, emery paper. paper. Uh, if not, it's alright I've got some on a stick. That'll underneath do. it. It's, underneath. it's fine, I've got some on a stick, that's fine. Okay. Um, because you're going to be fusing the sides of all of these, and we're not going to do all of these at the moment, but just to make sure that they're nice and clean. And give them a buff. Give them a buff on the sides with emery. Okay. Um, and that will just make sure that when the Argentium flux goes down, it's hitting metal. So we do that on all of them, and I will just do this very quickly. This is where I should have had my blue peter here. I have one I cleaned up it's earlier. A, no, we're enjoying this, Elizabeth, don't you worry. Um, and this is one of those activities, it is easier sat down. You have got as long as you wish, <laughs> okay. honestly, there's no room. Do you want to sit down? No, I think it's actually, okay. it's a bit too, a bit too I low. I can grab you a chair. No, then I'll have no excuse, you see, so <laughs> now I've got an excuse. <laughs> so once you've got the sides of your petals clean, the trick really, I'm, to... I'm leaning over too much. There we are. Okay, I'm going to have to put my glasses on. <laughs> I've got to that age where everything's at the wrong distance. No, no, it's just our arms are too short. That's what it is. Um, so or you have you have to line up. This is the this is the fiddly bit. Your petals, and you will have to keep fiddling. Lean back. You will have That's to keep it. fiddling until they naturally. You will see that there's a point. <gasps> Oh, look at that. When they do start to look like they're even. <laughs> she says, leaning back again. Um, okay, so that's as near as I think I'm going to get them. And I need to find my paintbrush for my flux. So, uh, you take your Argentium flux. And I am going to lean over this just for one minute because okay. I cannot see this from a distance. No, that's okay. So that's okay. So that what we, I'm doing we know is, we can use the other is putting the flux where the joint is going to be. So not all over, just where the joints are. Just where are. the joints are going to be. It doesn't matter if it goes all over, but it's just easier if it doesn't. We do have all the flux and everything, by the way, jewellery makers. So, um, And you use minimal amounts, Elizabeth, don't you? Yes, you do. Um, now, the thing that I would say is ordinarily I would line these all up if I was doing three or four of them and I would probably let them dry naturally okay. um, because one of the things that you find with the flux which we'll see in a minute is that when you put the torch on it it bubbles a little bit generally that doesn't matter but when you've got things that you've got lined up like this mm -hmm. it does matter so if you've got the time and mm -hmm. if you're doing this at home you will have flux it and let it dry naturally, and you won't get that bubbling up that you're just about to see. Does that, that take, happens with this. How long does that take? Does um, it dry quickly? If you're or? somewhere warm, it's probably about 10, 15 oh, minutes. Okay. It's not, it's it's not, not a long not time. Days. So could I have what the other pair like? of safety specs? Other pair of safety specs? Or am I all right with my glasses? Uh, no. Do we have another pair of safety specs? Another pair of safety okay. specs? Because I'm I know, I know the only thing you're going to say is you've not got your safety specs on. You know, um, sorry about this. That's all right. That's okay. 
There should be, yeah, I've got one pair. Thank you. Okay. Yay! <laughs> Here we go. Yes, and we both look Safe. lovely now, don't we? We do. <laughs> Fabulous. Rocking the specs. Okay. Now, bearing in mind, I haven't got my glasses on and I've got a pair of safety specs. I'm struggling a little bit here. Okay. So, as you Would can they go over your glasses? They did the last time, but actually it didn't make it a lot easier. Okay, so we'll, we'll go with not. Um, so you light your torch, and this is the torch that I think you're coming, coming to later yeah. on. Just to recap it for anybody who hasn't got one, to light it, you pull the button down at the back, press the, the back button, and push the side in, and that will keep the torch on. Yep. The thing with the, this torch as well is to make sure that it's full at all times. Because once the pressure starts to drop, the, the temperature of the, the flame doesn't come out quite so well. Okay. So I'm going to warm this over very gently initially, and there may be some movement. If there is, we'll relocate them. Because the thing with fusing, unlike soldering, is once it's fused, it's fused. Okay. You can't unfuse it. Okay. So you want it to be in the right place. And the other thing, if we could just organise, could we get some water put, some warm water put some into the pickle? Some warm water. So, at the moment, I'm not hopefully leaning over too much. No, that's okay. Okay. So there wasn't any movement, so we were quite, quite happy there. So, we're warming this all the way round because we're going to be fusing each one of these. And what you're looking for is for the surface of the metal to be getting wet. Do you see that? Mm-hmm. So that's got wet. Oh, yes, all of a sudden you've got this really yes. high now, luster. That's, that's fused. Okay. But I'm going to let it cool a little bit and I'm going to flip it over and do it on the other side as well. Okay, so don't touch don't it Don't touch our gentium when it's bright red. Because when it's bright red, it's hot. it will crack. It, it's not just that it's hot. When it's got any colour in it, so if there's any glow in the metal uh -huh. and you pick it up, it will disassemble itself oh really yes <laughs> okay well we don't want that so i'm going to repeat the exercise this side time on the other side and this is just to make sure that it's gone all the way through okay and what i'm looking for you see that it's just yeah, beginning it to look wet it kind of all, yeah you're right it goes it ha you can see a and fluid I'm, I'm going to get it very wet because i want to make sure that has fused and I'm sorry, I know I'm leaning over. No, you're right. I think there's one seam that I'm still not 100% certain with. And Ollie's saying you're fine, don't worry, because okay. we can use that camera. I'm just going to dab the flux back there. Oh, it sizzled. It sizzled. And this is where, when you're at home, you can check this more carefully than I'm possibly doing now. OK, that looks much better. And I think the other thing, just to say, your torch will come with a little stand, which yes, I carelessly, less, careless, carelessly left mine at home. So we'll let you off. You have we, remembered lots of Are we organising some water for the pickle? Yeah. It's on its okay, way. OK, so at the moment you can see it's got nasty spots all over it and it's not looking great. So that's just simply the flux has... It looks a bit grubby. It looks a bit grubby. So when the um, water comes through... And it has got a habit of sticking, so don't worry. And you're doing this on a charcoal block? I'm doing it on block. the charcoal block. When the um, water comes through, we'll pickle it and you'll see, see it cleans up. So for speed, we've got a... Here we've got one I made earlier. OK. Um, and I'm going to take this off for the time being. Now, what I normally do at this stage is I will... Um, Here's your water. Look, Tom's on the, on the ball. Thank, Thank you. you, Tom. Is it warm? Yes. Yes. Thank you. There we go. So you've put you've put in there I've now. I've put in some of the Argentium pickle, which what I normally do at home. Okay. Is it, this is a bit hit and miss. It's normally about a tablespoonful. Um, all of these products are coming your way in the 10 o'clock hour, Jewelry Makers, so don't worry, the pickle, the flux, the, the torch, the hammer, everything is coming up in the 10 o'clock. I normally put mine into a dish and then microwave it. I've also got in the workshop, but I'm not out there all the time, I've got one of the little slow cookers mm. that I use just to keep my pickle warm. Oh, I remember you bringing that in last yeah. time, yeah. So, um, so I will drop that into the pickle and we'll let that clean off, but here we have one I made earlier. Um, and I've started to emery this down. Um, two reasons. One is that will make sure that I can see I have definitely fused all the way through. 
And the second is that certainly on one side, which is going to be the inside, I want it as clean as possible because okay. that's going to be the bit that's difficult to polish. To, to polish. Okay. Um, so I am going to... You're getting your doming block now. I am getting my doming block. Or dapping plot block, whichever, and on your rubber. On oh, my rubber. I've got it on there. Um, I am going to take just a little bit more off here, just to make sure that it is as clean as possible. And you will obviously spend more time doing this at home. Um, so we have to. We'll just move you over here a bit. Okay. Sorry. That's all right. Don't 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 apologise. It's just so we can get you there. Now I am. I think. I think I might anneal this because I just want to be sure that this drops down into the diamond block. Okay, here. so what do you mean by annealing? Annealing it is just taking any stress in the metal out of it. Um, oh, you're de-stressing it? I'm de-stressing it, yes. So it's not getting it up to the fusing temperature, yep. it's just getting the stresses in the metal out. Okay. And we'll let that cool down. Let it cool. Um, so, yeah, your dapping block, your little chasing hammers, as uh, um, your argentium flux. I'm assuming, looking at that, how little you use of the argentium flux, that's going to last you a long time. This is my industrial size ones. Okay. Your, your bottles are a smaller but size. But even so, it's that, gonna... that will last you months and months and months and months. Yeah, you really well. don't use very much of it. No. All of which is coming. Away. And a few extra surprises too, jewellery makers. I think I can take these off now, can't I? You can. i just got, uh, got attached to them. Now, um, again, I'm going to do a little bit of well, well, what I did earlier okay. um, with the... Um, here I have what I made earlier. I'm just putting it, putting it in the pickle. Now, I will put my fingers in the pickle because it's actually a citric acid, so it's non-toxic, it's food safe. And okay. when you're finished with it, you can wash it down the sink. Right. It's, it's not going to cause any chemical problems anywhere with the water supply. So what, why do we need the pickle? The what pickle, does the pickle, the pickle, pickle do? will take off. Can you see all the rubbish oh, that's yes, floating it here? It. it will take off all the um, flux that was all there. That. Now, bear in mind that's the one I haven't sanded. Okay. So we can show everybody now. It's really... And yes. if you're wondering about the surface, if you think about what's happening when you fuse, you are actually melting the yeah. metal yeah, to yeah. liquid point. So if it looks a bit uneven, don't worry about it because that's because it's it's melted. That will clean up and polish back. Okay. And the other point just on that is that try and keep one area of your charcoal block as tidy as possible. Um, simply because what you find is that when you fuse on your charcoal block, what because you are melting this in effect to fuse it, whatever you've got in terms of surface on your charcoal block ah, tends to be the surface that that then becomes. Okay. So the more indentations and the more lumps and bumps you've got on your charcoal block, the more the surface of your metal will pick that up. Would you might, would you recommend getting a few of your, uh, of your charcoal blocks I would, blocks and in fact then? what I tend to do, and oh, it's here, I was going to say, this shows you, I keep two or three charcoal oh, you blocks, because you can see what a disgusting state this is in. Well that one's looking a bit tired. Now, yeah. you can, <laughs> there are two things you can do. You can actually, it's very messy, so I recommend you do this outside, but rather than think, oh, well, that charcoal block's no good, get some coarse sandpaper, go outside and resurface yes. it. Um, it is horribly messy, but it does the job, and you will get back to a nice surface on there. Amazing. But I've kept mine messy for two reasons. I've got, you will remember maybe from the first show, I showed you how to put earring posts on by mm -hmm. drilling holes Oh, yes, in. yeah, yeah. Well, I keep one block for the sort of rubbish jobs that I have to do. So this is for leaning things on, for putting posts down. So I do tend to keep two. It's a shame when it's a new one that you have it. Yeah, but, yeah, if you want to. Um, so we've put everything on pre-order for you now, jewellery makers, everything. So if you are, uh, to, go onto our website, have a little look, all the W's at jewellerymaker.com. So everything like the, the torch, the charcoal blocks, the flux, the rubber, uh, the rubber block, the dapping block, the hammers, it's all on there. Yes. Anyway, back to you. So I'm not going to do this one from scratch because I haven't taken all the bits and pieces off it. So I'm going to do one that I've already started to dome. Okay. Um, and what you need to do is find the right size um, tool that fits into the hole. So they are all different, and they're also slightly oily. Sorry. Okay. 
when you get them at home you'll wipe this off obviously but you can start That's it off you can start it off on the rubber block so that you start to get a bit of a dip into it before you put it in the doming block. The residue that you get with the dapping blocks is, is so it doesn't rust it in is. transportation. And actually, it's always good just to keep a, a, a little bit of a sheen of oil on them because I won't get mine out because it's disgusting. Mm. Because my workshop is cold and I've taken all the surface off mine. And it, this one's not too bad, but my old block and my old dapping block looks revolting it does the job fine but yeah. if you don't keep it um if you keep it in the house you've probably not got a problem okay but if you keep it anywhere damp or in a workshop like mine you'll find that the steel will start to discolor okay. it's not an issue you can rub it over with um a scouring pad and that'll pull it off okay so so now we're dappling so i would normally start this off on here this is one i did make earlier and not perfect um I will check that my tool fits and I will find a larger hammer for this and when you're doing this you always start off in the largest um, dapping dome section as possible okay. because you're moving the metal gently you're not moving it um, really hard and it, it really is a case of you just tap it in and I'm sorry about the noise viewers And it's one of those things you can you can do it as much or as little as you like if you look at um, now where are they this one if you look at oh, I will get one out that I made earlier if you look at this one you'll see I've domed this one quite a lot yeah, so I suppose it's so a, a matter of preference on this you can have a very shallow curve or you can you can yeah, do a very the, ring deep is, curve. the ring is actually very pronounced, isn't it? So yes. that curvature. Okay. Um, how so about how about how do we attach? Because I'm just very aware of sort of I wanted to see sort of the finished piece. How do okay. we actually attach everything together? Okay. So I I will take this and I'm not going to finish it all off, but we'll do it so you would normally finish polish and do so, absolutely okay. everything. So you polish it and everything at this stage. I would have done a rough polish at this stage. Okay. And what do we use to polish it, sorry? Um, I use my Dremel. I have a ah. very neat Dremel, which I think you've got on your... I yes. hope you've got on your additional tools. I um, so, and yes. I will normally just do it um, with a split pin and some emery paper just to take the, the okay. surface so if off. If you haven't got a Dremel tool, you can literally use emery paper. You can sit there and emery it, yes. Okay. Um, and all of these have had a slight satin finish on, so I've used in your, in your Dremel kits, I think you've got a little um, pin wheel mm -hmm. so I've done that on the the finish it's almost like sandblasting isn't it this is a little yeah. bit yes it's not absolutely polished but if you've got a preference you can you can polish it okay so now I'm going to because I have got greasy fingers from the oil we've got a thing. question coming through yes. for you sorry Philippa um, morning ladies please 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 can Elizabeth do a DVD well love this Caroline did ask me about I this. asked you on on the <coughs> first show as well um, um, I have no prefer uh, no problem with doing a DVD, so it's how we organise it. I think there's something in the pipeline, isn't there? I have a feeling there's a p something in the pipeline for a little month or so's time. Oh. <coughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. That's yeah, yeah. Hiya, Sue. I'm filling my boots with amazing argentium. Ah, oh, Sue, that's like the best morning ever. Well done. I know. Um, I'll be doing exactly the same. Yeah, lots of goodies though are available now up for pre-order. So take a little look. Right. So I've sanded the two surfaces that are going to be fused together just so that they're clean the other thing that I would point out is if when you've domed yeah you're beginning to see any break in the fusing just because you've stretched it so far you can at that stage refuse so okay. you, can, you can go back you can add some more flux in and fuse the joint if you're so it's, in okay. the least bit concerned okay okay so I'm going to take the flux I'm going to paint the top of my flower little double there and it's yellow, so you can see where you're putting it, can't you? Yes. It? Pop your disc on. Pop the disc on. <sighs> Look at that. And this is where it almost certainly will move, because A, my hands are shaking, 
and B, because it didn't move when it was in the flat and I don't want it to move now, it almost certainly will. It's so, that law, isn't it? It is. So I'm going to do this very gently initially. You, when you're at home, you can let this dry. You don't have to warm it with a torch and hope for the best. So you I don't know whether the camera's bu seeing, but there's little bubbles yeah. oh, of Oh, yes. Yes, we can see it perfectly. Now, fortunately, oh, oh. it hasn't moved. So what... And I, I'm hopefully not leaning over too much. Oh, all oh, right, you're right, because we're looking from, right. from that angle. You're we, okay. We're both going to get into <gasps> trouble. We haven't got our safety glasses on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, I'm doing the same thing, but with this initially, I'm warming from the base. And if the viewers watch, you'll see the flux has turned dark brown. That's the precursor to it getting hot enough to be able to fuse. So, once the flux goes brown, this will then start to go red. And you will see that it's melted down into the surface. So... Hopefully you saw that that yeah. went liquid on the surface. So we can drop this into the pickle because it's it's not red anymore. Before and I that's, do, that's I just, literally secured together, hasn't that's it? That's secured all the way round. <gasps> that's really satisfying, that sound. The yes. You can Next drop, time you, you do that, can we watch? <laughs> Can watch it. You can drop it into the pickle the minute the colour has gone out, but don't do it before. Okay, not, befo not no, before. Not before. Now, again, I'm not. I wouldn't. Would normally let this pickle out and get rid of all the gunk that's on the surface. Yeah, you'd let it soak. For but a you'll bit. see that the. Should we hold that towards. So all the nasty marks that are on there will go in the pickle. Hopefully, this one, which was in there. So all of those little little bits. You see, that was the one that went in that was all. Oh mucky yeah, look earlier. how sparkling and clean that is. Yeah, so literally, just like soaking yes. a bit of fabric, I suppose. It won't get rid of any dents in the metal, but it'll get rid of all the flux that was burnt on. Amazing. Amazing. You could almost do like a double one, couldn't you? Well, you can do whatever you like with these once you've got them at home. Um, oh, I can't wait to have a go. So, okay. depending on whether you're putting the pearl into this or not, yeah. depends what you do at the next stage. Mm -hmm. We're going to assume that you're doing a pearl on this one, so that's fine for the ring and I'll show you how to put the ring shank on in a minute. Um, if you're using these uh, flowers for the Swarovski crystal, what you need to do is take your tiniest dapping punch, the smallest one, and hit it into the centre, because you need to create um, a recess for the end of the... So you're um, going to stone. create like a tiny little well to exactly. nestle your, yes. your, your pearl I, I or I did Srosky do something in. alternative um, the last... Because you've also got some spare wire in the kit. You can put a jump ring. I don't know whether you can see here. You can put a jump ring round um, and not put the base onto the... Oh, yes, yes, yeah. The, um, ...piece, and then the stone will drop through it. Um, so there are uh, there are a number of ways you could treat this, but okay. for, the, for this one I'm going to put the base on. Okay. So this, to give the lift to the stone, had a jump ring fused into place on the earrings. So this was just another way of being able to deal with it. Okay. Love that. Okay. But for the pearl, we have the recess, and when you when you finish the assembly of the ring and it's all cleaned and polished, you will glue with your epoxy resin your pearl into place, which is available at we, most places. Yes, I yeah. mean it's just a two-part epoxy resin. Go for a two-part because you you only mix up the amount you need, and you can get them that dry very quickly. They go off in five minutes. That does the job. It won't harm the pearl. Okay. Okay. So. I'm going to get my disgusting charcoal block out now. Well, it's well loved. It's Let's well put used. it that way. It's well loved. It's not disgusting. Um, and we're going to probably because of time. <laughs> <laughs> You've got loads of time. It, if we much, have to go over the much, hour, we'll go over the much, hour. Well, I'd like to be able to explain how we make the earrings um, drops and the other bits Don't and pieces. Worry. So, um, remove that bit. So, I am going to cheat with the ring shank. Oh, cheat. Elizabeth I doesn't know. cheat. Oh, she does, repeatedly. Um, I'll take mine off. 
Let me just take that out of the way. So you have a ring shank which is somewhere in the vicinity of the size that you would want for uh -huh. your um, So finger. they come in most of the kits? The ring shanks come in the kits. The easiest thing I can describe, or the easiest way of describing this, is try it on. Yeah. And remember that you've got that section that you're going to be putting on. Decide how much you want to take off. But So when you're putting the flower on, does that add size or subtract? I'm just trying to... This is where I'm bluffing because I can't remember how I did this one. That's nestled on this top. This is nestled on top. So you, you're you not going to be adding any material. Okay. So you need to make sure that your... Um, whatever this is, jump ring, <laughs> it's the right size yes, for your so it's finger. A, it's a large jump ring, isn't yes. it, the shank itself? If you're more refined and you decide you want to do this, you can do it so that it sits here and here. But this is the quickest and easiest way and gives you the, the same effect. Win-win, OK. Yes. So, because I'm being very lazy... Just so you know, this does fit. <laughs> <laughs> now... When you get these jump rings, you may find that they're a little stiff. Okay. So, the same as I did earlier, what I'm going to do... I don't know if I'm where I've put the torch. Here. Thank you. I just <laughs> moved just it because we it couldn't see me. you, yeah. And I will put the glasses back on. <laughs> oh. Um, if you find that these large jump rings are a little stiff... I might just keep these on. The same thing applies. What we're going to do is just anneal it very quickly. You're relaxing it again. Relaxing it. Chill, so that, that... Argentium. Relax. <laughs> Unlike me, who's not very chilled. Why? We're not scary. You're not scary. I'm just thinking, what happens if this goes wrong? It won't go wrong. Because okay. you're awesome. So... And if you can do... You, can you see... I don't know whether the camera can pick this up. There's a line moving around the silver as I do this. Yeah. That's as the metal is, is relaxing It kind of goes shinier, yes. doesn't it? So... But not to a point of it we're being getting, liquid. We're not getting it red hot this time just no. to anneal it. Okay. So, colour's gone out. Just pick it to remove the rubber. Oh, sorry, I should have let you do it. <laughs> well, throw something else in and I'll make sure that next time you do. Yeah. Um, ultimate, uh, eventually, I would suggest, if you are dipping your fingers in and out of the pickle, do go and wash them every so often. Yeah. It's not toxic, but it gets a bit sticky. That's Does the only it? thing. Okay. Um, what would you like? I was wondering if we've got a paper towel anyway. I can get a paper towel. Let's have a little look. Sometimes we have them around here. You stay there. And we can... Is there okay. one behind there? You carry on. Okay. Some down here you know, You know, I said I didn't what want you any... Need some blue paper, please. Come right up. You know, I said I didn't want anything to go wrong. Mm. Well, I actually obviously must have got that far too hot because it has gone wrong and I have successfully, in the wrong place, fused the ends on that. OK, do you um, want another one? So, there yes, you go. that would be very helpful. It's all right. <laughs> this is good, so you know. Uh, you're is, better off doing them I mean, a bit if, at a time. If you'd done that at home, yeah. all you would do, where I've accidentally fused it... You would just put your piercing saw th blade through it, so you've 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 unfused that. You will have to cut it through with yeah. a piercing saw. Um, yeah, it has definitely. Don't worry, don't worry. Um, do you want to keep going, or do you want to go go to the break, or do you want it's entirely up to you? We'll get this bit done. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay. We're in your capable hands. Okay, so we are going to assume that there was no stress in this metal. Only stress in the operative. Glasses on. Glasses on. Didn't take mine off. Your trusty, trusty, trusty flux. flux. And make sure you, it's not very technical, but blob it around enough because you want to make sure, which I'd obviously done, I'd obviously got some on my fingers, I think. Um, you want to make sure that the flux goes down the joint. Okay. Torch on. Torch on. Specs on. Specs on. Gently warm it around. And Argentium, <coughs> excuse me, again, the other differential between this and Sterling, it doesn't conduct heat in the same way as Sterling. So you can be quite specific about mm. the point that you put the torch to. If this was Sterling, I would have to keep the heat on all of the piece. Um, but with this, where have I put Isn't the joint? Isn't it funny, five extra points makes all that difference. It, it's the germanium as well that makes right. the difference. So I'm concentrating on the bit that I want to fuse. Angela is saying another awesome Argentium show. Here, here, Angela, I totally agree. Really is. And oh, you can see it bubbling. about to go. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Okay, so that... You're just looking for that liquid finish on the surface. Oh, yeah. 
So I'm going to let that cool momentarily. Am I am I allowed to sort of liken it to the the that that the naughty guy off Terminator? Not Arnie, the naughty one. T3000. Yeah, T T3000 that goes to like that silvery colour. Mercury. You can tell you're getting a complete blank look on. <laughs> Mercury Man. <laughs> Is it Mercury Man? Right. Okay. So I'm now going to flip it over and do exactly the same thing again, just to make sure that it's fused all the way through. And this time I will also let you drop it into the... Um, Can I? Oh, yes. Now, I'm beginning, I'm beginning to think that I might not have quite so much... Um, I know it's going... There we are. So, you can see it's just... Flowing now. Right. Are, we, are we ready for this? Shall you He's this gone. One? Yeah, that's fine. I'll let you go. <laughs> it's just I've been I've been desperate to do it. All. Ready? Oh. And the other interesting thing, did you notice it went? <laughs> yeah. What end? was that it, all about? It's sort of. I've n I've never worked out why this does it. Whatever goes in first bubbles a little bit, and then it sort of has a release point that yeah. goes. <laughs> Which I always find fascinating yeah. when I'm doing it as well. And stops and altogether. Stops, yes. So it's sat there now being getting nicely cleaned yes. within the pickle. Yes. Okay. So glasses off. We're heading for a break, I think, aren't we? Whenever you're ready. Possibly. Whenever you're ready, we'll follow your lead. Now, did you you found some paper? Or am I <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've found well, you can't see it. What they can't see off camera yeah. what it came from. You heard blue paper, not blue paper. <laughs> <laughs> Loop paper works just as well, doesn't it? Just as well. Okay, so bearing in mind that hopefully people have bought more than one block and they've got one grotty one, mm -hmm. if they haven't got one grotty one, what you're going to do is one side of your block you're going to decide is going to be the side that you do things other than just fusing on. Okay. Um, so you can cut bits into it. As and that's and that's to just oh. As you can see, my block. Much used as it is, and yours will almost do that. Certainly, do the same thing at some point. Um, has split, but that's just the nature. It's a natural material. It will and you, do. You put the post in so you can actually I, fuse I actually the earring to it. I took a little drill it. hole, and or took a little drill, drilled a hole in. So that's to do like post earrings like this, because yes. obviously you wouldn't want to be physically holding no, it. No, and would you'll you? do the same technique as I'm about to do for the ring shank. And you will have cleaned up yours all, all nicely on the way. Okay. Not be doing this the same way I am. Okay. So we have a clean surface. I have a, an area. Might as well a, sit down. Isn't which it? is a recess that I use for um, jobs like this. Brenda in Surrey is saying hi all. Elizabeth, I love seeing you on JM. Could we have more shows, please? Thank you, Brenda. <laughs> I second what I second what Brenda's saying. I, I, I want to see more of you as well. Um, have I missed the firing blocks, L? It's all available on pre-order, Joanne, darling. But no, we will do them in. Um, we'll do them. Um, it, I know we're in the tw uh, ten o'clock hour, but we just don't want to interrupt Elizabeth. So they are coming your way anyway. But they're available for pre-order. Okay, so take I've, it away. I've, oh, that's good. See, that's, so that's why, why I cut that's holes. That's why in you it. want your grubby yes. side. Because you, the other thing that I must stress that is different from sterling, is I noticed you'd got a pair of sprung tweezers there. Yeah. Quite often with sterling, people will hold the work mm -hmm. like that when they're when they're doing it. You can't do that with argentium. No. Because you mustn't touch it in the red stage. So you have to become a little bit more creative about okay. how you support things, which okay. is why I have the sliced hole in my charcoal block. You will also spend a lot more time lining this up than I have done here. Okay. Um, but I've sanded the bottom, and <laughs> I've sanded my bottom, but that's not a good idea. No, well, I'll try no. not to do that. So I've sanded the bottom of the, of the flower, and I've done the same to the <laughs> same to the jump ring. <laughs> Sorry, the set, yes, I have done the same to the jump ring. <laughs> I said to you I was going to say something wrong. You did mention about... And I'm going to flux yeah. down the joint. So, literally with a little paintbrush? Yes. Goggles up. Goggles on. I, I had, was reaching for them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, and this may not fun. be lined up completely centrally, but we, it will show the principle, and you will spend a lot more time doing it than we I. We might have. have to turn it a little uh, bit that way, that so way? that so just Which towards are we, towards are we Michael, bubble? towards Michael. There we go. Okay, this time I will heat up a bit more of the. But 
backwards yes a bit more of the product because you want the heat to stay in and as I said to you I didn't do anything about it I'm just going to add a bit more gas into my torch because I'm beginning to think it's losing some power so if you find I bet this is quite a common thing if you find that you're not you're, you're, it's not reaching the temperatures that you wish it's probably that you need it's to put gas it's probably that you need some gas in and it okay. is slightly difficult to tell because it will look the same yeah, yeah. It's just there's not enough. No, there's there's not is, enough that's your tell. Coming out with that's it. your yes. tell. Okay. And that's just one of those things. The more you do it, the more you'll get used to it. Okay. And the, I'm sure I'm telling everybody what they already know, but the hottest part of the flame is the end of the blue tip. The blue so bit. So if you go down like Ooh, that, you're missing it. it. That's how you get the hottest heat. So okay. you're aiming to get the blue, the end of the blue flame the tip of the blue flame to the point that you want to, fl uh, to fuse. And there's obviously more metal here this time, so you can see it's just going now, she says. Yeah, it is, I can see. You're and I, defi you're probably... I definitely haven't got this in the centre, so I would... we get the gist. You get the gist. But the way to do that is to cut a deep enough slot that that will sit into it on your block. And it being charcoal, it's quite soft. It's so very you can, soft. You, you can, can do, do it that. with a Stanley knife or... Um, get... well, you got... You're going to drop it in there, aren't you? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Only if you want me to. <laughs> Please do. Are I, you might, I might have turned it over and fused it the other side, but that doesn't matter. We've got the principle. Are you ready? Good, now just it? make sure you've got the end. Yes, you have. Okay. Okay. So, again, you would leave this to um, sit there a lot longer, but you'll see that's fused in place. It's not central. We, we are quite definitely I'm off centre sure. on that. Michael. So you would... It, I don't, don't worry. I think, I think you know, it's the, it's the principle that we're, we're, we're after. Um, okay, so in terms of the finishing and the setting... Right, so at this stage, what I'd do is pickle it till it's clean. Pickle till you're clean. If you're using... <laughs> <laughs> get completely pickled. Yeah, that's good. Um, <laughs> I would then emery it off if I'm using emery paper. So, Paper, all these little, all the little sticks, sticks yes, which gets into well. quite, sort of gets into some of the nooks and um, small areas. And then I would, if I've got a Dremel, I would use my Dremel just to finish it off nice and cleanly. Well, I tell you what, jewelry makers, let's go to a very quick break. Let Elizabeth have a quick drink, and we'll come back, and we can do all that after. Okay, discuss Bye. all that afterwards. Um, so, more amazing um, Argentian products to bring you. Little surprises along the way. Keep those messages coming in as well, jewelry makers. We'll return after this. Love jewelry maker, but don't have an account. You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select Continue as Guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hi Jewelry Makers, this Saturday's Late Show has something very, very special for you in the 8 o'clock hour. Well, we've got some pearls, but not just any pearls. Tahitian pearls, South Sea pearls, gold and white. But there's only very small quantities. Some only have three in stock of each one. So you need to be quick if you want to grab yourself something special here on Jewelry Maker, Saturday night, the 8 o'clock hour. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? 
You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Makers. On the 27th of February, we're moving back to Freeview SD Channel 73 from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m., which means that more of you get to see our wonderful designs and incredible deals. Then from 1 p.m. to 10 p.m., we'll be back on Freeview HD Channel 74 as usual. If you watch us on Virgin, Sky or Freesat, then there's no change. You can carry on watching us as normal. So tune in on Freeview SD Channel 73 from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. and Freeview HD Channel 74 from 1 p.m. to 10 p.m. from the 27th of February. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Welcome back, Jewelry Makers, Elizabeth from Argentia. Isn't she amazing? Um, more jam pack demos still to come. Um, we've got loads. We've got, again, 12 o'clock is going to be a very, very demo heavy yeah, hour. Yeah, we're going to cover how to make the earring wires and probably the clasp on the back of the thing. Oh, Just wow. Just so that they're the things that you might be wondering how to do it. Okay, perfect. Now, we're going to fly through all the essentials. So, because you've got your kits, you've got your Argentium, you need extras. You do need things like the, uh, the, you know, the torch, you need the charcoal block you need the rubber block um, a few things a, a few essentials I would say and some things which are definitely beneficial now I'm gonna start with pardon the looped earring ring kit here it is here it is here it is here it is now I can actually show you what a finished one looks like as well yes it please happens. There is, please. We're just going to adjust your chair, Elizabeth, know, as well. It's so good, <laughs> You're totally going to disappear on camera. We'll, we'll, we'll sort the chair out for okay. you. So that makes. Ooh! So it's not just earrings. You can actually make amazing rings like this. Um, now, that was on the first Argentium show, wasn't it? Flying, this kit was, you literally put, take your jump rings or your Argentium jump rings and, and basically, it's about the positioning again. It is. Do you want me to, I won't demo, but I can talk you through it in a matter of a couple of seconds. Yeah. So, you take your jump rings. Yeah. You fuse the ends together, as we did with the big one. So, yep. close them up, fuse. Yeah, for 95 for this Draw kit. a line on a piece of paper that is the length of the ring that you want to make. Okay. And I do that by putting a piece of string around my finger. Sorted. High Te tech. It's not technical, no, but it works. But it works. And then with all your fused jump rings... Connect them you, together. You connect them together. If you just want straight forward around, with this one... So I knocked them either side on the with mm -hmm. the hammer. Oh, so you made them a, more oval. Yes. Or you could do the same as we've done on the earrings and put some texturing on. So you could put a hammer like, finish. I, I finished do like the, It's very Italian chic, isn't it? That te uh, texturing. Eleven ninety five for this kit. Yeah, and you get the earrings with that. And you get the earring post. So you can make the same. Yes. Um, yeah, with those. So I don't all think I've got the earrings. So. 
don't worry, we can imagine. So imagine like like, like that kind of textured oval in on an earring post. And that's actually two pairs. Yes. It's not even just one pair. Um, so again, all I can say is those of you that are really, everybody is inspired by Elizabeth and really wanting to have a go at Argentium, definitely stock up because I can imagine the kits, once you get going, once you get cracking with everything, you just want to you keep just going. You just want to keep on going. I can imagine it is one of those, um, one of the, uh, those crafts. Okay, let's do the pickle next. There's that ring back before I... Oh, right. We were looking yes. for Elizabeth. <laughs> Elizabeth was like, where's that flower ring gone? I don't know. I don't know. It's on my hand. Um, okay, pickle. Okay, so this is what is that magic cleaning solution. Completely non-toxic. So it's for removing oxides and flux residues from argentium silver and other metals. Oh, okay. So you can use it for others. Yes, you can use it on sterling as well. Really? So if you want to cl clean sort of like your sterling silver... Not that you would want to use it on sterling no. silver. No. <laughs> if we say sterling to Elizabeth, it's like a little swear word. Word. Yes, I'm afraid it is. <laughs> I'm going to get an electric prod and every time you mention Sterling. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's harsh, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, and how long does this last? Um, it's obviously in a safety sealed well, again, bag. I, my pickle, I think I'm on my second packet and I use it regularly. It, you, you just use a tablespoonful with hot water. Okay, um, hot boiling? I tend Warm. to put it in boiling actually because you, what you want is the crystals to dissolve. Okay, so and then let it cool. And that, well, no, it's best if it's warm. So okay. if, if you've been working for a while and it's gone cold, you can pick it back, pop it back in the microwave. Um, it, and just warm it up again. It does say instructions of use on here. Dissolve one tablespoon of pickle into 200 millilitres of hot of warm hot water. Place items into the solution for approximately 10 minutes and then rinse. Yes. And as uh, you could see, it, all the bits floated off. It, it's just a way of cleaning off all the rubbish that you've accumulated. Probably as from opposed, my charcoal block. As opposed to buffing. Yes. So it does. It does. It makes it easier for you. Seven ninety five. Um, now again, I'm, I'm. I wasn't with Elizabeth on your last Argentium show, but it was on the one previously, mm -hmm. the actual launch of it. And all of these items were selling out. Mm. We're absolutely selling out. This, this is an absolute staple. You want to keep this in the in the workshop or store cupboard or wherever you're keeping it at all times. So you'd say an essential yes, item really. for Argentium. So it's not breaking the bank, is it, this medium? No. Which, which surprises me, considering well, that, it is a, a last, really pure silver. That will last you sort of months. months. Yeah. Yes. Months. Okay, so Argentium, not only do they bring this amazing uh, medium and craft, but of course, with such luxury, you obviously want to maintain that beauty, and you do so with the correct um, care. So this is actually an Argentium care cloth. Um, it's a high quality jewellery care, care cloth made of 100% cotton and has been especially prepared to help maintain a bright white lustrous finish that is exclusive to Argentium silver. The cloth remains affected as long as it's not washed and should be stored um, in the wallet after use. So it's kind of impregnated then. It is and it's great for whatever, no matter how good Argentium is, it will still pick up it's not going to protect against dirt and grease. And, of course, uh, wear and tear. So this is a great way of cleaning it off, and it will bring the luster back up to um, a beautiful finish on any piece of argentium. It can also be used on the material we're not mentioning. Okay, the ones that that, that, that one. That you'll get yeah. an electric shock before you mention okay. it. Okay. Yes. So it, it's multi-purpose. The cloth. It will work on other jewellery. Okay. What about gold? Can I use it on gold? Um, I don't know. Is the honest answer. So the best. It's not going to harm it. It's not impregnated with anything that's going to harm Nothing the gold. Nothing toxic. No. Okay. But it is obviously intended for your argentium. Yes. So five ninety-five only. Keep hold of the actual packaging because that is what you want to store it in. Um, we are so busy. Like. I mean, this is the kind of thing. If you've got the kit, eleven ninety five, five ninety five. You've got the making, and you've got the care mm. with this as well, and it's going to last you months. Um, and by the way, it's not postage and packaging per item. It's postage and packaging all day, irrespective of the amount of items that you actually purchase. So it's the ideal opportunity for you to start um, with your argentium. It is so fun, so 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 fun. Okay, let's do. <gasps> How many have you got of these then, Tom? Oh, 107. I'm going to need every single one of those. Because these are your ring shanks, aren't they? They're the large jump rings. They are, but I think we probably use them... We use... 
I've used those to make I was going to say yeah. that's those. So you know um, Elizabeth's amazing necklace that she's wearing? Those lovely organic like shapes are created from these. And it's, I can remember this, this demonstration clear as day, Elizabeth. You literally heated it, heated it until it created this really lovely, it kind of drew together, didn't it? And you together, can just keep it? working it till you're happy yeah. with the shape, yes. Um, yeah, beautiful. So I think these are going to fly and I think will definitely be a sellout. Um, so you, if from that, what you have in your hands, you could make one of these. So that ring? Yes. Because that, bit's, that bit is the same as that yes. bit, but that, that's and heated the more. the same, yes. I mean, I, I explained that so well. Um, <laughs> guest designers are getting involved. Well done to you. Janice, Jean, Edith, Pauline, Dorset, Susan, uh, Suzanne, Jan, Bernadette, Jill, Annette, Sheila. I knew this was going to be popular because, you. I mean, these are... These are the essential. I'm not saying you couldn't make the ring shank, but why would you when they're at twelve pounds ninety five? It just saves the time and effort. It does. It really does. So yeah, do you mind if you kind of tilt your hand forward? Oh well, I tell you what. There, let's do that. So you can make this very ring, the necklace, or if you want to make even more of your forget me not styles, this is actually the ring shank. There, it's a big amount of your Argentian silver across those three. But what we've tried to do is make sure that if you've got anybody who's got large fingers, they're not going. They're to not be excluded. Out. The other thing I should say with Argentium is it's very forgiving when it comes to sizing up. Okay. So if I suddenly decided I wanted to resize this, I'd put on weight, which is quite possible. <laughs> Um, it's great that, for doing know. that. It will stretch maybe two to three sizes. So it's, a, it's very forgiving. Um, and you do that on a ring mandrel. In the same way that you would do just that regularly, 925. Yes. Yeah. Um, there we are, 1295. So that's working out at what, three pounds something each? Three pounds oh. only. Um, check them out though, because we had 107. Okay, we did. There's about 20 left within what? the vault itself. Um, so we're just, we're, we're just bringing in, yeah, because I do notice, thank you, Michael, there's a unit. Here we go. I'm just going to see if I can quickly, quick, what have I pressed there? I don't think we've got 390 grams. No, I don't think, I think this is on its way out. We'll give it a go, though. Carrots, we don't want yeah, that's on its way out, but you can, you'll feel the gram weight. I'd say that's probably at least three. The other thing that you can do with this, um, that I've made quite often with people as a starter kit, is size, size them for the size that you want, each and every one of them, and make sure that they're the same size as each other, so you can adjust them on the ring shank, uh, on the ring, I can't think of it, mandrel. Yeah. Um, but then you can fuse them all together. To make that would be lovely. a wide stacked band. So that would be great for gentlemen. If yes. You wanted to make a, a very simple ring. So beautiful. Okay, so I think they've pretty much sold out. Let's bring you um, let's bring the smaller sizes. So um, so these yeah, you can do the same thing. You can make I've got some much smaller ones in here. It's so again, again, it's all about sort of what you can do with these. You can actually just literally. I remember Elizabeth doing this heating and heating and heating. That's been made from one of those. So that's got the hammered finish on it as well. Little connectors. So it's the same as your necklace that yes. you wear. Would you, would you mind if we just show, pop that on a bus so I can show everybody? Um, because this is perfect. We have a hundred of these, and they will get one now. Um, we had a hundred of these available. Eleven pounds. Gosh, the weight on that is beautiful. Sorry, Michael. Making Michael run around. And I think, and I might be about to upset your buyers here. I think you've bought. The same belcher chain as is on the, this bracelet. Okay. So, as a length on its own. So, you could make with these and the belcher you chain. You could make this necklace. You could make a similar necklace, yes. So, you get, the, you get five in total. So, that's 239 each. 239. Guest designer Jan is all over this. I'm not surprised, Jan. Isn't it amazing? Isn't it fun? Um, okay, on the verge of selling that already. Let's move on. Uh, what is it, sorry? Authenticity. Um, so this is wonderful, especially for those of you that are gifting your jewellery or, or selling your jewellery, which a lot of our customers do. <laughs> so can, we, can we get Elizabeth a chair? Um, a lot, a lot of our customers actually sell their jewellery on. They do craft fairs and those kind of things. Um, 
You want to obviously advertise the fact that this is Argentium and it is one of the purest forms of your sterling silver. So we're actually offering you now Argentium cards, um, which, which obviously has got the branding. Um, so it tells, talks about in here, you fold it over like a little booklet, you pop it in the actual boxes, which we have some of the boxes as well, and it will tell you about the certificate of authenticity, how you care for your jewellery. Um, yeah, please do not use dip polishes with Argentium. It tells you what not to do as yes. well, doesn't it? Is my mic still working? Because I think just sat Yeah, in yeah, you're fine. Um, so you're getting five of these. It's just a nice little addition when you're making jewellery to actually have that logo. Yes. You know, that's working out how much each? 59p. What you can also do um, is we have a web website to support craftspeople and makers, which is the Argentium Guild site. If you go onto the Argentium Guild site, you can register as a user. There's no cost to register. We're just um, gonna we're just gonna adjust uh, Elizabeth. Sit on it. Sorry. That's okay. We're just gonna adjust Elizabeth's mic for a second. Um, here we go. So that's working oh. out at what eighty nine pence per fifty nine pence per Argentium. Um, and there's a website. So whilst Elizabeth just sorts out her mic, there is a website for even further um, further inspiration and, and for knowledge. Further inspiration, tips, useful advice. And also, you can register so that you can use the um, Argentium logo on other pieces of material that you're using. So if you wanted to use the box and you wanted to do show cards and things... So you have a, to register? You know, we want people to register because it is a trademark. There you go. But there's no cost involved. OK. OK, what did you say about... Right, okay, that necklace. How many of you want to make, Elizabeth? This is very popular. So much so that I actually got accused of stealing this. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't by you. They're like, well, not actually. They didn't come out with those words. They're like, Elle, can you give Elizabeth? I've got, I have given Elizabeth her necklace back. If you want to make this, so you need the jump rings that we brought you previously and a metre of Argentium chain. So this is a Belcher chain. No, I think you've got the trace chain there. I'm sorry, correct. Okay, trace. That's the trace chain. There is, I think, a, a loose Belcher coming But this up would work well. too. But you could do a much finer one, yes. Yeah, it doesn't have to be. No. You're shouting me. Did you say L? Oh, oh, I beg your pardon. I'm hearing things. How many? Did, how many did we have? A hundred and five. I mean, there's not many opportunities to get these lengths of chains that no. I've seen anyway. No. A hun wow. I, I mean, that necklace straight away is what I'm thinking. I know this is slightly finer, but you could wear, you could make a shorter version, you couldn't could, you? And you could do from the very small jump rings that I think you've. Possibly got as an addition. Um, we got lots so, of goodies. I'm sorry, rummaging him here, but I'd, if I'd known, I'd have sorted them out. So don't you worry. Enough. Well, I tell you what, we'll probably bring them, Elizabeth. So don't worry, they'll probably be going to be brought to air. Um, <coughs> okay, okay. Loads of multi buyers. Loads of you with it in your baskets that need to check it out, and all around the world. So this is lovely. So we've got Florida watching right now. Florida. Kent, yes, Kent, well. Leicestershire. I've seen Holland. At Spain, all around the world, so getting on, involved. On the internet, On they? the internet, yeah. to come and watch wow. you, Elizabeth. So, um, it's lovely, isn't it? And making our... Well, it is a global brand. It it's is a, a recognised. We sell in Australia, we sell in the United States, across Europe. So, yes, it's great that people have got involved from everywhere watching. A metre long length. So, so basically, do I cut this and do I, uh, do I what you do the same process? What you need to do with a small chain is that you will need the very fine jump rings that you're okay. um, selling. We'll have those. So that, that will allow you to link through to do this. Um, These? Yes. <laughs> Just so happens you have some it's, you made earlier. It's, <laughs> like, it's like we planned it indeed. All right, here you go. Okay, so have we got a blackboard? Sorry, my blackboard's disappeared. Hello, Adam, by the way. Um, here we go. So these are the smaller ones that will fit through the trace, the Argentium yes. trace trade. Thank you, darling. Um, that you've just seen. I've only got a limited quantity of them, though. Sorry. We will, we will get as... The first time that we did an Argentium show, I had a little meeting with our lovely Caroline, and she's, I was like, oh, they're going to sell out, everything's going to sell out. And she said we bought as much as we possibly could. Um, and they always do tend to be sell-out shows. You've seen the response from our lovely viewers who have been texting in live as, we, uh, you know, as, we're, as we're here in the studio. Ten of these, seven millimetre internal diameter. So, I mean, something else. I've just had a, an epiphany. 
How many of you want full, non, you know, um, closed jump rings? Yes. You can actually and make you your own closed your, you jump rings. You can do rings. your own because the, the, it's one of my big irritants. That it's so difficult to get closed ones. It is, yeah. But the great thing with this is you don't have to do um, spend a lot of time doing one at a time. You can line them all up in a row and fuse the whole lot all at once. Yeah. It's it's so quick. Okay, argentium in lobster claw clasps. So you even make your findings. Mm -hmm. We do. Why wouldn't you? Well. Because we want to keep that hypoallergenic and antibacterial um, being to any of the product that people make, yeah. it's about making all the bits that yeah, you Yeah, that's use. true, because obviously... The, because if you've got a, something it's going different to be in contact. on the back, it's going to be the thing that irritates you. Of course, so you get five of your Argentium trigger clasps here. Really? How on earth are they £6.45? Because Caroline beat us up. <laughs> Does she it does she, her job very she well. Do, she drives... <laughs> A hard Caroline, by the way, in our, who's in our buying team, um, and plus she's not been very well either, so we hope she gets well soon. She is watching right now. Can I just say, Caroline, I don't know how many times we say it on air, but you are awesome. Super. Um, she is, yeah, she really is. And she literally is, she gets everything, everything that you could possibly yeah. wish. But she drives you a hard bargain jewellery maker so you get the best possible price tag. Um, okay, moving on. Let's do right. This is a necessity. You can't have gentium without flux, you can't, can you? No. So this is that. This is the little yellow solution that you saw Elizabeth painting on. Yes. Okay, and that's well. That's it, really. And that's it, really. Paintbrush. So flux. What is flux? Oh, do you know? I'm going to be. I've caught, been caught out for a second time. Oh, I'm sorry. I was asked this the last show and didn't really um, give a satisfactory oh, here we go. answer. I it says here for fusing and soldering argentium yes. silver. So is is, is it made? Oh, I, I'm, I've got to stop and make it. I don't worse. know what the chemicals in these are. Is okay. the honest answer. But you can't you can't actually you can't fuse, fuse without, without that. It. No. Okay. But the, the good thing with this is, and I'm having told you that I'm going to tell you off. That flux is multi-purpose, so you can use it on sterling silver as well. So it won't allow you to fuse um, because that the fusing only takes place. Play, oh, whose teeth? Place. The fusing only takes place because of the germanium in the silver alloy. Okay. So it won't miraculously turn sterling silver into something different. Okay. But it will if you're soldering with sterling silver. You can use this flux. You said it again. I know. I'm going in for a big shock, aren't I? <laughs> Litres, um, and it's four pound twenty-five, but it will last you, won't it? It's yeah, going to be because you all you are using. Every you've got it tipped time in a little. In it's a, just that. A dab. It's and this and is I just put it in the lid. I'm afraid because well, I was I think being lazy. I think that's a really good idea because you're not going to waste any. Well, then, and, are you're you? not, and you're not keep dipping the the paintbrush back in. So I just find it easier to put a little bit in yeah. the lid and just use what I need. Yeah, good idea. Really good idea. £4.25. How many do we have of these then, Tom? We had 150. Um, yeah, close to selling out already. Already. I would love to have more of Elizabeth's Argentium shows. Wouldn't it be good? I think so. Wouldn't it be? Oh, yeah, I'd love to have more. Um, it's, be it's certainly become one of the most popular um, mediums, I think, uh, newest mediums that we've actually launched, because mm -hmm. we can all realistically imagine ourselves doing it too. I think that's the thing, and that's what we've tried to do with all the kits, is to make them so that they're accessible for anybody. Mm. Anybody starting. You don't have to have hundreds of tools. And affordable too. It's not breaking the bank, and is it? it's quick. Yeah. I mean, we haven't finished anything off to the highest standard here, but you can see that within a very short period of time, you can create items of jewellery that are yours and wow. feel proud and that you've done it. it. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, well done. On the verge of selling out, so do check out Northamptonshire, Pam, Dorset, new customers, Danny. To those new customers that I can see on the website, if you don't check out your basket, it's not guaranteed to you. You still only pay that one postage and packaging each time. Um, okay. Ooh. Now, if you make something as amazing as either the necklace or the bracelet from the kit that you had earlier on, you're going to want to present it beautifully, aren't you? And the same... I came in from a meeting with Caroline last week and she was saying that a lot of the people that you um, sell 
your jewellery making customers. A lot of our customers actually yeah. sell on. And yeah. this is the perfect vehicle for them to be able to present an even more professional piece of jewellery. Oh, well, absolutely. Again, it's with the brand, uh, the branding there. And it's a really solid. Can you, well, you can see that by how it snaps shut. Uh, Mary and Brian, good morning, all. Um, are we going to get a DVD, please? Second message in. All I'll Getting say the is. Message. All I'll say is. Happy birthday. Woo! Maybe. There you go. Yes. There's something in the pipeline, Mary and Brian. Yes. Okay, I'll stop talking now. Six pounds and ninety-five. Oh, the dustbin fell over. Was it? Dustbin was. fell over. Uh, six pounds and ninety-five pence only. How many did we have of these available? Only 29, so I'm gonna leave it with you. Okay. Let's do the ring jewelry box. I have the bracelet as well to bring you. I mean these are lovely aren't they? Yeah, I mean, it comes with your silica bag obviously. If you Keep just that safe. maybe just pop one of the heart Let's rings do it. that we've been doing in. It, it just sets it off. We well, have how nice a gift is that? It, it's lovely especially if you've got the little tags as well. But you've got the logo there as you know if you're if you're gifting if you're selling absolutely i would say get the boxes hiya deb um i had my first dabble with argentium last week and the necklace i made sold straight away i'm not surprised Brilliant. i'm not surprised um i think you need to dabble some more then don't you i think deb's sent to put a picture up on facebook actually because i think she did one of the granulated ones mm -hmm. and she'd done a lovely job of it um deb does a lot of silversmithing as well i know that she's a very good silversmith mm -hmm. too um 4.95 have i got a quantity of these oh no no i haven't got huge quantities so i'll leave it with you okay let's do the charcoal block because so many of you and so many of you pre-ordered the charcoal block um yeah we're gonna have to bring it to air right now so obviously it's you're gonna get a little bit grubby but it's all good um but it's gonna be pristine and sparkly and new um and then after time it might end up like Looking like my tatty like a, one but it's okay the well-loved <laughs> one what you can do is you've always got two sides so but the back of mine is still not great. You but can flip I it over. I have another very tidy one. Um, and you can buff it down, as you were saying. If you yes. take it outside, you can actually buff it down as well. You, is it, would you say again, charcoal block, absolute essential? It is essential. And I would. the one thing I would say is get these, which are the charcoal block, natural charcoal blocks. You can get composite ones. And the composite ones, which are a mix of charcoal and something else, don't do as good a job. Okay. So what you this want conducts is this heat, did you it say? It conducts heat and it creates um, an atmosphere around the piece that actually just helps with okay. the whole process. There you go. But it, cr it releases carbon dioxide from the charcoal when it's doing it and it helps keep everything nice and clean. There you go. 9.95, jewellery makers. Um, have I got quantity? Have I got quantity? Gone. Okay. <laughs> So many of you already pre-ordered on that one. Okay, let's do... Yes, it oh. is messy, isn't it? It That's is, isn't it? Trouble. I just saw I'm just... If my mum was watching, I'd have wiped them on my trousers. My mum would have told me <laughs> off then. Have been happy, would Stop she? wiping your hands on the trousers. Um, here we go. So this is the earrings and pendant. So you could do your drop earrings you could put in here, stud earrings you could pop in here, or even your larger argentium pendants too. I've only got a limited quantity once again. Only a limited quantity straight down. Four ninety-five only. I, I, you can feel the quality of it's a... It's one of not a, to get your fingers caught in when you're shutting it because it has got a definite... Oh, it's like a Richard Gear moment, <laughs> isn't it? Her, come on, ladies, you know what I'm on about, don't you? It's that pretty woman moment, isn't it? <laughs> it is. 4 95 only for the actual... And I'll show you all the way around. It's a, it is a beautifully made box. Because you can get some which are quite flimsy and they don't sort of demonstrate the luxury of the brand. This one definitely does. Okay, I think this is the final few, the final one uh, of your boxes. So this is for your larger necklaces. So the one that's on the bust you could pop in here. Pendants you could pop in mm. here. Bracelets you could probably fit in here too. Yes. Straight down. A lot of items are already selling out, jewellery makers. Um, if you've just tuned in, where have you been? Argent Argentium is one of our most exciting launches of 2019. Um, and anybody can do it. You do not need to have a big, snazzy, silversmith 
workshop, workshop you, you can, can do have it in a your kitchen, kitchen table and that much space. Yeah, that's it. That's all you need. Okay, what's in 15? Uh, bobble pendant. Is it that one? Here we go. And I just happen to have. Not Here's all of one. It, but I have one <gasps> of the finished pendants from the last show. Did you make that? I did. Hang on, let me pop that between. So, what's this technique? Th this is called granulation, and that that is it is the simplest way. If you were going to do anything in in, in argentium and you wanted to get going, granulation is the way to do it. Wow. Um, and all you do is you take your piece of wire, you snip it into little sections. Mm. And you apply the torch to, to make bubble together to make your granules, and then you join them together with it's the flux. Um, it was very, it was very, very satisfying when I actually did that. Just made that little argentium pure silver ball. I've still got it, I think. In my, <laughs> literally, just a little argentium silver ball. Yes. Okay, let's do. Uh, okay, can't see it here. This, can I use this? Can I borrow that's, Elizabeth? That's, no, that's yours, actually. Oh, is it? I okay. I yours. So. Okay, there we are. So you actually get your, your punches, you get the dapping block, um, so all your different sizes there. If I take this out, you can see, as you spin it round, you've got all these areas, and this is what actually um, Elizabeth created that, the flower shape, so how she actually pronounced, uh, created the petals to curve, uh, curve round. So you choose your little dapping block, basically you use the one that fits to size, yes. and you hit it gently. Exactly, and the great thing with this is, she says, you've got all of them, they all store, so you can have so them. that you can see really quickly yeah, yeah, yeah. what you've got. Oh, I see. It's like a this is, toys. This is <laughs> like a puzzle. <laughs> But it does mean that you can keep everything and you know you've not lost anything anywhere. Yeah, they're, they're, well, they, I mean, I haven't put these in the right order, but, you know, you they're, can, they're, you they're, straight to, they're straight yeah. to hand, aren't they, then? Exactly. You get the idea. You get with, the whenever you're doing it, start with the largest one um, and gently work your, work your to, way up. To get down to whatever curvature you actually want. Um, I mean, I think this is a great bit of kit to have alongside your argentium because sometimes textures and actually it's three-dimensional designs are, are fab especially with flora and fauna aren't they mm. and it's quite d hard to do to manipulate well, with tools and i put a little bit of shape yeah onto i noticed these. that those those have been down the bottom of the doming block just because i I'm, I'm not very keen on absolutely flat jewelry no it's nice to actually have a just shape. a little bit of a shape yes. and light performs differently too mm. doesn't it if you actually have a shape to them well, and we haven't got any flat bits on us it? anyway so you know no. it's, it's not nicer if it's got a bit of a curve. <laughs> don't. <laughs> Just know where this is going. <laughs> I don't know. Adam, have you got any flat bits on you? Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. <laughs> 14, that was a proper cackle, it wasn't was, it? Wasn't it? Oh, Elizabeth. Um, hello, Australia. Wow. Hello. Hello to you, Katrina in Australia, Northamptonshire, London, uh, South Yorkshire, Pam, uh, Norfolk, Eric, Joy, Gloucestershire. Um, how many did I have the dome in block again? 100. 73 but i would highly suggest getting it because you're going to use this with soldering certainly you all of your metal works and it's, it's a great it's a really good starting point at the price at that and although you've got the doming block it doesn't stop you using any of these um for even more gentle curves on bigger pieces on your you rubber, don't have to use your rubber. hammer no well you need the hammer but you don't have to use that part of it you can start off on there okay lovely um okay moving on to should we do this, these? Let's do these. Because these are good, aren't they? They are. They're really useful, actually. I've never seen these before, but I actually think these are going to really appeal to multiple... I mean, I, I could also get a plane in. <laughs> <laughs> or file your nails if you're really desperate. Yeah, to. really. <laughs> like industrial <laughs> pedicure. Um, <laughs> no, but, I mean, these are... But and things like this for doing the ooh, inside of ring shanks as well. So you've got all different shapes and sizes of these. Have they sold out? Oh. oh. Already. <laughs> Sorry, just had to do it. <laughs> Moving on to... Let, yeah, let's do the goggles. Do you want me to put them on? There you go. 
So these go over glasses as they well, were, don't they? Uh, is this going to be weird? Would you like me to take them down? I have mine over my glasses now. So you've got room. Yes. Like, look at us both all of a sudden gone really don't we rigid. Look lovely? <laughs> <laughs> it is so important to actually wear. Safety is really important, even though it might. You might think, well, you know, I, I can't see the danger in it. It's just not worth the chance, especially with things like your but eyes. But actually, it's not even when you're using anything hot because. I wear my glasses, I'm not a great example I suppose, I, I use mine as my protection, but this is so much better because if you're snipping a piece of wire, which you would to make the tiny granules, and you're snipping away, it can ping off. Yeah. This will stop it going into your eyes. See, this is what, this is what our, um, you know, our, our, our amazing camera crew need whilst uh, our wire workers are demonstrating. <laughs> I don't know how many times. Does it fly it off? It always, always does. 4 95 they fit over your glasses. You've got ventilation here as well. Yeah. So, because let's be honest, how many times I can remember in sort of uh, CDT in school, you'd be wearing them and you'd be doing something hot and it would actually all steam, steam up. up. Yeah. So you have got that ventilation in the sides there, but at the same time, they're quite sealed. So they'll come and against the And they're nice the actually, because they're clear all the way around. So they, even over my glasses, they don't impinge so that you can still see on your yes. peripheral yeah how many do i have of the safety goggles 186 of these are available but yeah i mean this is not just going to appeal to our gentium this is going to appeal to any any kind of um work with a naked flame of course or as you say you're wire working from what you've just said dremeling yes particularly with dremeling because i fun enough i was using mine yesterday and I was using quite a coarse burr on something and a bit of it pinged off. Aww. So, yes. We went to we went down to Dremel. It was at the beginning of last year, and um, yeah, um, we had Andy looked after us. He's been here in the studio, so many of you, our viewers have actually met Andy, and he was so strict on the actual safety aspect goggles, quite rightfully so as well. And he actually showed us a photograph of somebody that had they not have been using uh, their, uh, using safety goggles that would have potentially have lost their eye because well, the something is, literally fl and embedded into and the that's glasses. that's lifetime. It's not yeah. you know for four. Four ninety-five. Four ninety-five. You can save your eyesight. Um, okay, let's do the hammers. There you go. So these are the little dinky hammers. They are. You don't want a big whopping DIY hammer, do you? To, no. With something as pure as argentium silver. And the other thing, <laughs> the other thing, just as a sort of technical tip, if have any of you've got small children. Yeah. Um, and you've got baby clothes that they've grown out of. And this is going to sound really strange. A great way, because what you don't want, snatching that from you, is to damage the surface of your hammer okay. um, when it's knocking around in the toolbox. You, box, you can resurface them, but it's a, another job. Mm -hmm. Is If you've got old baby socks, keep your hammers in a pair of baby socks because it just stops them scratching each other top tip yeah top tip <laughs> not that. technical but it does work but i mean i guess you could put them in your socks if you wanted you to you could <laughs> yeah just just protecting them because that of course will transfer won't yes. it onto the sterling Any mark silver that's on there where you will bash into transfer your silver in. uh 9.95 jewelry makers or it should be should be you get both hammers as well that's a really good deal Three ninety five for both. That's, that is brilliant. But that is, isn't it? So this is your metal stamping. This is your silversmithing. This is your wire work. Yes. This is our, obviously argentium. I mean, you again. You still. What was that? What did you say? Have a little go, Tom says. Well. <laughs> 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 what have I got to do? You're, you not, pay, you're not paying any more <laughs> postage and packaging either. It's one postage and packaging. Because let's be honest, all of these all these items are going to accumulate to quite a considerable yes. weight, aren't they? Yeah. Um, so one lot of postage is fantastic. It is. I mean, I, I, I order skincare from another shopping channel. <sighs> Well, we don't sell skincare, so I can't <laughs> sell it for back from here. But um, it's it, post and packaging is per item, and it gets it very not expensive. Up then, yeah, it? it's like eight pounds or something like that. Three ninety five only. Well done. Um, definitely an essential, we would say. Let's do what? Sorry, the mask. Okay, hang on. Now, why would we need one of these? Um, if you're using your Dremel and your grinding away, uh -huh. you will get fine particulates coming out and 
not necessarily even big enough that you'll see, but there will be dust particles. Dust particles. Especially with glass as well, isn't it? Mm. Glass work. You don't want to be inhaling glass. You don't. And really, you don't want to be inhaling any bits of metal either. No. So this, this is a really good idea for that. So you get a pack of uh, five. Five within here. Um, you can actually... Do you know, do you know who, who I always see wear, wear, wear these? My nail technician. Well, I suppose, again, because there's a lot that comes off. Yeah, like the when like gel the and all those and kind of things. Yeah. When they grind them back. So she wears these all the time. So you don't want to be, like I say, inhaling that. Um, so it's just worthwhile. Um, I don't know, anybody that's in a DIY enthusiast, woodwork enthusiast, works with your sort of glass and uh, crafts, um, it's just, like I say, it's a good idea to have that safety aspect in mind. Um, graphics are live already. You get a pack of th uh, five. I'll turn it round just so you can see they have got the, um, they have got the elasticated... Um, how much you put it on strap basically so it's a fiberglass free odorless shell low breathing resistance non irritating to skin nose piece for facial adjustment because you can literally just pinch it on top um and nuisance uh, nuisance masks are not ce i don't know what that means nuisance masks are not ce marked don't know no what idea. that means um, but I, I think it's basically saying that there are inferior qualities, I guess, in the market. £1.95 only. It's worthwhile doing, like I said, especially if you do Dremel mm, a lot. Quite definitely if you Dremel. Well, even just sanding, that you're still yeah, going that's to get true. bits coming off. That is true. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, check them out. Very popular already. Loads of you getting involved. The deal of the day is, oh, gosh, I've barely mentioned it, but you've got your deal of the day and we've got loads more demos. So please stay with us. It's going to be a very, very demo heavy show. You've, you're going to be doing, what did you say it was? I'm going to show how to make the earring hooks, okay. um, which is quite simple. And we're going to put, show how to put the ring shank onto the uh, heart ring. Onto the because actual the heart. Because the other items that we've got here are all fairly self-explanatory. Um, if we've got time, we'll do the S class, but that, again, is a very easy one. I'll just show the start of that, but it's easy to make. Okay, lovely. We're looking forward to all of that. Um, check out, the, how many did I have, do you say? Two, we've got quantity of those ones, but they, 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 are, they are a necessi uh, ne necessity. Sorry. This one? Okay, so what's the difference with this hammer to the others? That's a silicon head, I think, if you, um, you haven't got your mm -hmm. description up, have you? I think it might be... That, that's quite oh, sorry. good. Sorry, that's quite good. I use these when I'm resizing because what it doesn't do is, obviously, when you're sizing on a um, ring stick... Yeah. If you're using a metal hammer, it will put indents into the And um, that's side. not always what you want, no, is it? You, so. if you're just sizing up, the last thing you want to have to do is refinish it. So that's great for um, resizing um, rings on ring sticks. Yeah. Um, if you just want to flatten out sometimes, and again, you don't want to put marks over your metal that's actually very good for doing it because it won't leave a mark on the and surface and these screw off and you can actually replace them as well so if because uh, because obviously they're yeah, not they, they don't will last. wear out yes and the, you will find so don't worry about it you will find out that that those will eventually deteriorate, yeah. which is why they've got replaceable heads. So if you've ever seen or worked in, or, or, or seen a jeweller, um, how they actually, some, it depends. Apparently, you can size a ring up or down um, a few sizes, but, you know, if you're going up something like five, six sizes, then mm. all of a sudden, or certainly this is the case with the other precious metals, um, it depends, it won't stretch. Sometimes even you have to gen, add. Even Argentium won't go to five sizes. No, but so a couple get of sizes you can do. If yeah. you're lucky out of it. And you would use a ring Ring mandrel. Mm. So here we go. So you can literally use a ring mm. mandrel like so. Sorry, that's. Well, I'm, full I'm just looking at whatever's leaked all over your table. But and you literally just kind of hammer it that way. Um, that, well, that's how they do it anyway. Three pounds and ninety-five pence. It's a four ounce. It's got a great weight. It's nice uh, comfort grip handle to it. Um, easy to change. Literally, you just undo these and screw them back on, so you can actually get replacements of those as well. Um, would you say essential to argentium? Um, if I was picking all the things, I'd say that would be... Uh, there are other things I'd pick first, but definitely if you're going to start making um, rings on a regular basis, people will sometimes want half a size tweaking. Um, yeah. And it's great just to be able to... Even, a, even if you take that to a craft fair, 
um, you can do it on site. And yeah, size I it mean, up. how professional does that yeah. look then if you're actually sizing rings yeah. in front of people? But you know, you squash those little, you know, that false ring that you showed me earlier on with the jump rings all the way around? Yes. And you squash them into little ovals. Is it you this could, kind of You hammer? could do it with that, absolutely. Because yes. it wouldn't, ham it it wouldn't won't mark it then, the surface, would it? No. Okay, amazing. Um, oh, is it that time already? Okay, don't go anywhere, jewelry makers, because we have got the most ridiculously exciting deal of the day opportunity for you. Exquisite, plain rounds, vanadium rich in their quality, a gemstone which, by the day, the price per carat is skyrocketing. Um, yeah, coming your way at an awesome price. More from the lovely uh, Elizabeth, more demonstrations, and keep those messages coming through. We'll return after this. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select Continue as Guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hi Jewelry Makers, this Saturday's Late Show has something very, very special for you in the 8 o'clock hour. Well, we've got some pearls, but not just any pearls. Tahitian pearls, South Sea pearls, gold and white. But there's only very small quantities. Some only have three in stock of each one. So you need to be quick if you want to grab yourself something special here on Jewelry Maker, Saturday night, the 8 o'clock hour. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers. On the 27th of February, we're moving back to Freeview SD Channel 73 from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m., which means that more of you get to see our wonderful designs and incredible deals. Then from 1 p.m. to 10 p.m., we'll be back on Freeview HD Channel 74 as usual. If you watch us on Virgin, Sky or Freesat, then there's no change. You can carry on watching us as normal. So tune in on Freeview SD Channel 73 from 8am to 1pm and Freeview HD Channel 74 from 1pm to 10pm from the 27th of February. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, Jewelry Makers. What an amazing morning it has been so far. 
Elizabeth, she's just popped off for a nice, well-deserved cup of tea, and she'll be back here in the studios very, very soon. She's amazing, isn't she? And if, if I could, if I could literally do one thing, one thing to her today, is build that confidence because I think she's incredible on our screens, isn't she? And we want more of her. Anyway, we're coming back to that. We've got more demonstrations, more amazing kits to bring you of your Argentium. But in the meantime, I want to bring you an amazing opportunity. Your deal of the day is the biggest auction of the day. So, i.e., is it the most ex uh, exciting purchase? Is it the, um, I don't know, most beautiful, possibly? Um, is it the best price tag? Well, a little bit of all of the above, really. And it's certainly one of the most desirable gemstones that you can possibly wish to own. Um, I'm talking about the beauty, the rarity of zoocyte that is tanzanite. Now last night, I think I told you earlier on today, I do a lot of my prep the night before just because I'm not so rushed and then I can actually, I feel like I digest a lot more information that way. Um, <clears throat> I thought, well, do you know what, I'm going to try and clarify how long roughly we've got left of mining this gemstone. Um, and I, I, it, was, it was completely unsuccessful because still to this day some companies are saying 30 years, some companies are saying 20 years, some companies are saying 15 years, and some companies are saying less than 10. But either, either or, I think we know that this gemstone, there will come a time when it will run out. Um, and those of you, I mean, that'll be a sad day, but it doesn't always have to be a negative, does it? I mean, think of it this way, let's, let's, let's turn those tables. Is it a negative if you already own tanzanite? If you don't own Tanzanite, then possibly, because of course then you can pay the supremely elevated price tags that we're seeing um, influence the market even today. Look how beautiful, beautifully simple this Tanzanite strand is. Not a single facet. All about that wonderful clarity, which is not something I ordinarily can say um, with Tanzanite. This is beautiful clarity, and of course that cornflower blue. You're looking at a gemstone which is a rare violet blue variety of the mineral zoocyte found in um, only one location on this planet at the foot of Mount Kilimanjaro um, in Tanzania. It is said to be a thousand times rarer than uh, any diamond and it's a gem which has what we call triacroism. So it's a high triacroism which will basically mean that you can view different, three different colours from different angles. Now, Historically, this is, I mean, we, were only, we, we discovered this gemstone in 1969, um, that historically they believed that it was a gemstone, or locals believed that it was a gemstone that was formed by an act of God, when he used lightning to strike uh, and set the surrounding hills alight. After those hills, uh, the hills' fires had burnt out and the earth had cooled, the rocks deep within turned this beautiful zoocyte blue. But the reality, the, I mean, not reality, that might well be true, um, but the science side of this, I beg your pardon, is that it was formed 585 million years ago. Consider that. This beautiful treasure lay un unnoticed for almost 585 million years. It's only over, well, just over 50 years that we've actually been enjoying this beauty. 585 million years was, the, was when this gemstone actually uh, created. And that was um, with the movement of your tectonic plates, activity, that activity actually created Mount Kilimanjaro. The process itself created also the Mozambique belt. So if you've ever looked at the, so the geography side of many gemstones, the Mozambique belt will travel through many countries, not just Tanzania, Kenya, um, Songhia Sapphires, I mean, um, Mahenge, Spinels, and that's, they're all located, Tanzanite, all lo located within the Mozambique belt. And this is a process that is called regional metamorphosis. So there's the science side of it. But tectonic plates underneath the ground, um, and this is such a rare geological occurrence. So basically the migration and the movement of these tectonic plates pushed 
Mount Kilimanjaro to the, you know, to, to the spectacular, one of the largest or highest mountains on this planet. Anyway, uh, the likelihood of that geological occurrence actually happening again is said to be less than one million to one. So how rare is Tanzanite jewellery makers? And is this a gemstone that we should possibly seek to own sooner rather than later? I would say categorically yes. Launched by Tiffany's & Co, the, we were awestruck. The moment this gemstone hit the market, the whole, the whole world were completely awestruck by this beauty. Um, like I said, it's, it, it's vanadium that colours the beautiful blue. The more vanadium, the deeper the blue, the, le uh, the, 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 the less vanadium, the paler the blue. But every single colour in between is so desirable. And thus, the love affair of Tan's Night began. Your deal of the day is going to be one of the most affordable Tanzanite opportunities, jewellery makers, that I think you have ever, ever seen. I think so. How many do we have? but there's only 150 of them available. We're gonna get the 60 second clock started to make it fair for everybody, whether you're shopping with us online or whether you're shopping with us on the phone line, start dialing nice and early. Um, look at it, it's beautiful. It's simple and I think that's the quality. Um, that's maybe why I love it so much, is because it's not, you know, it's not all about brilliance, it's not about fancy cuts, um, it's not trying to be, you know, uh, okay, trillant or round brilliant cut or ovals, it's not about all of that, it's about the almost raw natural beauty of each and every single one of these gemstones and I'm not saying that it's you know a little bit of heat treatment is always influenced with your tanzanite it is a gemstone actually when it first comes out of the ground you have an element of blue but it has also a hint of the brown a little bit of warmth a little bit of heat will just eradicate that disperse it all together and you just have this amazing uh, vision unveiled is it any wonder that Tiffany's and co were so in love with this gemstone that they literally Literally invested one of the largest marketing campaigns of all colored gemstones that they had ever done previously. 150 were available. Will they be available for long? I don't think so. Graphics are live. Go, go, go. Trust me in that what I say. This is going to be a really exciting Tanzanite deal for you jewelry makers. I think just literally pop that onto a flex right wire. Um, Crimp, crimp, either side, sterling silver, bit of argentium, and away you go. You've just made yourself heirloom. They believe that tanzanite, or they have, uh, they believe tanzanite is the gemstone of new beginnings. So whether that be, I don't know, a new relationship, a new house, a new career, um, traveling, whichever it might be, the gemstone of your firstborn. They gift this gem for, um, in recognition of, your, of one's firstborn. I mean, if that all takes off as well as the diamond, campaign did, you know, diamonds are forever, then I think Tanzanite's demand will skyrocket once again. The graphics are there and already we've got people dial dialing through. Formed 585 million years ago, but yet we've only seen it for just over 50. Isn't it beautiful? Mm. You, can, you can understand why the world, literally the entire world, were captivated instantaneously with this gemstone. Collectors, regular collectors, multi-buying. Um, multi-buying, I don't blame you. Pauline, new customers, Tracy, Susan, Madeline. Most, most of us would think that Tanzanite is a gemstone that we would never be able to afford. Most of us would think, hang on, this is a gemstone that I might be, you know, I, I might acquire one carat if I'm lucky. You're getting 10 carats with today's deal of the day, and it isn't lacking in that wonderful presence of colour. You know, vanadium blue, that deep corn flower with elements of violet and flashes of pinks because of its, uh, its, its natural triachroism. You would imagine that we have to, you know, quite significantly invest in a gem of this rare it's the only gemstone in our generation that has made its way into the big five. Let's make our way to what expectations would be possibly. And I'm talking about here at this channel. Anywhere else, and I think expectations would be con considerably more than what you're about to see. Six, ten carats. That's should we half that price then? Do it, do it, do it, let's do it. Should we make 150 collectors and connoisseurs, enthusiasts of beautiful gemstones, very happy this Tuesday afternoon, morning, sorry. We're not stopping there. 
we're not stopping there, we're just making our way towards your deal of the day. Um, it's already a busy, busy show. If you've got involved on in all of the Argentium, imagine being able to put Argentium like those, oh my goodness, I've just had a thought. The forget-me-not kit, is that not the most perfect forget-me-not colour? Absolutely. Oh, Elizabeth, that would be beautiful. Just a few of those rondelles mm. in the forget-me-not kit that was featured in the nine o'clock hour. That's not your deal of the day price tag. Thank you so much, jewelry makers, for tuning in with us this morning. We've had an amazing show, and it's still not done. Got more demonstrations and inspiration with your Argentium. But how about one of the world's most desirable color gemstones on the entire planet? It's not just a gemological phenomena; it's a geological phenomena, likewise. That that's nowhere near where we're stopping, although getting some perspective here, £34.98 pence for 10 carats of tanzanite. Should we go again? And we'll take it to, to, we're doing the final price? Not the final price. Okay, okay. That's not our final price. Um, I'm fairly sure on my actual star buy sheet that is what it says though, Tom. I'm fairly sure you did say L. L. It's under £20. I don't know, he's not from London. But uh, we're not even stopping there. But we need to see you on the phone lines, jewellery makers. If you want to go lower, we need, yeah, yeah, there's tons of you there. It's a beautiful strand, it really is. It's simplistic in its elegance. It's not trying to be sort of ostentatious. It's not, all, it's not about the brilliance, it's all about the colour. Which, let's be honest, jewellery makers, is what, 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 what struck us immediately when we saw this gemstone for the very first time. Um, so we had 150 of them. To go any lower, though, Tom is saying? You've got to do what? Okay, so you're justifying it now, aren't you? You're justifying it using, uh, using Steve's name to go lower than under £20. Oh, well, I'm on board. Annette, Edinburgh, hello to West Midlands, Donna, Sue, Michelle, Pauline, Brian, Louise, Beverly, Karen, Janice, Jeannie. Hello to you, Linda, Liz, Sue, Madeline. What? You've got to get one over, haven't you? This is hilarious because I actually said to Tom, I was like, go on, you can do something a little special with this. I was kind of pushing those boundaries when he, when he, gave me, when he planted the seed of 1995. But there we go. He's, he's, he's absolutely obliterated those boundaries for you this morning. 12.95. Not one of the most affordable Tanzanite strands. I think it's up where there was the most, isn't it? For this level of quality, you have to check out the jewellery makers because we've got a lot of multi-buyers here. I think it's crying out to go alongside lovely Elizabeth's forget-me-not kit because it's the perfect forget-me-not colour, don't you think? And you don't need a couple of the tanzanites. Oh, or even in one of the long-stranded necklaces, just a few links, just a few nuggets of um, the blue in one of the long-stranded yeah. necklaces would be stunning. Be beautiful. Don't forget you can get your certificate of authentic uh, authenticity, sorry, for an additional 25 pence. It's worth worth that. It's, you know, you wouldn't buy a decolourless diamond without the certificate of authenticity. Why would you do it with one of the most colour, uh, you wouldn't do it with the most one of the most desirable of your colour gemstones either um, but those of you that have any baskets haven't had, and haven't checked out word to the wise about 40% of the customers on the phone lines are actually multi-buying we could have kept this at 69.95 we could have kept it at 34.95 and we certainly could have kept it at 19.95 it's a giveaway. It's an absolute giveaway deal. And do you know, uh, you know, Steve's Super Saver deals, we are welcoming Tanzanite into people's lives that possibly thought they would never be able to wear this gemstone, gemstone before. Because it is considered. And that price per carat, way, uh, per carat is on the dramatic rise. So the answer to what, uh, you know, what I started uh, your deal of the day discussing, I can't tell you for sure exactly how many years left of mining Tanzanite are. Because there's, there's lots of conflict 
seeing uh, sort of numbers or dates being bounced around. Some companies are saying 30, some companies are saying 20, some companies are saying 15, and some are saying less than 10. Uh, but e any of those digits, they're all not long in the grand scheme of things. That's why we actually say this is our generational gemstone and truly one of those that we can pass on to future generations. The reality is, as somebody that has worked within gemstones for, for half my life, quite literally half my life, if I don't sort of purchase tanzanite now, then I, my, I, I highly doubt my little girl's going to be able to buy this mm. gemstone because it's probably going to be so vastly expensive at that point that she won't be able to. So I feel duty bound to purchase it. Well, that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Uh, <laughs> Let's not, yes, absolutely, let's not forget that this is a gemstone that actually is mined at some of the greatest depths in the gemstone world, over a thousand meters. And it is literally a vertical shaft uh, that the miners travel down. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's a vertical shaft, literally, on a, on, on a ladder that they climb down. They'll stay down there all morning. All day, sorry, and then they'll come up at the end of the day. Very, very, very hot. We do actually have a VT somewhere, which I'm sure we could actually show you at some point. Of, um, of yeah, we're in the process of actually filtering through those. But you've certain. I know Steve has actually been down. He's been down uh, those uh, vertical shafts. And if you wanted to ask him any questions, he's here on Friday morning too. On the verge of selling out, though. So Victoria, Valerie, Emily, Ella, Lisa, Angela, Lynn, Mandy, Angela, Claudette, uh, Brian. You've got to check out. Hello, Maria, Glamorgan, Teresa and Stephen, Karen, Paul, Muriel, Linda, Jane, West Midlands, Juliet. Oh, pretty name, Juliet. I'm going to hold this up to the neckline because this is literally what I would do with mine. Pop it on a sterling silver chain. Nothing overly complicated. Look how pretty that is. It's such a pretty colour, isn't it? It's a gorgeous gemstone. Mm. I mean, you know, even without, you can see why. Back in the late 1960s, it was an instantaneous reaction by Tiffany's & Co. I think with the three colours, though, it's great for any skin tone as well, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, That's yeah, the thing with absolutely, because you get violets, you mm. get pinks, and also secondary colours of your blues, too. Um, I think I'd have to be multi-buy. I might multi-buy on this one. I had 150, and yet there's still quantity. Only just, though. Only just. And I don't think at that price tag, I'd be silly to just get the one. <laughs> I'd probably have to get more. Um, but lovely with your... Uh, Michael, could you possibly p pass over those uh, forget-me-not earrings where the, the pearls are inside? Because, you know, you would actually just glue them. That's all you did, mm. wasn't it? You actually kind of glue them to the centre of your forget-me-not earrings. And they're the perfect colour for that design, for the whole theme, the whole uh, idea behind that kit as well. $12.95. Um, we're getting limited now, jewellery makers. Well done, Gillian, Taryn. Hello to you, Dorset, Kath, Maria, um, Lynette, Christine, Jolata, uh, Suzanne, uh, Sue. I'm not joking. Suzanne, Susan and Sue. Oh, well done. Nancy, Janice, Yvonne. Yvonne, Sue, Yvonne, Michelle, Karen, you've got to check out those baskets because we are on the verge of selling out now. Well done, everybody. Isn't that beautiful? Would I like to do another Steve Super Saver deal? What do you think? Oh, go on then. This, this strand is beautiful and it's absolutely bowled me over. Um, so I stepped into the studio this morning and Tom said to me, Elle, Steve Super Saver on an appetite strand and, and listen we're quite fortunate here at Jewelry Makers in that we see lots of the world's most beautiful gemstones. I, I almost wish that appetite had more that, that somebody would come along and invest the marketing into appetite that, that they did for Tanzanite mm. because this is a gemstone that has this electricity this vivacity that is unlike any other out there um, now, it literally glows, and it's so exciting that I think, well, you know, lots of the big designers are actually get, uh, throwing their weight behind it now. So beautiful, so rare. Here's Steve talking about appetite. All different types of stones come from Madagascar, so let's explore further as we travel to Morafen to see a fully working appetite mine. The mine has only been operational for 12 months, but it's easy to see why the locals invest so much of their time and effort here. Appetite crystals are literally breaking the surface of the ground. Although not gem quality, it's a great indicator that if you dig a little deeper, you'll be able to find much larger and higher quality examples, 
perfect for cutting into gemstones. And that's exactly what they're doing here, as these experienced miners are retrieving apatite directly from the host rock. Pegmatite mining is very difficult, but if you know what you're doing, the rewards can be great. Here, the miners are actually using pliers to trim down pieces of rough. What they're trying to do is to break away any of the crystals that are not properly formed. This exposes the perfectly formed crystals that are sometimes hiding beneath the surface. Most of the rough seen here is probably only good for tumble stones or beads, but amongst the rough will certainly be a few elusive gem quality crystals. Rarity and the beauty, still very primitively mined as you saw then, literally by hand lifting the, uh, the raw material off the host rock, seeing those visions of colour. But did you notice, even in its natural form, literally directly uh, uh, sort of ex uh, extruded from the ground, you see that glow, that amazing presence. Now, I only have 53 of these available. A gemstone which um, comes in different colours. You can have green appetite, you can have your neon appetite, you can have the paler, more Swiss blue-like colours of appetites like this strand. I tell you what, it's award-winning in beauty. If you want a gemstone to be noticed, then look no further. Because um, as appetite actually has phosphorus within it. Guess what? So do we. We have phosphorus within our teeth and within our bones. Um, if you translate that in the Greek language, uh, phosphorus basically means bringer of life. Um, and this gemstone has an amazing, amazing energy and presence about it within its very, very core. 53 of these are available. 30 carats that you're getting in this exquisitely 3 millimeter faceted strand. Entirely. Zero graduation. So this is going to work with so many different mediums, certainly your Ashley Clark stacker style bracelet designs should be $49.95 and we are no way near, not even remotely close to your closing price. It's a Steve Super Saver. Look at the glow of that. Have you ever seen Appetite with not, such... Not that strong. Yeah. It's the colour. It's beautiful. It is amazing, isn't it? Mm. You can get it, it. You can get Appetite in greens. You can get it. For me, this is neon Appetite. It's a really interesting colour. I've seen yeah. much greener than that. That's pretty. Well, here's a little fun fact. Did you know the colour that is on my wrist right here, right now, is actually considered to be one of the rarest colours on this planet? Because, try and picture a flower, even, I don't know, a species that actually has this colour entirely. Not made up of maybe different feathers or anything like that, mm. but it's entirely this colour. There's very, very few. That's why it is actually called Celeste Blue, which means heavenly, out of this world. $49.95 is ordinarily an amazing price tag for this level of quality, but it is a Steve Super Saver deal for you jewellery makers. I only have 53 of these. They'd just be stacker style bracelets, I think, so uh, beautiful tennis bracelets layered up together. You're going nuts for it already on the phone lines and also on the web yeah I mean if you it's got a, viv a vivacity and energy a presence and ultimately that's what we want all of our gemstones be them colored or colorless we want them to be noticeable um, even, especially from if we can get it from great distances then amazing mm. absolutely amazing under 20 pounds only a strand of 38 centimetres when ordinarily appetite would have been maybe on an 18 uh, centimetre strand. I had 53 but you're going nuts for it. Michelle, Edinburgh, Liz, Lorna, Olive, Lorraine. Hello to you cl anonymous collectors, Sheila and Dawn, you've done it, well done. I've got Pauline, Shropshire, Margaret, Derbyshire, London, uh, Laura, another London. People getting multiples, well done to you. Candy, uh, Aberdeenshire, you've just bought, multi-bought. Pauline in Cambridgeshire, you have to check out on these. I wish I had more. I truly do. I mean, look at look. Even the most simple of jewelry making techniques. If I was to pop pop those onto a little bit of elastic, probably your 0.5, and turn it into a stretchy ring, you've just made yourself a really high end, almost almost eternity oh. band look. Wow. The colour of appetite. Do you agree with what I was saying? I'll go back to the beginning of this star by what I was mentioning there. If if 
and it should, it deserves it. If Appetite had the investment that Appetite actually had behind it, the weight of companies, big, big, big companies like Tiffany's and Co, if they'd invested millions into the actual launching of this gemstone, then surely this would be a member of the big five. Because the big five is the big five through marketing. Appetite is completely worthy of being in that position. It's on the verge of selling out already. Joanne, well done. Rosemary, well done. Dorset, well done. Uh, Margaret, well done to you. Emma, Valerie, good luck, I should say. Patricia's there. Lots of you still dialing through. From $49.95 for sheer indulgence, sheer quality, and sheer colour. Less than 20 today. Today. Right then. I have never, ever seen... Can I just say... Well done to our amazing floor team and everything for the photo photography of this. Um, Michael, oh, yeah. good job. Thank you. Well done to our warehouse team for collecting each and every single one of these DVDs. And well done to each and every single one of you that is going to get hold of this enormous library of DVDs in this one bundle. How many have I got here? Fifty. Four DVDs. I mean, 54. That's a lot of knowledge right there. Mm. I mean, if I could literally, I don't know, take the, gr the brain capacity of each of these DVDs, that's going to be a huge amount, isn't it? So, okay, are you ready? I'm not going to say this. Okay, well, well. Spiky button projects, Mark Smith. You've got Freya's, te Freya's tears pendants with Claire McDonald. You've got quicker CB baubles, Kanzashi, Christmas Robin, vintage woven bangle. That's another Claire. I'm trying. Uh, Chainmail necklace. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Chainmail necklace. That's Fleur. Why would B? That's Claire. Uh, Sutash bracelets, Alison. Uh, Linda's Linda's rose garden, Linda. Uh, <laughs> Claire McDonald. <laughs> uh, then you've got your lovely uh, Rachel Norris's and Gemma Crow's motifs. You've got ah oh, your Easter egg designs, amazing. The, oh, this is one of my favourites. The Chihuahua, the Chihuahua DVD. You've got hair pins and cones, you've got your bridal chain mail, you've got your beaded netted cuffs, you have your artisan earrings, wirework unicorns, Christmas wall hangings, wirework penguin, flower show, Linda, polymer clay, beyond beading, uh, Christmas mini wreaths, preciosa tea beads, You've got the lovely angel there with Alison. Preciosa, introduction to Preciosa. Cocktail rings. You've got your wire brooches. Your like literally, come back at, come back at eight o'clock. I'll still be going. Uh, Kanzashi projects. Part two. Wearable statement jewellery. Um, introduction to the bangle weaver. Statement bridal necklaces. Uh, wire sculpture. Ah, oh, wire sculpture. Introduction to Murano glass. More Kanzashi flowers. Right angle weave, crystal bridal, uh, memory wire edition two, wire work bird, beading with paracord, uh, very what? Very berry garden ring. Never seen that one before. I've never even seen that one before. Oh, by Tracy. Oh, amazing. Uh, seed beads for beginners. Introduction to link beads. Then you've got Claire's celestial pendants. Wire Sculptures Edition 1, Shibori Designs, the Babushka Babushka Babushka, yeah, yeah. Uh, Go and Geometric, <laughs> introduction, <laughs> introduction to Paracord, Sea uh, Beading, Russian Leaf and Floral Cuff. You've got, we're getting there, Jewelry Makers. These are double discs, by the way. Um, collectors, is there four? Oh, there is as well. Four discs in that one, and the book. Two in that one, and then your beading state. Statement beading. Okay, um, Amanda's just texting. Yeah. Can you please do that again? <laughs> Amanda, sorry, no. <laughs> no. Uh, 54 DVDs. I love it. 54 
DVD bundles, including loads and loads. So, I mean, I, I feel like, you know, your effort there, Tom, in terms of our loads and loads. Here's us just going through and photographing and everything. Tom puts, oh, there's loads in there. Loads. loads in there, there is. Should be, <laughs> oh, go on, I'll put another and loads on there. Should be £324.30. I can't tell you, jewelry makers, how much knowledge you have. And again, can I just say, if you do craft fairs and you're thinking, I don't need all of those, sell them. Sell them on. Five pounds, craft groups. That's over two days worth. Two days. Over two days. Solid viewing. Yeah. Over. One pounds eighty-five per DVD, jury makers. That's a lot. I mean, that for me is like a, I don't know, a degree in jewellery making straight away, probably plus more. Masters in degree jewellery making straight away. Um, and there will be some that, some that you think, okay, I don't do that medium or maybe, but this is a, a, a you know, a, a library of reference because we all lose our mojo from time to time, don't we? Yes, Elizabeth is nodding. It does. So how nice is it that you can literally go to our guest designers, DVDs, and go, okay, I'm going to have a little dabble in this, a little dabble in that. Um, so well done. And like I said, if you do your garden, uh, if you do your... <laughs> your craft fairs, your stores, online, um, lots of our DVDs are actually retailed online, then this would be perfect, absolutely perfect, because you could get the ones that you need, that you've been waiting for, and I don't know, you could gift some of these as well, that's working out at £1.85 per DVD, congratulations, because there are lots of you there. And it's one pound eighty five. Well done, Tom. He's naughty, isn't he? It's what? One pound eleven per DVD. I mean, some of these should be thirty, forty pounds on their own. Because these DVDs, let me just turn this one around. This is the this is the collector's edition. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve designers on that DVD. It's four discs. Four discs. Plus the book itself. So there's twelve different designers that you're getting on one DVD across different mediums. You know. Talent, 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 talent. Hopefully we're going to put you on there one day. That would be nice, wouldn't it? See, I mean, every single medium, bar a few, we hopefully we're going to be changing that, um, is included in this massive bundle. Okay, crazy deal. Well done. Well done. Okay. What, sorry? Seven, I'm just going to... Spinny, 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 spinny. Ah, oh, the beauty that is your Burmese jadeite, a gemstone revered for thousands of years, over 4,000 years, and significant in not just ancient China, but also in uh, uh, New Zealand as well. This is a gem that if you translate the word jadeite in, in Chinese language, it basically uh, means heaven, because they believe that people who wore this gemstone or had this uh, gem placed um, on their body, it would, uh, they always had an immortality. It's, it, it's a gem that um, is believed to actually have, yeah, with the tans now, it would be amazing, um, to sort of enhance one's moral integrity too. 130 carats from that pinnacle location, beautiful with the tanzanite, literally just alternate um, some tanzanites in between that. Exquisite, right? 0800 655. Um, the most recognised, I think, colour of your jade is green. Imperial jade is where jade actually has a, a level of transparency to it. You're talking literally hundreds of thousands of pounds, if not millions. It's the final few of these that are available. 39.95 for Burmese jadeite. Bearing in mind the history, how highly revered this gemstone actually is. What? Oh, yeah. Seriously. It's in the top 10 rarest gemstones on this planet. And you've just moved in with a £15 price tag. So you can get the, ta you can get the tanzanite and also the Burmese jadeite for less than 30 pounds. Hiya Norma, a big round of applause for Elwilda, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, 
Hey, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Hiya, Deb. Sorry, what was the 16th DVD, please? <laughs> <sighs> oh, I don't, Deb, I can't tell you that, my darling. It's, uh, about jewellery making. <laughs> On Friday, you've got a hundred DVD bundle. If you do it. Oh, well, don't tell me if you're not going to do it. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, okay. Oh, I have these. I actually bought these. Um, so, did you know I'm off to, I'm off to Poland? Yeah. Uh, March. Um, to buy, uh, to buy some, well, help, well, it's a group of us, I think, um, to go over to Poland and actually do some, some amber buying. These, I think, are, are brilliant, because all you need to do is actually put, um, a little bit of, pop a little bit of your, uh, um, you said about the glue epoxy earlier on, glue. epoxy yes. glue. Leave it overnight. You've got the luxury, uh, Back, not your butterfly back, because they've got more of an investment of your sterling silver. And what high-end piece of jewellery this is. It's a lovely colour as well. It, it, it really it? is. So this is amber, of course. Amber is dated up to 50 million years of our age. And basically, these are half-drilled rounds. So, I'm holding this in completely the wrong position. So all you need to do is a little bit of your epoxy clay. Leave it, you could use your charcoal block for this if you wanted to. Leave it overnight in that position so it can actually physically bond. And you've just made yourself professional jewellery. Mm. See, with just the smallest amount. I actually bought these um, and they're going to be gifts. Smallest amount of your epoxy clay. And you wouldn't need a huge amount because you don't want it to sort of come out the side. Um, okay. Sh oh. Amber, genuine amber. This is not a resin. It's not a synthetic. Um, you can get amber, which is almost, uh, well, well, is created, I suppose. So they take resin and they often put um, a gold leaf internally, colour it slightly with this golden colour. So it is reminiscent of this gemstone. You know that with us, you haven't got to worry about that. You are absolutely getting the real deal here. The true, uh, genuine gemstone that dates up 50 million years of age. Did you know that this is one of the most prolifically significant gemstones, not just gemologically, but for our history, paleontologically as well, biologically, because over 1,500 species have been identified through this gemstone. How amazing is that? So it really is quite exciting. Under 10 pounds only, check out. Okay, let's do, oh, these are beautiful. It's got a, Listen, wind chimes. Who we had a message in on a um, on our wall of fame earlier on. A lady was suffering with nightmares, um, and we said, and she'd made some dream catchers. Can you imagine these suspended or in a child's mobile or something like that? So angelic, aren't they? Dream catchers. They're believed to ward off evil spirits, aren't they? Everything scary. These are exquisite, genuine agates with this almost moonstone iridescence to them and a, a fusion of colours. One of the beauties of agates is, A, it's durable, but it also has a multitude of, uh, of characteristics from colours to banding to uh, transparency and then also to your opacity as well. 10.95 to for 242 carats of this beautiful gemstone that the design is the design is done for you in my opinion but if you want to mobiles I think dream catches was a lovely lovely idea it's also a Steve super saver deal everybody we are coming to the end or oh, this must is this one of the last uh, the last weeks yeah the last weeks that we'll actually have of uh, Steve super saver deal the list what the list is is, is dwindling pardon Four pounds and fifty-six pence. This is a rare, genuine gemstone. And it's, I mean, these are, think about how much would be lost during the cutting process for something of that 
so that stronger geometric shape because you could put one of these onto the end of a pendant like a lariat style pendant but I think um, yourself in I, sorry I forget the lady of the name that messaged in um, but I think your idea um, of dream catch is a really beautiful one they're very popular at the moment lots of interior designers are working with dream catchers or oh, that beautiful gentle sound especially when spring arrives and you can start opening the windows and the wind is just going to affect and create that elegant chime uh, 456 uh, only Lynn Liz Wendy Jackie Michaela hello to you Janice um, I've got a lot of multi buyers on this one Veronica new customers check out you only have to pay that one potion and packaging all day irrespective of the checkouts that you do and the amounts that you buy uh, the amounts that you buy within uh, within that 24 hour period again it's going to work with beautiful treasures like I'm going to show you this lovely citrine that's coming in the in the 12 o'clock hour um, how beautiful would they be because that's got that golden sunshine like essence to it it would look amazing with the tanzanite certainly the appetite and of course the argentium right moving on let's do oh elizabeth it's taking me to some far off beautiful holiday destination i'm thinking mauritius or the seychelles it is just exquisite isn't it it is you've got this wonderful tropical sand between your toes feel as soon as you see it's uh, you're looking at um, a glow of genuine opal not many people realize that opal is not just you know sort of your Australian your Cuba PD or your lightning ridge or your Ethiopian opal you can actually get it in black you can get matrix opal dendritic opal you can get um, uh, boulder opal but it will also give you amazing colorings like this and when you do it becomes yeah it tropical is the word I think I would actually use for it isn't it stunning I'm lusting after it yeah exactly and it's a genuine opal so for those of you that are of course uh, um, your October babies then this is one for you the graphics are there I sh really, I should be bringing this to you for 80 carats. I know that Steve's going to be with you on, uh, he's going to be with you on Friday for a couple of hours, jewelry makers. And I know if he was to see this, he would say, that's a parcel. I could turn those into individual solitaires and certainly command a much higher price tag than what's on your screens. I mean, even if they were like, what, 20 pounds, 30 pounds per solitaire ring, that's still an amazing price tag for a genuine opal. 5.95. I'm going to count these for you because I think they could truly be solitaires so 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 22 24 26 28 30 32 34 36 38 39 standalone solitaires we take inspiration from guest designer Jan Dwyer who I know is shopping right now hi Jan Hi Jan, you could literally prong set it and set a gemstone in the center that's working out at 50 15, 1, 5 pence per stone, per gemstone. 15p for a genuine opal. It would be rude not to, wouldn't it? Well, yeah, yeah exactly. You're quite right there. We'd always be daft not to, wouldn't we, Elizabeth? Uh, 5.95 only. Well done. The glow. Oh, it's, it, it, it is holiday. It's somewhere like Bali or where do you see? Seychelles. Mm. That has got that really white Skegness. sand. Skegness. <laughs> Bit colder. Bit colder. Okay. The final grand did you right? Is this the last one in the in the whole vault? <coughs> I do understand though that um, we literally have got very little, and I'm talking about about five strands. <coughs> Excuse me. Of grand did you right left within the business. Grand did you right is. Um, in the top 10 Forbes rarest gemstones list. It's also in the top 10 Forbes most expensive gemstones list. It's it can reach prices of in excess of $20,000 per carat. 
Um, it's a natural blue, um, this lovely bluey green like colour. And you get you you can get Grand Digerite with clarity. However, if you see a Grand Digerite with clarity, firstly let the alarm bells ring because that's more than likely a synthetic because it's almost impossible to get hold of this gemstone with clarity. Um, but if it has got clarity and then you discover it is a Grand Digerite, you best be a millionaire to buy it because uh, it's very 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 expensive. Um, you're twenty thousand dollars per carat is the approximate price tag this is the last one that we have within the world um, yes yeah, so you get you get grand digirite with levels of opacity this is actually I think that in between you get you've got a level of transparency and opaque as well um, the presence of the quality and the color is all down to iron that it's a ridiculous price for grand digirite honestly I've got one left and the reality is I, I categorically cannot guarantee that we will have Grand Digerite again because when we suggested it to our buying team some um some years ago actually it was almost like said with a smile on our face knowing that the answer would be no lo and behold lo and behold our gem our, our amazing gem buying team did source it but we're down to the final few i have one julie candy linda you're there and lisa yeah it's the, and that's the most that's the most affordable grand digerite i think we'll ever see ever moving on uh sorry 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 Fluorite in your brea light. So I thought I walked out off uh, camera there. Didn't mean to. How often do we see fluorite in faceted drops or a briolette in my eyes? We don't see it very often, do we? The most colourful mineral on this planet. It literally has an ability to glow with greens, purples, blues, colourless, delicate, delicate pinks, and even colour change. Fluorite um, was the gemstone that actually invented the word fluorescent because it will glow under UV light. This is completely and utterly natural. Um, it has a really uh, endearing vulnerability, which I love about fluorite. It's not about diamond-like clarity. Again, you've got a translucency to this gemstone, so light does affect it. Um, but it's it's slightly lower on the most scale, so softer on the most scale. So for me, fluorite in drops is perfect because you're going to wear them up, aren't you? You're going to wear mm. them or in earrings or um, on the decolletage so I would never really recommend um, well, I shouldn't say never but it's not a gemstone that I would possibly wear around the wrist line or something like that where you know you might bash it um, or damage the gemstone but crying out to be beautiful very Victorian-esque inspired uh, earrings or, uh, or pendants especially in a briolette drop but I can't remember the last time if ever I've actually brought you fluorite in this cut in this actual cut I can't, what? Twenty nine ninety eight is our should be price. <clears throat> I know what's going to happen right now. Yes. Really. What are you doing? So. I've, I genuinely can't remember the last time I saw a briolette drop in the fluorite. Can you? Can you, Michael? Uh -uh. Can you, Tom? No, he says. No, I, no, he can't. But he said, oh, I've done it anyway. Twelve ninety-five. This natural vision. This is one of the gemstones that we actually do have on our very shores as well. We have it here in the UK. Um, it can be sourced all around the world. South Africa, Namibia, I know. Um, and it glows. It has this beautiful magical glow. It's not diamond-like clarity. It's a, what we call a translucency, where light will influence it uh, and sort of almost ignite each of those colours. I love this round. I think the fact that you've got your greens, you've got zebra. Can you see that there? So you've actually got, if I hold it out like this, you've actually got your banded fluorite within this strand. You've got colourless fluorite, you've got the deep, almost uh, amethyst-like purples within, and it's all completely and utterly natural. The final few of these that are available, jewellery makers, our gentium is to be continued after the break. Um, and we have got literally, what is it, an hour? Yeah? We've got almost a whole hour of demoing. <laughs> Elizabeth's only just found this out though. Hey, don't worry, you don't have to. You don't have to. I'll have a go. Yeah. What do you mean, no? No, why not? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So Tom just said, yeah, lovely, lovely. Yeah, I'll have a go with you. Um, no, 
It's not up for discussion. It's happening, Tom. This is lovely. Oh, we know why producer Tom has scheduled this for you. It's got his favourite gemstone in there. He loves, absolutely loves his rose quartz, does our Tom. Such a feminine gemstone. It's the gem of unconditional love. And you know he's such a softy, an absolute romantic. Well, you do, don't you? You do like it, yeah. You've also got some really beautiful amethyst here. You've got, you've got the elegance of liquid droplet sunshines within your citrine. And then Ollie's favourite is that gorgeous smoky quartz as well, because it's so masculine. That's what it is. Such a masculine gemstone. 320 carats. Oh, um, I'm just teasing, Tom. Beautiful. It's a long strand as well, 50 centimetres. Now I'm thinking straight away that could be a really beautiful Marla style necklace. Um, you could just restrand it and wear it as is. You've got these gorgeous organic natural shapes. Um, and of course, your quartz family. It's your quartz family strand, isn't it? There's only a couple that haven't been included within that strand. Should have been £21.95. pence. Per Perfect for those of you that are maybe brand new to jewellery making. If you've never made a single piece of jewellery in your entire lifetime, get involved because it's 3 dollars postage and packaging. All you'll need is a basic tool kit and you can get that less than, uh, less than £10. Um, you can get, you get, you get free DVD, you get started with Jewellery Maker DVD. You can go onto our website which has got countless demonstrations and also our YouTube channel. Every single channel is recorded and uploaded to YouTube. So if you love a demonstration that Elizabeth does this afternoon, you know, part of that hour, <laughs> <laughs> um, then, then literally you can rewind it and watch it back. Hello Julie, this year I aim to visit uh, the Blue John Caves in Derby where the UK sources flew out, absolutely, yes. Um, yeah, a few, of, a few of us have been actually up there. It, it is, it is, it's, yeah, really exciting and the quality of the fluorite that comes from that location is quite amazing. It's quite expensive, isn't it? It's very expensive. Oh. It's, prob it's probably the most expensive. But the colour is, the deep colours yeah. are lovely. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, it, 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 it's very difficult to purchase, very difficult to buy, um, but what you do, if you do see it, then yes, expect to have to invest. 9 95 only for this. Again, if you have any questions that you would like to put to uh, lovely Elizabeth, then uh, text us. We're live here in the stu studio, 60777, start your text with JM Studio, or you can message us online as well. Lots of love for our, our lovely Elizabeth. Of course, of course. Okay. Uh, oh, ooh. <laughs> I'm trying to trip out, tripped over my own foot. <laughs> I, I literally did. It was the moonstone. I actually tripped over my own foot. My shoes are called banana shoes. They actually are called that. Oh, look at this, that adolescence beyond all imagination. Let, ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm going to have to hold it slight. Oh, my goodness me. I'll pick them up with the tweezers in a second. I mean, these are obviously slightly more considered, but look at the quality of adolescence within ev. Oh, my goodness. I mean, that is complete and utter full. <laughs> Do I need. Talk to the kids. <laughs> Sorry. What? What? <laughs> I don't know. It's quite slippy. It's this slippy. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my goodness me. Tiny, tiny, tiny little platelets within the gemstone will bring you this beautiful illusion called adolescence. The more, the more adolescence that you actually see, the more desirable the uh, moonstone is. Rainbow moonstone means that you'll get a beautiful spectrum of colours. And here in the studio, it'll always be about the blues. But when you take it out into natural sunlight, that's when you start seeing um, colours of pinks and reds and even gold and yellows. 30 carats across the two cabochons. So you might get, oh wow, look at that. You might get um, pears, you might get rounds, you might get some really beautiful 
elongated shapes like this one just here that I just showed you, but they're all completely and utterly natural. The most considered of all your feldspar family is, flu is moonstone. Um, Years ago, they used to actually carve this gemstone predominantly into cameos. Um, if you can imagine, cameo is that, you know, with those amazing intricate hand carved, uh, you know, profiles, side profiles, which are almost haunting when it comes with moonstone, because um, you catch this adolescence, maybe, I don't know, on the bridge of a nose or something like that, but very, very, very expensive. It, it was once believed to have, quite literally, the rays of the moon captured within each of the gemstone should be they are some of the finest moonstones that we've ever had here at jewelry makers so um you know the difference is and i know and we hear this a lot oh well i can buy moonstone for 10 pounds from here or i can buy moonstone for five pounds from here yes but will it have the quality that you're looking at right now this is like 80 90 percent coverage of adolescence across the surface of the gems uh, of the moonstone which is almost never heard of you know, almost never. And if you do see it with that percentage of coverage, it's obviously much more considered. Forty nine ninety five. The final couple, uh, the final few of these, rather within the vault. Once they're gone, um, if you're not a wire worker, you don't have to be now. You could use this with the argentium, mm. couldn't you? And it would look stunning. Oh, so with a bright white argentium. Mm. With those beautiful blues that are coming out. In yeah, fact, amazing. And, and quite, you know, fluid-like, because I think, I'm thinking of your necklace again, mm. that's quite fluid-like in its appearance, so I think this would be, yeah, beautiful mm. with the Argentium. Check out those baskets, though, everybody. Check them out. Quality, real quality. Um, okay, jewelry makers, do not go anywhere because we have a very demi. Uh, de I can't talk. Put my teeth back in in a second. I'm just going to the break to put my teeth in. <laughs> it's going to be a demo heavy hour in the 12 o'clock hour. Any questions are absolutely welcomed. We'll probably bring you the odd deal in a lot uh, across the, uh, along the way as well. Uh, Elizabeth, can you see this? Please. Okay, no pressure, no pressure, no pressure. Um, but more argentium after this. Our brand new Get Started with Jewelry Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewelry making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewelry designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash get started with JM where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewelry making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewelry making journey. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hi Jewelry Makers, this Saturday's Late Show has something very, very special for you in the eight o'clock hour. Well, we've got some pearls, but not just any pearls. Tahitian pearls, South Sea pearls, gold and white. But there's only very small quantities. Some only have three in stock of each one. So you need to be quick if you want to grab yourself something special here on Jewelry Maker, Saturday night, the eight o'clock hour. Buying with Jewelry Maker Online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalised offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Jewelry Makers. On the 27th of February, we're moving back to Freeview SD Channel 73 from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m., which means that more of you get to see our wonderful designs and incredible deals. Then from 1 p.m. to 10 p.m., we'll be back on Freeview HD Channel 74 as usual. If you watch us on Virgin, Sky, or Freesat, then there's no change. You can carry on watching us as normal. So tune in on Freeview SD Channel 73 from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. and Freeview HD Channel 74 from 1 p.m. to 10 p.m. from the 27th of February. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase.
You can watch our Jewellery Maker show every day on our website by clicking the Watch and Buy Online link in the top right hand corner of our homepage. Here at Jewellery Maker we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user friendly and easy to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Elizabeth Magentia. Oh, I think you should stay here every single. <laughs> I think we should. We should have you here every week, Elizabeth. You get bored of me being no, here. No, no, we week. wouldn't. Would we, jewelry makers? We definitely, definitely wouldn't. Because I mean, this is wonderful. But let's quickly, because at nine o'clock this morning, we uh, gave Argentium an introduction. Um, you actually work with Argentium, I don't you? Used to work full time with them. I now work some of the time with them because I'm doing pearl stringing and other things the this rest and of the that time. Elsewhere. But, but tell us the what majority Argentium. of my time is Argentium. Well, uh, tell us what it is, because I know there's going to be people that okay. may be new to the channel or uh, that will not have a clue what okay. it is. The, in a nutshell, Argentium is a superior standard of sterling silver. Okay. So it has, standard silver is 92.5% uh, pure silver, 925. Yep. Yep. Argentium is 935, although under British hallmarking law, it still has to be hallmarked as 925. Okay. But that extra purity of material and one of the other alloying ingredients, which is a, um, a metal called germanium, gives it uh, increased, lots of other increased properties. So it's brighter and whiter than standard sterling. It's hypoallergenic and antibacterial. I That's managed amazing. to get that out without stuttering. So that means it's less likely to cause it, a reaction. If, any, if you know anybody that actually has maybe a, a reaction to 925, give this a go. Yeah, sometimes you'll see if people have got silver rings, it can be go sort of sometimes it goes green, it yeah. irritates. Yeah. People react badly if they've if they've got very sensitive skin um, with earring posts. Not everybody, of course, no. but some, yeah. Um, and that's not across the board, but some people are sensitized to certain metals. I am to I can't wear nine carat because whatever the other alloying ingredients in nine carat set me off mm. so I can't wear nine yeah my mum always um, she she couldn't wear uh, silver or nine carat gold and my dad just basically thought he she was pulling was his ploy. leg yeah he was like yeah you just have the 18 carat but it actually was true she yes. would have if she wore a necklace it would probably it would literally almost rash. burn yes. yeah her skin well one of the reasons for that is what people react to most in um, silver or in other alloys is the copper content right. well because we have more silver and the extra ingredient of germanium we've obviously got less copper so germanium helps build a protective barrier mm. but less copper is also a benefit as well okay so the other things that it does if you're manufacturing with it or you're making your pieces of jewelry sometimes you'll see fire stain in work and fire stain is uh, when you've soldered it's like black or a gray shadow in the work um, and the only way generally to get rid of that is either to uh, sit there and file it off and sand it off or to use nasty chemicals to etch it out. Okay. Um, Argentium is fire stain free, which means you don't get that shadowing. And invariably, to the irritant of most people who manufacture in sterling, it generally doesn't appear until the final polish if you've got fire stain. Okay. So you've finished all your work, you're just giving it the final yeah. buff, and then these sort of grey shadows And you appear. can't get rid of that? You have to sand it off or just okay. keep going down. But of Which course you're wasting metal doing absolutely. that. Absolutely, you're refining away the, the so actual content. Argentium doesn't have that. <laughs> um, it's an amazing item, a, a product, and I tell you what, every, every single time I see Argentium, <laughs> I am... Um, 
I'm just, I just want to have a go with it again, well, again, again. Have a go with this I'm in a going minute. to have a go, and I have absolutely zero. I've did it before. Don't panic, Tom. Don't panic. She will be quite safe. Honestly, he's panicking. <laughs> panic, panic. I did it last time. You, uh, Elizabeth was on air. It's all good, and it doesn't take a huge amount of time, does it? No. If you've never had a go, I have zero silversmithing skills, zero goldsmithing skills. I didn't go to jewellery uh, college. I've worked in the business for a long time, but never, never actually done anything quite yes. like this. So if I, my point is, if I can do it, anybody can do it. And that's it. actually one of the reasons why this is so good for beginners or hobbyists or people who want to make jewellery quickly and efficiently because you can do things much faster than mm. you can when you have to solder because okay. what we're going to do now is some fusing. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to make, first of all, the wires that go on the back of these earrings and then we'll fuse them onto the earrings. Okay, I'm moving you closer so I'll show okay. you out there a little bit. There we, are. Okay. there we are. So within the kit um, for the heart, ring and earrings, you have a piece of 0.8 wire. Decide on how long you would like your hoops, uh, your, your wires. Yeah, you that's can, quite you can, a feature, you, you isn't it, that, them, that yes. drop. Um, and there's plenty of wire there to do it with. Mm -hmm. So I have decided that I want mine this length. So they'll be possibly slightly shorter than these were. Yes, in fact, I'm going to do them slightly longer. I will ignore me on that. Um, and what I tend to do is I'll decide on the length and I use a pair of flush cutters just to cut them off. Nothing more complicated than that. And then just to make sure that you end up with a pair that are a pair, cut the other piece off at the same time so that you end up with a pair. Um, and are we on the above camera? We are on the yes. above camera, aren't we? You can see that to make fusing the wire onto the heart easier, I've put a little, um, well, you'll see what it is. It starts life off as a bead. It's just to give you a bit more location spot. Okay. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. So to create that, it is dead simple. You take a pair of, in fact, put, we will put our safety specs on. Let's put on. safety specs on. Safety. We, these have all been available. Take a look back on our website, but we will also be bringing you products to our screens. The, uh, literally the ones that we're wearing right now, it's worthwhile, you know, even a little bit of wire. Well, actually, as I snipped that, it flew off that way. Yeah, so exactly. That was what reminded me about the specs. So, I actually want a pair of parallel pliers. It's easier with Parallel those. pliers? Yes. Mm. I could have done it with one of the others, but it's easier. So, we're going to make the ball on the end of the wire. Okay. And it's a neat trick. Turn I the torch this. on. The torch again, we've brought that. Oh, we've not brought the torch to anywhere. I don't think we have done actually. Okay, we shall. We shall, we shall. Okay, okay. So, to make the ball on the end, you take the tip of the flame and hold it onto the end of the wire. And you will see it's just started to ball up. Can you see that on the end? Yes. So you're making your own little head pin, You're basically. making your own head pins, yes. And okay. if you happen to have a draw plate at home, which some people do... Can I borrow yours for a second? Yes. This is literally what you're going to be getting, Jory May, because it does come with a stand, by the way. And none of this nasty dirt all over well, it. Well, it's well loved, <laughs> It's isn't well it? used. It's well loved. So if you have a draw plate, which is for drawing down wire at home, and some of the, your viewers will do, um, you can put this through, you can either have a, a head pin with the round end on it, yeah. or you can put it through your draw plate and hit it, and you'll end up with the flat head pin. So you have a way, you can, you can make a variety of head pins for this. I mean, you just hit it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and enough. the only reason you're putting it through the draw plate is because you're then hitting it down so that yeah, you've got yeah. something firm to hit it onto. Um, Laura in Midlothian saying, hi ladies, great show. Love the Argentium jewellery. Can't wait to get started. Do you have the torch today? There you go. We'll put it on your screens right now. And um, we actually don't have um, a studio sample, but it is exactly the same torch that's, that that's you your have. torch, yes. Oh, okay. That's the one you sell. Oh, there we go. So, um, so literally, and I'm sure Elizabeth can show you how you ignite it, how you turn it off. It comes with, thank you for, we've totally forgot. <laughs> <laughs> um, it does come with a little stand, a little safety stand as well. And it's you light, you fill it using um, you fill it using just like a, a, a cigarette lighter. I'll cover up the brand, but yeah, just the regular lighter fluid. Okay, and I'll demonstrate how to do it. Yeah. You Make put it, it in the, the bottom, bottom and just push. And the, the thing with this is to make sure 
If it does overfill like that, just let it evaporate before you turn it back around the other way. This means my torch was fairly full. Yes, because you did, well, you did top it up, didn't you, yes. in the nine o'clock hour? Okay. Okay. So, there you go. Graphics are on your screens. Once you have one of these tools, because, you know, these are professional tools, um, sorry, torches, rather, you're not going to need to replace it, really, as long as you don't severely damage it. No. You're not going to need to replace it. Anyway. Okay, so you've made the ball on the end. Mm. You would have pickled this before you hit it normally, but of my course. dish of pickle seems to have vanished. So oh. it, I think we're refilling. I it. think it's gone to be refilled. So you would then take a hammer and it's not very technical. This so that's it. Um, where are we? Which camera? So this would be bright and shiny because it would have been pickled out. Mm -hmm. So all you've done is make a locating spot. So that when you come to I'll put it, it round, when so you come to put it on the back of the earring, you've just got a bit more of an you, area to work. You've with. got a flat surface, haven't yes. you? So if I can I borrow that a second, mm. I can just show it. <coughs> I mean, you can see why you've just done. You've actually created that that ball detail yes. at the end to, so you make to the put ball, your flux. You make the ball on the end and yep. then flatten it. Okay. Because otherwise, if you imagine. Well, it's, it's not going to look as pretty, is it? It's not going to look as pretty. And actually, trying to get a wire soldered on, yeah. it has a horrible habit of rolling off in all directions. Yeah. So More that surface just area. stops it doing that. There you go. Um, do you want to make one? I do. Right. So you're going to hold your wire yeah. like that with the tool, uh, with the um, pliers. Mm -hmm. We will put the safety specs on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Out of the way. Possibly so, tie back here as I'll, well. I'll light the torch for you. So yes, if please. you if you hold that firmly so that mm -hmm. it doesn't drop Which out. Which end am I balling that? You're bit? balling the bottom end. And if you hold it vertical, gravity will make the ball as round as possible that way. Okay. So if I light the torch, which just to recap for anybody watching, you pull the button down at the back and press the silver button and pointing and it away from you. Pointing away from anybody. Push the back button and, and that it. keeps it locked in place. Okay. So with the torch, what you're now going to do is look for the end of the blue tip and just hold it, just keep it still and watch for that to ball up there. That's it, you've done it. Or if you keep going, you'll make a larger one. Ah. It's that simple. It is that simple. Turn it off like that. Well, just push it again and it'll there turn you go. off. And then if you want to, assuming we've pickled it at this stage. I've pickled. And we'll just let it cool just for a second so that you don't burn your fingers. Okay. Otherwise, I'll have Tom shouting at me. Tell me when. <laughs> let me feel you. <laughs> right, you can let go with it with the pliers. Okay. And then hold it with that hand. Okay. And hit it. Can I hit it multiple times or just once? Hit it once and see what it looks like. I'd hit it again. When I nod my head, hit it. Do you remember that, too? <laughs> that sketch? <laughs> you've probably got enough because what you've got to remember is that when you put it onto the back of here you don't want you it don't, to go over you don't want too much of it yeah. or any of it showing perfect so that's how you do the end of it <laughs> thanks didn't she do well thanks <laughs> <laughs> there you go okay, okay. so um, have we actually brought the steel block and the ha rubber block to air I think we you... will we are going to do it so mm. there we go okay, okay back to you i'll try to remember where we are right so you'll notice that this has got both some texture on and um, mm -hmm. some shape. It's not completely. Let's hold it so that not, Michael can see. It's not completely flat. If you look at what it starts life out as, it's completely. Okay, you got it. It's completely flat. This has got some doming on it. Okay. Okay. So before we put the wires on, we're going to put a little bit of shaping in it, and we're going to do that. Um, the rubber block just helps absorb when you're walloping it. Um, I might... Might need to bring it over here. Okay. Um, well, if should we just away. move that up a bit? Okay. I'm just have to move it. Can you and see And I will that, point out, as I did the last time, I didn't burn the hole in the desk. There's no hole. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So what you might want to do, because these are quite rigid, I've just done that, I'm going to pull that back. You might want to anneal it so it's soft. Okay. So... Safety specs on. I was going to keep these on. <laughs> and 
we're not ma we're not bringing it up to fusing temperature we're just bringing it up to just before the temperature it would fuse so you've noticed it's gone quite white so that's got that annealed mm -hmm. and I now need to drop it into in fact I'll cheat Okay. It's not going to be mixed up properly, that pickle, but it, it'll quench it and it'll stop it being hot. We'll pop your, uh, your rubber blocks on your screens right now, which is um, the, the reason why you actually use a rubber block. Well, I use it for two purposes. One is for starting off mm -hmm. when I'm doming into the doming block. It's just nice to be able to hit it into something that'll put a very gentle curve on it. Yeah. And then once I've got mm. the... Um, slight doming occurring mm -hmm. I will then put the doming block onto it and it just absorbs um, thank you <laughs> some of the pressure when you're hitting in it. okay and it's protecting isn't it your surfaces yes. etc it will stop the steel block walloping into the side of your desk or yeah. your table or whatever you're doing it on 10 by 10 uh, centimeters which is basically the the workspace that you've pretty much been working on that, that's more than adequate to do almost anything you like yeah. to be making yes so you're not obviously going to fire directly onto this but no. it's, it's it's protection it it softens like you say it softens yes. the force especially if you are actually hammering 395 and regardless of how many items you are actually ordering jewelry makers throughout your argentium show it's still only one postage and packaging all day all day yeah. which is great it's amazing because like a rubber block is fairly you yeah, know that's quite heavy isn't yeah. It? yeah yeah quite weighty anyway okay. so we have annealed it so we've taken the stress out of the metal it's and chilled it's chilled and we're going to put it into the biggest one of the doming holes which i think is that one okay and select the appropriate in fact before i put it in i should have selected um whatever the biggest one is and that's why when it's in the stand it's much easier to see which one's which we had this earlier around, on you? this morning so take right. a look back on the website okay so i think it's that one well, i'm just going to wipe off some of the excess oil which they will come covered in oil which protects them and stops them changing colour while they're in there yeah okay so this would have been pickled so it would get rid of all those little marks okay um, and when we start it we start it very gently and I will use your silicon hammer if I'm oh in fact no I've probably got mine save damaging yours um, just to start it and you just work round. So what's, what's a jobbing hammer? Dear, why do you keep asking me questions I can't Sorry. answer? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. We'll Google. What's a jobbing, one ounce jobbing hammer? Well, I actually think that that is your one ounce jobbing hammer. Okay. But as to what the actual definition of it is, you're asking the wrong you person. You look like you mean business with yeah. that there, Elizabeth. Sorry. <laughs> Um, so <coughs> I've started this. Here's your jobbing hammer. This yes, one here. it is. So you need a variety of your hammers, then, do yeah. you? Um, I've probably got about seven or eight different ones. Okay. But it just depends what I'm doing. But this is probably in, the smallest fairness, hammer. This is the one I seem to use most. Yeah, the smallest one because you don't want to, you know, wallop it. And, no. and complete, uh, you know, completely destroy the argentium silver. You want it? It's not a good idea. No, it's delicate, delicate work. Uh, Three ninety-five only. Yes. Okay. Now this is where we're not going to be able to do something because I don't. I at home have a small vice. A vice. I, do, I don't mean as in I have a weakness for something. I mean I have a vice. I, I wouldn't believe that anyway. That <laughs> I use the, the um, doming punches to create my hammered surface so I've, I've got a curve on it now mm -hmm. and I will then soften it down a little bit and put the hammered texture on which you have here can you see yes by hammering it and I can't do it here because I can't hold it and do it at the same time but I'll put it over the, the doming block that I've been using and I will I'll do one in the flat so you can see what it turns out like but I careful. put the tiny hammer marks all over it. I can show you what it'll look like in the flat. You, okay. And the trick with this is 
to make sure when you're doing it, <coughs> firstly that you don't hit your fingers, and I say that because I repeatedly have done, but it's to try and make the hammer marks as even as possible. So if you can, if you can see, yeah. you're starting to get that textured hammered finish all over it. So what I would normally do is dome it, put my, um, whatever this is, doming, uh, the doming punch, yes, the damping block. block doming punch in a vise and texture it this way. You okay. can do it the other way. So you can texture it the way I've just done and then you can dome it. But what you will find that does is soften out the hammer marks a little bit because okay. obviously when you put it in here and shape it, you're applying pressure again so it will soften the marks a little bit okay but the, the doming punches work both way round, so you can hit them in that way but you can also use them for support when you're hammering okay so i'll just put that in there for now so we will pretend <laughs> yeah it doesn't matter you can do a flat plate a uh, flat you could do a today. flat pair. i yeah. have just lost the one that i've done somewhere the one that there you've done there. Yeah. okay So the next thing would be, assuming you've got your hammer texture all over the outside of it, which we've not got on this one, and the thing I would recommend anybody does before they do anything as well on this, is just gently sand around the edges, because these are stamped, so there's a little bit of, there's an edge on them if you feel, so it's just nicer if you yeah, file yeah, the yeah. edges off a little bit. So these were the hearts kit that we had in the nine o'clock hour, have we got any of those? A smidge of each of the kits. Have a little look. All photographs are on our website as well. And I am going to swap back to my disgusting charcoal block. We have some emery paper on screen right now, which you're going to need for all the buffing and polishing, and these are different, different grain size, aren't they? Yes. So if I actually show you, so the 126, if I actually fan them out for you. Um, yeah, one to six, different colours. So emery paper, if you missed out on the emery sticks, you can use good old-fashioned emery paper um, as well. Um, and of course, you'd, you wouldn't use the whole sheet, you'd cut just a yes. small amount off. Yeah. So three ninety-five. So this is the finishing, you know, to actually get the fine polish and the high luster. Yes. Which is really important, isn't it? You know, you wouldn't decorate your house without sort of filing and sanding all of your woodwork and things like that. It's about, you do this afterwards with the Argentium yes, though, do. don't you? Not, yeah. the, not, not, not the prep of it. The only, the only time you might use um, one of them is if you're, I used one of these scouring pads, which does the job perfectly well. If you just want to get off any surface um, grease or filament. You can either do it with this or you can do it with a scouring pad and all that does is make sure that when you put the flux on it's going on to clean metal. Oh, there we go, okay. there we go. Okay, it's 3 95 for those, already lots of you there. Okay, so, throwing it around, it's alright, I'll get it. So I'm going to locate my earring in a position that makes it convenient to be able to get this in place. And the, the easiest thing, or one of the things to do to start with on this, is to try and initially get the wire flatter. Because when it's a bit bent, it just makes it slightly more awkward getting the pit, the um, ear wire in place. So you're aiming to get it so you're looking at the cleft of the heart, you which, are you're really? yes. which you're attaching to. So again, just teasing the wire, because you can always straighten it You can it straighten after. this afterwards, yes. Okay. This is where I should have had one I made earlier. Right, so I'm trying to get it without completely mucking it up, so that the flat part is unwillingly sitting down in the middle of this rather heart. than applying pressure to you we can always look at these because we can actually <laughs> see um, so you can see where uh, Elizabeth is positioning she's looking at the cleft of the heart trying in, to put that in theory where she's putting it um, the actual ball part which you've just we've just created yes. um, against so that you could then attach your flux yes but it's not plain ball it's at the moment, ball, but don't no. you worry, no we pressure, we're, look at, we're admiring your amazing jewellery in the meantime. 
in the meantime. This was the thing that was going to go wrong, isn't it? Don't panic. It was. I mean, it's just it's not going it's wrong. Try, it's, it's just trial and error. trying to do it standing up, um, knowing that I'm on TV making a mess of it. You're not making a mess of it. Right, You're I'm just all going good. to twist the end a little bit more. Okay. Of course, nobody at home will have this pressure. No, and you can take your time. That's the whole point of. I yeah. mean, it's, it's this isn't that it's an impossible job. It's just slightly more complicated when you're well, standing up. Like you're saying, there's pressure as well, yes. isn't there? Cause... Because it just keeps rolling back round. You can flatten your wire out much more at home than I'm doing here. You know, we said we were going to do 20 minutes demonstration. Well, that's 20 minutes of me trying to straighten the wire out to get that's this in place. Right. Nice. right. No. Oh, you add it then. I know. What I might do, I might cheat. <gasps> yes, again. No, that's not, that's missed it. Aha! Nearly, but not quite. Aha! Right, Yay! that's as near as we're going to get, I think. I don't so, know if you had any flux went on there. You think it didn't? I don't now, I, what's the best thing when I put the flux down? It's all going to go... That's a technical... <laughs> I don't want to touch it Just now. Just droplet. Oh, there you go. Nice. Yes. Yeah, now it's sucked under the... Okay. There you go. You got this. You got this. Oh, safety space. Um, here we are. Now, I can see it underneath, so it's there. The one thing that I would say here, I don't know whether the camera can get in and see. Anybody watching this and looking might say, but that's not quite touching the surface of the metal. You will find that when you apply the heat, it'll drop down very yeah, slightly. Yeah, because it becomes more fluid. Yes. Mm -hmm. Famous last words. The way this is going, it probably it's won't. Physics. <laughs> it's physics. It's physics. <laughs> okay, so we light the torch. <laughs> Are we on the overhead or...? I think so. A right, bit of both. both. A bit of both. I'll stand back then. So we're going to warm everything round to start with. And the thing with this is to remember that the wire is actually very thin. Yep. So don't overheat the wiring yeah, because yeah, you could yeah. end up melting it. So we're that. applying more heat to the heart and we're watching for... That sh now it's gone exactly the way I didn't want it it's to. It's moved! It's going to have fused so that we can't do it. But when, so, when you're doing this at home and you've got this flat... You end up with one like that. You will end up with one like that. Um, what you might be able to do with this to salvage it because this will have fused on the part that it's um, touching oh, yeah. on. Is pop, pop it in the pickle. This is me trying not to panic. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good because we're following you. This is all good. Don't worry, just you have a little may bit. You're having just a little bit of bad. And don't forget, you can get a lot closer than Elizabeth yes. can. Um, so don't you worry. Um, I mean, look, you could at, at a pinch. If you really were worried about this, you could either saw it off, you could conceivably use them the way they are, because it's not absolutely unusable. We've got people messaging for DVDs again, Elizabeth. <laughs> DVDs without the mistakes. Hey, listen, she's very, she's be, you're being tough on yourself. It's, I mean, this is, this is live TV. This, this is, is live happens. TV, so the bit that I'm about to do may not work either. But you might be able to... Squish it. Squeeze it down. Um, I'm just trying to think. I'm not going to do it with this one. Don't we'll, worry. we'll have another go with the just other one. Just go to the shape. How do we shape it? How do we create the that shape? Is you will have it down in the the dip of the heart. And what you do to shape it is you straighten out as much as possible your ear wire. Now I always like to have just a little flick on the end of mine, so you'll see they sort of flick out at the end. Yeah. So that I put on, I mean, this is really easy. You just put with the, in that way. And then with the round pliers, did, decide how long you want the drop. Yeah. So you can either have a very long tail or you can have a very long starter piece or you can have them sort of equal. I will straighten that up because it's irritating me now. But at least it looks a little bit better. Lovely. So you're then going to decide how long you want it. And I always like to bend the wire over the pliers rather than use the pliers to bend the wire. You get a smoother curve. So 
you go that way and I've put the kink in the wrong way around this really this is really going well isn't it so we'll straighten we would not have noticed <laughs> had you not have said no but I did yeah you don't need to tell okay, us so we wouldn't have known straighten it out as much as possible and put it in so that it's in the right place which is that way and then it's a case of working the wire until it's straightened out because mm -hmm. it will almost certainly have a, a small kink somewhere so you'll see you just keep working that until you've got a nice curve on your ear wire okay. um, here we are we'll look at these what I would then do before I did any final finishing because this is a very thin wire yes is this was where I would heat harden these because I want to have that spring so yeah. I would if I'm making a lot of them I'll make them up and I'll put them on the equivalent of a baking tray so okay. they're all laid out on the baking tray I'd put them into a cold oven turn it up to 200 250 if your oven goes that far for two hours and then leave it until the oven's cooled down and you will find when you take these out you will not believe the difference in the, sp in the springiness of the um, ear wire. Which, which let's be honest you know as a shepherd hook I've certainly actually bent some shepherd hooks before um, when you're putting them through that's where you want the strength yes, isn't it? Yes it is. So, so. Um, if at any point you decided you wanted to reshape them or completely remake them, all you need to do is warm them up again with the okay. torch and it'll take the metal back to okay. the normal flexible you relax level. relax it again. You're relaxing it again. So you don't put the backs of the ears on like this. You do it nice and neatly. But the principle is exactly that. You make a head pin, you flatten the end of the head pin, at all stages, remember to keep pickling because you don't want... Um, don't forget your pickle. Don't forget the pickle. Mm -hmm. um, you shape and texture the front heart. Yeah. You locate the head pin in here on the flat, ideally. Um, fuse it in place so that it's not stuck up like that one is, but it's stuck like these are. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you shape your ear wire. And then when you've made however many pairs of earrings that you want to strengthen the um, ear wires or anything else that you want to do it with, pop, it put, in the pop them in the oven. You will find when you take them out of the oven that they will almost certainly be a slightly odd colour. Okay. Um, it's just what happens in the oven. It will polish off, which is why I say don't do the final polish until you've done the heat hardening. Well, we actually had the cloths earlier, didn't we, as yes. well, that you, the Argentium cleaning cloths, so you can use those. But you will need to give it a bit more of a, a, a slightly heavier buff before you do that. Okay, fair so, enough. So, um, that's the principle of how you do those, but somewhat better than I've just demonstrated there. Truly, um, <laughs> there's such, it's so beautiful and it's such a fun medium and Elizabeth you've been amazing you really really have the, the opportunities I think this is a, a medium that's just going to build and build and build and build I and think build it and is. grow and, and grow the, and grow. the thing is yes I've stood here and I've made a mistake but it's not the end of the world if I'd got a saw I could have pierced it off I could have repositioned it yeah, and I yeah, would have yeah. put it in place yeah I could probably have squeezed it down now but the way it's going, it probably wouldn't have well, squeezed and down. Well, like, like I said, it's a completely different environment when you're in your own home. Um, I, completely I different. also think it's not bad if people see that it's Absolutely. not the end of the world if you make a mistake. Um, we, well, we, we've loved it. You've been amazing, Elizabeth. We, go on, you want to... Have we got time for one more demo? Because what I was... Go yes? Yeah, no? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. People might wonder how that the heart is going yes. to get on. Oh, yes, please. I wanted to show just how that... And if it goes wrong, it goes wrong, but hopefully it won't do. There's no reason why it should, because that starts life off... As, unlike a lot of the other kits where we start off with the jump ring, this is starting off with a straight piece of wire. And the very thick of the hearts... Yeah. Again, if you're at home, file off around the edges just so that it's a little bit neater. Can I just show those to so a, show those to me? If you have okay. a look, because this has been stamped, this has got the lines from the stamping tool. So for ease, just file or rub some emery around these edges just to get rid of the, the lines that are on there. I mean, it's not hideous, but it would be better without it. So I am going to return to my tidier block. Okay because I want this to stay as flat as possible. And this one, um, you will measure the length of the ring that you need on this one. 
and you have to take into account the fact that you have on this ring got the width of the heart. It's so beautiful. It is really pretty, I isn't it? it? I, I mean, I love that texturing as well. The texturing, I think, is the is the making yes. of it actually. But okay. The high tech way that I do it. I mean, you you can do it. There are charts on the internet that tell you if you're a size P, it's 63, centi 63 millimetres mm, yeah, long. Yeah, so yeah. you can look it up that way. Um, and cut and it if off. you're watching in the US, your numbers. Yes. So you can actually find that conversion You can find the same chart. thing that way. Um, but for ease, we're just going to remove a little bit of the end of the metal. And I will put my safety... Yes, I will put my safety specs on it, just in case I'm firing this across the room. Mm -hmm. um, and again, I would at this stage normally be filing the end, but we're only going to do one end today. So, in fact, I'm going to have to because what you want, you want this as flat as possible. You want a flat surface on the end of your metal. Anybody watching at home who is a jeweller would be normally doing this on a up to up against a jewellery peg because it just makes holding everything a little bit more stable. Or sat down and doing it on the edge of the table, not trying to do it stood up. So, now I've got to remember which way this went. Okay, so for this one, just literally filing the heart yes. now. Just filed the edge of the heart, and I would do it on the other side. Um, so, decide where on the heart you would like this to sit. So you can have it higher or lower, it's entirely up to you. And, sorry about this, flux the joint mm -hmm. and make sure that the wire is up against the heart. Safety goggles on. Safety goggles on. And we're going to repeat what we've done previously in terms of fusing. Relax. Fuse. Now I'm going to turn this around a little bit. Oh yeah, bit. just a little bit of a gap there. No, it hasn't fused on the wire this end yet. So now, whether I've got enough flux down here, I'm not sure because I. No, I'm just going to put a little bit more flux on. And this is the thing, at any stage, if you're not quite happy, you can stop and yeah, go back to it. Yeah, you can go back. So I'm just going to drop a little bit of flux there. Uh. I'm trying to stay calm, but... <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. We're, we're, we're absolutely with you. Has now gone. I think we've got a flow. Yes. And if it's slightly uneven, it really doesn't matter because when you put the hammer texture on, yes, which I always that's what take we're embracing. very slightly down the shank. I'm just going to move that so we can see there. Okay. The torch actually is on screen for you right now and it is exactly the same torch that um, Elizabeth is using right now. So you, it's an essential, isn't it? it? You, so can't, you, can't, you can't fuse without it. So no, yes, it you is. need the heat source, don't you? Yes. And this is a, a, a professional torch, yes. really, isn't it? Professional quality. Um, you, oh, you you're pickled. You're pickled, you pickled. Pickle, pickle, pickle. It's all nice it, and sparkly. It, clean. Well, it isn't, actually, because it needs to sit in there for about 10 minutes. Oh, I know, I said we were like, pretending. Yes. We're pretending it's okay. sparkly clean. So, having got it all nice and clean, um, don't file it, don't do anything at this stage. Find your ring stick, which I have, which is there in front of me. It's amazing how you can be right in front of you, you can't see it, isn't it? Um, you will hopefully have got this the right length. You will then take it and you will shape it round your ring mandrel. And initially, do it with your, with your finger. Mm -hmm. um, but when you get round to the other end, it's often easiest just to go past the um, heart and just tap this down so that you know. I've done this too long, but um, 
and you wouldn't have done it as roughly and ready you as could, this. You could actually, could could I attach it there as well? That would be you quite nice. You could attach it there, or off. you could do what I did with this one. So you could do this from the same kit. Um, yes. I put, I melted a large ball onto the you end of the wire, them. which then gives you a multitude of fits for people. You know, it's not one size. You can squeeze it up or squeeze it down. Yeah, so, so it's you don't have to then. do the closed ring. That's a really lovely idea as well. Cool. Yeah, love that. So I'm going to be anybody who's a real jeweller who's watching this at the moment. They'll be going. She's cutting it off, and she should have sawn it off. But me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so we will tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap until it gets. I'm not going to do this today because of just the way things are going, I've had this horrible feeling it's all going to go wrong. That's but okay, you, but you do you the will same. Get it to the other side and you'll do exactly the same thing again. And once that's in place, that's when I would start doing the hammering texture on here. And I always do my hammering on this over my ring, ring mandrel because it gives you the support yeah, yeah. to be able. I can show that even though I've not fused the end of the. Um, together and the, the texturing that I use is always with the round end the curved yes so you can see really quickly and I I also oh it's so lovely hi Rosemary Rosemary say what a great show with Ellen and Elizabeth great deals and great demos it has been lovely hasn't it really you, really nice can you see where you've got the join if you hammer a little bit of the way down the ring shank you can blend it in really nicely. Um, Christine, I hear, hear, Christine. Uh, hi, Elizabeth. Don't be hard on yourself. <laughs> Watching you gives us confidence uh, and to know things can go a bit squiff, uh, but it's all good. Good. It, so, yeah, don't. I mean, the you, only squiff thing is that I couldn't line it up. <laughs> oh. See? <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't but do that again if I tried. Th this is a really simple. <laughs> I don't know, I just managed to throw a pair of earrings in the air and catch them again. Sorry. This is a really simple ring to make. If you're not confident, and I'm normally fine, this is just because of today. Um, if you're not confident with joining the two ends up, join the one. Mm -hmm. I made the ball for the one that I showed you, where it's gone. Well, it's gone again, hasn't it? Uh, there, it was there. The, yeah. I made the ball for this one from a piece of wire from the end that I melted into a ball and then I fused it well, to the end of the wire because the wire is a bit thick for trying to do it that way on. It takes forever to do it. It's much quicker doing it the other way. But I tell you what, I mean, I, yeah, I, I've loved all of this because like you said, you know, normally, you know when things aren't quite going wrong and this is not just, uh, can't go right rather, and this is not just jewellery making, you know, I don't know, whatever, whatever, you walk away. Have a, take a few deep breaths yes. and you have a cup of tea and then you come back and you're all right thereafter, yeah. aren't you? But unfortunately, Elizabeth's not been able to do that today. <laughs> well, it's, it's strange you say that because I was teaching a class um, to knot pearls at the weekend. Mm. And when you first get a knotting tool, it's all fingers and thumbs. And the students were getting really hit up and said, well, go away, have a cup of tea and we'll come back and it'll be much easier. And all of them stress did levels, exactly that. You yeah. Stress. yeah, you do de-stress. Um, because the more you think about it and the more you worry about That's it, true. the more, and which is why I'm not fusing the end on. But it you, can, like you that can see anyway. one end and you can see how easy it is to start putting the texture on. Um, yeah. And there we have it. Elizabeth, you're absolutely amazing, jewellery makers. Um, uh, we've loved it. Take a little look back. For those of you that have just tuned in for the very first time, this is Argentium, and it's addictive. It's such a fun medium. But we can still squeeze in a few more deals for you, jewellery makers, including this next. Start by. Okay, jewellery makers, this is really exciting because you're about to look at a gemstone which quartz, quartz, uh, okay, start from the beginning. <laughs> Rewind. Quartz is an abundant mineral, we know that, right? It, it's the second most abundant mineral on the planet. However, there is a big difference between quartz as a mineral and quartz as a gemstone. 
rarity in gemstones, um, or rather quartz gemstones, can be right up there um, with some of the, uh, the highest. Now, amethyst, citrine, uh, rose quartz, smoky quartz, to name a few, clear quartz. You can have rutilated quartz, Herkimer quartz, there's lots of different varieties. But certainly one of the most exciting discoveries, which was relatively recently actually, was sargonetic quartz. Once upon a time we said that you could not find red quartz. Red was a colour that you would not exist within this gemstone um, or within this mineral. And then um, sargonetic quartz, which basically is tiny, sargonetic means tiny little inclusions. I always look at them and think of them as like little raspberries, you know, little pips in raspberries um, <clears throat> that have a natural pinkish red colour. And they're really pretty, aren't they? Really beautiful. Um, and we also found red within a variety of amethyst in Morocco. So thus mother nature proved us wrong again you know she did it with garnet with blues we said they oh you don't get blue garnet and then what was discovered but blue garnet so we should know we should learn shouldn't we as a species that mother nature always knows better but this is very exciting and one for the collectors because still to this day though red quartz is very very rare so no treatment the color itself which like you uh, it's pretty it's really pretty it almost looks like a pink tourmaline mm. uh, from a distance but under magnification at a magnification so if you have your um, uh, Carson's magnifying glass or any of those kind of tools then you'll see these absolutely beautiful little little speckles like strawberry or raspberry little speckles internally within the gemstone that overall from a distance make up this really delicate raspberry pink um, it's it's exciting and it's really beautiful it's a really really beautiful gemstone it's not rose quartz pink. No, it's more of a, gen a magenta pink, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I mean, I can almost imagine it in like a coolie or something it's like more, that, can't right. you? It's more strawberry, raspberry yeah. colour. Yeah, it's a it? fruity, it's, yes. fruity pink in actual fact. The graphics are there already and people are dialing through. So part of our amazing micro faceted uh, collection that we've launched for you recently. Imagine this with, the, um, uh, with, with something like Labyrinth or uh, Moonstone or teamed along something or contrasted with maybe with your micro faceted turquoise. Already collectors on those phone lines checking out 9.95 for a natural colour of quartz that once upon a time we said would just not happen. We wouldn't have it together. Would you use it with your appetite that you saw previously? Would you use it with your deal of the day? Oh, most definitely. Oh. With your shibori silks, with your channel setting, with your, <clears throat> with your, yeah, with the appetite, lovely. Um, do you want me to show it again? I mean, look at that. Lovely, isn't it? Amazing, yeah, pop those two together. It is, uh, uh, yeah, it's one of those opportunities that um, is so on trend at the moment too. Hello David, Elizabeth, you are truly inspirational and we uh, love your demos. Thank you. Absolutely, I think she's been amazing, hasn't she? Keep those messages coming through and again if you have any questions also. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean you could just literally channel set them, you can, a lot of our wire workers, do you ever do wire work Elizabeth? I've never tried it and I keep looking and thinking I'd like to. Mm. You should have a go, I can imagine you'd be really good at it. I think you could turn your hands some hand of the wire things. Work is just stunning. So isn't it? intricate, yes. yeah. Um, <clears throat> but a lot of our wire work designers will actually, rather than weave an area, will use your microfaceted gemstones to fill that location, which is a, which is a clever idea. You could use it with all of the like forget but me not kits. But the other thing you could do for something really simple is just make some very simple head pins and have three or four. Yeah. Them, and make some really simple dangly Perfect. earrings. Perfect. I'm about to bring you a gemstone strand that's been pulling on my heartstrings all morning. I love this. So we've been talking about the quartz family. Citrine can be one of the most elusive. Um, and in terms of quality, you want it to have more of an orangey yellow than a paler yellow. Mm -hmm. So sort of sunflower or buttercup-like colours. This strand is remarkable. You've got clarity, you've got dynamic facets, you have contemporary cuts and warm liquid golden tones within each and every single one of these statement gems. One is one of a kind, each and every single one of them I think are you know, unique 
uh, cocktail rings DVDs. A gemstone that, um, have you noticed how it kind of fluctuates within the market? It's either available, it's gone, it's available, it's gone, it's available, it's gone, it's not available. And that's because, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's never really sort of altered out of our, our, our radar. It's always been in our radar and the demand has always been there. But the treatment, the process, it definitely, ha we have moments of, of, of citrine drought, if you like, and mo moments of it being very, very abundant. A firm favourite of the Duchess of Cambridge. She wears this gemstone quite, quite frequently, to be truthful, um, and it's literally just popping something like this on a head pin. It's super elegant, though, isn't it? Golden droplets of sunshine, warming, uplifting, a really uplifting gemstone, which, when teamed with clarity like this, it just, like I said, pulls on every heartstring. $21.95, the only citrine strand that I think I've bought you in about a week. It's been a long, long time. Mm. I've brought you more turquoise, more tans and height than that, I think. $14.95. Can I hold this up to the neckline? Sorry, Ollie. Um, just because, I think, it, I mean, that. Sort of summer, sp spring and summer, that shouts, doesn't it? It's yeah. It's just lovely. You can see even from that distance, wow. Even from that distance, that colour. <gasps> oh, that's a beaut. That's, this is one of my strands of the day. I think one of my strands of the day, already collectors getting involved with the, with the deed of the day, with the sargonetic courts, with the appetite. I mean, that would be so amazing. Literally, sp sporadically place a few appetites in there just to have that extra, um, extra measurement of colour coming through. Just beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. Such a po positive association with this gemstone. We believe it is happiness inducing. We believe it is a gemstone that will actually bring prosperity and wealth. And I guess that is because of its, uh, its sort of liquid gold like appearance. But also, it's the gemstone of crafters. Really? It's the gemstone of crafters. So it's believed to bring you creativity oh. and inspiration. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so um, have it, wear, either wear a little piece when you're creating or have it certainly nearby. 114 carats. I think I might have to get this strand. Ali, I think, I know I can read your mind already. I think this is what you're saying. Is that right? Pop those together. Appetite citrine, appetite citrine, appetite citrine. Um, here we go. What? Oh, black diamonds. Have you ever worked black diamonds with Argentium? And it looks absolutely stunning. Oh, because it is monochrome, because, isn't it? Almost. It's so white, the Argentium, against yeah. the black diamonds. Now, these are very high quality black diamonds, as you can see. Oh, my goodness. I would most definitely, most definitely be tempted to use this with your Argentium. And they're graduated, aren't they? They're lovely. Yeah, four carrots that you're getting here. Four carrots. You know, just a casual Tuesday afternoon, buying myself four carrots of genuine lustrous black diamonds. The quality that you can see with these, because you actually have that mirror-like luster across the surface of each of those lovely facets, that's an indication of the quality. Lesser quality black diamonds would almost be quite matte. Mm. I suppose. Still pretty, don't get me wrong, but high quality faceting on these. Um, described as rondelles, but for me they're more saucers. Look at that! They are dazzling. You've got that complete and utter paparazzi flash across every single one of those gemstones. <gasps> okay, just a casual Tuesday afternoon, buying myself four carats of diamonds for £12.49 per carat. That's amazing. Of, of high quality. Mm. You know, these aren't diamonds that are are plentiful. This is not diamonds that are even in the, you know, non-faceted. The fact that it comes with that beautiful golden box is an indication. This is four carats of high calibre. Sorry, but look. Look how amazing that is against the skin. Oh, they're beautiful. An entire tennis bracelet of diamonds. I tell you what, we were discussing, um, we were discussing, Ollie, you were discussing about a big birthday that your family have got coming up. How amazing would that be in a diamond tennis bracelet? And the fact that we can even say that we can do this now. Moving on to, ooh, an agate. 
big agate pendant. You've got this gorgeous wave. A beautiful wave, um, a banding, a pattern, a journey that is told within each and every single one of these uh, pendants. They'll all be, they'll all be unique. So yours won't look exactly the same as this one. They'll all have contrast. Um, it's, a, it's a steam super saver deal. And you've also got the nice little drill hole there that you can pop your, your, your jump ring within. £3.75 only jewellery makers for a big statement 70 carat opportunity. Yeah, jump ring. You could use Argentium around this as well. I think one of the things that I've learned today as well, uh, Elizabeth, is that Argentium will work with so many different components. Absolutely, yes. It it's as good as sterling, but then better. That's the great thing with oh, it. Oh, I love it. I love, and I love how passionate you are about the fact saying, don't you say 925 <laughs> sterling silver at me. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> No, it's, it's hilarious. Um, it, it, but that's true. It's actually much, much, yes. much purer. Um, so you could put some of your Argentium pendants around the top and suspend it like so. You could use any of your Argentium silver chains that we've brought you today as well, jewellery makers. And um, We're actually running out of time, my goodness me. But do take a little look back on, the, on our website. Is there any kits available still, Tom? None. Nothing. Have I missed again? Okay, there's a couple of Swarovski ones. I thought I'd missed it again. Um, okay, okay, just take a little look. I will be as soon as I step out of the studio. Coming up on the mid show, what's the girl? Ah, oh, the lovely Becky Redican and, and Luscious Laura Binding. Amazing. Um, they've got some amazing wire work deals because, of course, Laura is an amazing wire worker. Um, you've got... F color, oh lovely! So F color, that that powder that you can basically create an an animal with, enamel with. Sorry, On the late show, you've got what? Sorry, Monica, lovely, and Jenny, brand new DVDs. Um, thank you so much, Elizabeth. You've well, been you amazing. Do we know when you're back next? Um, sometime in March, but I can't off the top of my head remember the date. Okay, but well, it's not that long. Don't leave it too long, will you? Because we all miss you. And we've got some you. exciting bangles next next show. Oh wow! I can't wait. I'm back with you now on Thursday morning, jewelry makers. But do take a look back. She's you're amazing, and we are definitely keeping a lookout and our ear to the ground for that DVD. Good. Enjoy your Argentium. Upload them to Wall of Fame. We'll see you soon. Bye. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easier to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account.